Inappropriate Bar Talk. My name's Chris. And I'm fucking Tony. And we're live right here. Twitch.tv slash Inappropriate Bar Talk. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Steady stuff. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. You breathing okay? Lungs are clear. We're good. Okay, good. We'll make sure the no lungs worries. are clear, bro. Right, man. <laughs> oh, shit. You sound like me. Guys, welcome to the show today. Appreciate you all being here. It is a little storm and overcast and rainy outside. It is a little rainy outside. But we're here to join you. We 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 go through this bad weather just for you. Yes. Just for you. We drink in the rain for you. <laughs> LaBelle, good to see you there. How What's you doing? What's up, LaBelle? Glad to have you. How's it going? What did you... you I, what? How, how, hey, hey, huh? Huh? It's been a week. Yeah. It's been, <laughs> it's been quite a week. I've been spitting all over my microphone <laughs> for some reason. I kind of got like cotton mouth. I don't know. Why. Hey, it is what it is. You got some good stuff today. Hey. Huh? Shake it back. Guys, uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're live every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Hawaiian time. Same place, same uh, same place, same time. You can catch us here every week where we do this podcast. You guys can join in. Be part of the conversation. Let us know what you want to talk about. Uh, LaBelle said she's got a story from the block. She's got She's got a Welcome to the Hey, hey track with the, the host. Thank you, sir. Uh, make sure you turn in, do, tune, uh, tune in during the week where yeah. we do our gaming streams. Uh, we've been doing them quite a bit. Yeah, I've been uh, playing a lot I'm of games. At least good for one. Tony's good for at least one or two every yeah. week. So. Uh, tune in for those. Make sure you are following us. Uh, if you enjoy the show, hit that follow button. Yeah, and uh, if you especially like what you're seeing. Uh, Twitch Prime subs are free. Just put they them are. They're there. free. And right now, there's a promotion going on. Tier one subs are like 20 percent off. I, I was reading on what? Twitch. Yeah, so you guys could actually get us tier one sub with, for 20 percent off, dude. What do you know, dude? What do you know? You know, so. hey, it is what it is. Check it out. If you want to support the show, you can do that, or you can visit our merch page. Streamlabs.com yes, slash inappropriate bar yes, talk yes. where you can pick up your team Chris shirt. Oh, that, you oh. wore yours today. I didn't wear mine today. You but or up. you can get a cool inappropriate bar talk hat, which Chris lost his. Dang, so one of those. he's I, gonna I, have to buy a new one. I got drunk quite a, like a couple times this week, so I oh lost a couple it. times it's, this it's week in the back of my car or something. <laughs> I don't know. It might be in McDonald's parking lot. Who knows? Oh god. Oh, it'd be funny if we just see some random guy like rocking it. <laughs> yeah, like know. we know that's Chris's. I'll be like, there's only been two made in the world. <laughs> I'll let it. I'll let it go. Even if I see someone else rocking it, I'll be like, you know, know what? I'll get another. No, one. you tell him you can have that, but you better fucking follow and subscribe. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I'll give him a sticker. Like you better. We still gotta send some stuff out to some of our some of our longtime uh, viewers. A track, I know we promised you slippers. Oh, I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, we gotta do that. <laughs> we, so we'll we can do that. We'll we, do that we'll, tonight. We'll do that tonight. Yeah, and I gotta send that out to Maui Wowie, his grenade. Right, the grenade. And I still have stuff. The other two stuff right there for Sicarius. Uh, God knows where she's at these days. Nah, we haven't seen her in a while. But, but uh, I did buy that for her from Japan special, so I got to send that to her. That was for when she made us the shirts. I right. told her I'd get her something from Japan because they're huge anime people. So I got to I gotta get them get them with that. Uh, maybe they stopped watching because they didn't get what they were promised. I don't know. That's no reason to stop watching. We're usually pretty good about that. So. Oh, Atrax said, no, I wanted the hat with the blue. Okay, well, Chris got to order one anyway. So <laughs> let's cheers to the show, Chris. Let's get this cheers. started. Cheers, Cheers everybody. everybody. Thanks for drink. tuning in. A shot. <laughs> ah, y'all need blankets. Why? You want to cuddle up with Chris in my my face? Just get all snuggly. <laughs> Maybe we should make snuggies. That'd yeah. be cool. A snuggie with Chris's face or my oh. face on it, or both of our faces on the butt. <laughs> I don't know cool. And then you can open up the butt when you got to go to yeah. the bathroom. It has the Just don't poop on our faces. Don't, yeah, don't poop on the face. Don't poop on our faces. We're Guys, we got that. five viewers. We're halfway to hey. the 10-viewer hype. Yes, if we do a shot of 10-viewer hype. I'm thirsty. So not let's, when we go back down to 8 and back up to 10 or back down to 9. Yeah, let's not yo-yo us to I know what you're trying drunkenness. to do, A-Track. I, I see you. And we know your games. You're guilty, too. Yeah. You guys want us to have liver, liver failure on this show <laughs> is what it seems like. LaBelle said there was a drive-by shooting across the street. I was reading that. So should we go? House? Yeah, should, let's go to that. LaBelle, was, was people hurt? I'm guessing someone stream got hit. Stream from your house or the street from your house? Is there a stream in between your house and, and where the shooting was? They need condoms, shot glasses, manly wet wipes. Manly oh. wet wipes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. Across the street from me. Holy shit. Wow. So did anyone get hurt or was it just like, hopefully they were a bad shot? Yeah, I was going to say. I'm hoping. Wow. One person got hurt. Well, well it did, are you it? okay? Yeah, are you okay? You're okay. Your That's the main okay? thing. You didn't get any, buddy, any bullets shot yeah. through your home, did you? That's crazy, though, man. I think it was warning shots. I'm fine. Good. So, I mean, 
I've been hearing some pretty crazy reports about places like Chicago and Baltimore and even New York that like there's been a huge increase in shootings. Is, have you noticed that being the case, LaBelle, maybe in your area? And no gun was not aimed at our in our direction. Well, Yo, have you good. ever seen that video of that guy that had a, a, his monitor saved him from getting shot by a bullet? No, but that's like pretty Like someone nuts. shot a gun outside of his home and uh, he had like an MSI monitor, I want to say, or something. And it, it hit the back of his monitor and it literally uh, could have saved him from getting hit by the bullet. That's nuts. So it went through his wall and it came in the back and it hit the, the monitor. But on it the fucked side. his monitor up. Yeah, yeah, but so still. So he posted it and uh, they ended up sending him an MSI ended up sending him another monitor. Oh, uh, I guess it's a not how those guys are always fighting. So I guess it's like a group of dudes that are always fighting with each other. And this is the first time a gun was involved. It was just a matter of time. Jesus, they got to do something about that. So I'm saying, man, you need police. Don't hey, defund the police. You need they, police. I mean, Increase the police. Are these licensed gun holders? They should have their Good guns police. Taken away Good police. Chris. I highly, highly doubt these are licensed gun owners. You never know. Chris, licensed gun owners, I would say 99% of the time, don't commit crimes like this where they go and do drive-bys. Now, you'll have, Most of them don't. You'll have that okay. 1%, and you'll have crazy people I'll say like do shit like that. Percent, and again, okay? these are my own statistics that I make up in my head, so write them down. Um, but I would say nine out of ten gun owners, like legitimate gun owners, licensed gun owners, aren't gonna do something like that. They they respect the guns. Dang. Those well, are stay safe, drug Bell. dealers. Stay yeah. away from that fucking. Drug house dealers already. usually don't have registered weapons. <laughs> yeah. Well, stay safe, man. Uh, stay in your house and just three D print like things to cover your windows from bullets. Three <laughs> D print a Kevlar chest. All right, um, hello. Chest. If you need. Real free and high quality service to increase your viewers. Trekstreamdetails.com. Top streamers already use it. Winky face. A track, you know what to do. Get that motherfucker out of here. <laughs> uh, Tony, at least I give him a free plug before I, we, we give him the boot, right? Tony, look, we need cops. What we need to be done is that bad cops need to be removed. Yes, bad cops need to be held accountable. And I think they have to have uh, better training. Psychi sure. Psychiatric. Evalua evaluations but all that costs money so if you're gonna defund things yeah don't expect better service that's all i'm saying i mean you don't need a so we agree to know that guys who are dealing drugs out of a house need to be arrested yeah yeah good job a track <laughs> good job a track <laughs> well stay safe labelle for goodness sake yeah man shit's crazy um there's a lot going on in the world. Um, can I fucking look at memes on Instagram for <laughs> one second? God damn. Um, Chris, a lot of going on. Why don't you tell us some of the stories we're going to be going over today so people can kind of get an idea of what kind of show this is going to be. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Is the, mute we, are the mute boxes coming out tonight? We will see. <laughs> we will see. Okay. Um, let's see. Couple of stories here. Obviously, that massive explosion in Beirut. That yeah, was that kind shit of like was a nuts, crazy fucking dude. video. We'll get into that. Um, a lot of people hurt and injured and uh, dead, obviously. So, you know, we're going to check that out. Anyway, it was still, the video is insane. Like, it's crazy shit, man. Um, President Trump is making a move to ban TikTok yeah, get from rid the of United States. Get uh, rid of them. And China's get not happy about it. Fuck China. <laughs> That's what I say. Uh, we have an MLB player China. that got caught masturbating in his car. Dude, what a fucking dumbass. We have uh, the oldest known land animal alive. I, thought, a lot I posted a lot of fun, happy stories this yeah. week. I tried to anyway. You, you know, you say o oldest known land animal alive, but I got to imagine there's not many other things that are older than that. That that turtle. Well, we don't know at the bottom of Oh, so We can get into that later, though. But let's. Well, okay. but yeah. We'll uh, get into that. Disney Plus announcing that they're going to finally release Mulan. They've been pushing back the, the theater dates, but they're going to finally release it on September 4th on sh their streaming platform, Disney Plus, for $29.99. And then in November, they're also going to be releasing Black Widow for $29.99. Now, is it just automatic? I own it now and I can watch it on demand? No, I believe it's a 24 it's a hour rental? rental. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. Sorry. So I don't think it's to own the movie. See, because then what are they going to do? Release it six months later, and then now I can own it, and I'm going to buy it the same fucking it's way? Crazy. Yeah. See, that's bullshit. But we'll, we'll get into that. Yeah. We'll, we'll yell about that later. Uh, oh, that's what you wanted to pull up on your Instagram. Okay. 
Well, we'll we pull have that some, up. We have some pretty f- crazy angles. I have a Twitter feed with some pretty crazy different, like all kinds of different videos. Um, Jake Paul oh, got raided that. today. What the fuck by the FBI? Yeah, dude. I don't know. He People might be involved in a, some shady shit. They said he's a, it's associated. Somebody said it's associated with the riots, but I don't believe that. I think there's something else. Going no, on. they the said FBI it's not. You they said it's not. A, if you re- did you read the article, the, uh, it wasn't looting, associated because right? he he got busted because he went into a mall when some r- looters and shit broke right. into a mall. But we'll get into that later too. But yeah, it's not supposed to be associated. I'm with thinking that. something like tax evasion related. I'm thinking well. Yeah, I guess the FBI would be involved with that. Yeah, that could be a possibility. I'm thinking it might be an SEC. Think I'm thinking child porn. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. But with everything that's going on, well, the story right above it. Uh, but everything going on, yeah. I think uh, if you know who his fan base is, maybe yeah. he may be hooked up with someone that might have lied about their age. That's a very big possibility. But the and FBI again, this is just, wouldn't get involved. This is just my that. speculation. I don't know if the FBI would get involved with that. Oh, that's definitely still, like, no, no, dude, not not with, with all that's going on right now. FBI is involved in I mean, if shit. it's multiple underage girls, then maybe. I'm just saying, who's his fan base? If it's like one, then I don't think it, I don't think the FBI would get involved. But if it's yeah. like multiple. It's one. And he's like Jeffrey it's a federal. It's a, it's a federal offense is what it ends up being. So feds do get involved. Hmm. It gets moved up. Oh. But anyway, I, that's just speculation. There's yeah. no evidence at all that this is. This is just me and my conspiracy QAnon mind going off right now. But when you when the FBI gets involved, it's obviously pretty fucking serious, especially if they're raiding your homes. Yeah, I mean, it could be just tax stuff, like you said. Yeah. It I would think be. that makes the most sense. But usually the IRS doesn't come and raid your home if you just miss your... They just arrest you and make you pay your taxes. They don't raid your house well, and, and search shit. Sometimes if you need, like, documents or something like that. But I don't Possibly. know. Possibly. Like, computers Possibly. and computer records and things like that. But I don't they know. They should have fucking banned him from the country when he did that shit in Japan. And they should uh, No, nah, we don't want you back. You're not allowed back in here. <laughs> You're an idiot. Anyway. Comic-Con uh, getting ready to go online this year. Yeah. And there's um, nowhere for the cosplayers to cosplay. No. Yeah. Uh, the kids are sharing movies that traumatize them as kids. Yeah. I mean, that could be a fun one because there were a lot. There were some movies, and there's some on there that I was like, "Really, this is traumatizing." But and there was some on there that I thought should have been on there that weren't. I think it's just if there's a certain something that hits. We'll get to that 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 hits your. your, Yeah, yeah, like well, something just traumatizes you as a child, and it's just like later on, you're like, "Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that." Cosplayers need to TikTok Tony and artist. What? TikTok Tony. Cosplayers are using TikTok. Don't, no one's using. What's TikTok Tony? I think I should be getting some kind of uh, some kickback, some kind of royalty off of that. <laughs> TikTok Tony. Uh, President Trump suggesting we should delay the the election till from delay the election in November. Yeah, let's do it and watch how fast fucking coronavirus cures. <laughs> yeah, let's just you know let's just nip that in the butt because this story is kind of old. It's, yeah, it pretty much. People on both sides of the aisle said that's not going to happen. Yeah, it never of course has it's happened. not. It probably it, it never will. No chance of happening. But bottom line is. He's pushing against these mail-in ballots, which already we're seeing problems with. Yeah. There's already issues. I think it was in New York there's an issue. And uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere else on the East Coast, they're having – basically, there's a deadline to turn it in by, right? And if right. they don't get in, they're seeing like, oh, 12,500 votes didn't make it in by the deadline. Dude, that's 12,000 votes. The guy, the, the guy leading was only winning by like 3,000. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that makes – that's – we don't want to see that happen. For the presidential election, because this is probably one of the more important presidential elections elections that's happened in our at least in our lifetime. I mean, this is a pivotal point, I think, in our country. I agree um, on that. But I think both sides can agree on that. If you don't show up to the polls on on fucking election day, then your vote doesn't count. If you go, oh, I didn't vote. I wanted to vote. Like, right. You got to be there on fucking. You got to mail in your shit by. No, but you don't do it. But what it is, is there's, there's these centers you turn in your ballots to. Right. Right. And or the post office is supposed to send them in by and get to a certain place by a certain time. Right. If they fuck up, right. now that's your vote that's not counted. That's right. not fair. That, that shouldn't be fair. Right. So that's why they're arguing right now. Okay, what is they're trying to make ruling and they're making precedent. They're setting precedents in court right I now. I think you should accept it. Like, there's a lot of states that were really strict on their deadline, but here's the mail-in thing. deadline. And, here's and the then thing, there were though, certain too. ones that were like, there were certain you things get like, like 14 days from the mail-in date. So there were certain things too, like, oh, the post office forgot. 
to timestamp them to see yeah, what yeah, was coming yeah. in, what was. But right. see now it's like okay, well if we're accepting these, what about this batch over here? Well, whose is that? Well, I don't know. It didn't get accepted too. We gotta accept all. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now we can start sliding ballots in. It's gonna be all kinds Do of you see scrutiny. What I, right? You see how corrupt it could get really fast, yeah. and how fucked it could get. That's why mm. they're like, no, we should go to the polls. Bottom line is, if you can go to the supermarket and buy groceries and stand six feet apart, you can do that at the polls, too. We should go to the polls and vote at the polls properly. You, can, you know you can vote in person in Hawaii, too, right? right you can. Yeah. People yeah. don't know that. But, this, but they're not states, advertising it. Cer- but. Yeah, certain states say, like, mail-in ballots, but uh, sometimes if you go to, like, a satellite city hall or something like that, they'll have a, a polling a polling place where you can manually put your ballots in. So look into that if you really want to know. Yeah. Because so, a lot of states have that, too, where you can go to a certain spot. Like, they're just... They don't have the people to to staff the polls this hey, year. Hey, I'll go work the fucking polls this year. Hey, we we should. You know what? That's the thing is, old people run the poll. Old people run the polling yeah. places. I'll and run it. They're afraid to be there. Like so, I'll run if everybody. Hey, I'll run the middle line when all you motherfuckers come out and vote. You can come say hi to Tony. I don't trust you to run my polling place. I'm not gonna fucking cause any. I don't know how to hack the fucking <laughs> voting machines. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd say if you can go vote in person, go vote in person. I have a, we have a ballot box right outside of our house, so I'm literally gonna walk it over to. We See, have but that's the thing, the collection, boxes. right? The collection box. Yeah. That's the thing is that, okay, let's say the guy didn't collect it in time. Now your vote doesn't count. That's fucked well, up. That one, or that one's or not handled gonna... by the postal service. That one goes directly to the to the polling. What do you place. think's fucking picking it up? The poll, the the people who are running the boxes. Bullshit. They pick them all up the same day. It's the post office is picking a, that shit. No, up. it's not the post office. Oh, it goes direct. No. It goes direct. That's why you don't have to mail like. You don't I'd, have, I'd actually trust the postman handling so my ballot they, better than some random dude. They said if you want to mail in your ballots, you have to have done it by the third, which is already this past month. But you have till the eighth if you put it directly in one of those boxes because they pick them up and they mm. physically take them to the to the. Well, I voted. Account. Did you vote for our local election? I didn't vote yet because I got till the eighth, so I'm gonna put it in there. Mm. I'm gonna put it in there this week. I already voted. There's, I don't know any of them. I just I <clears throat> just voted for. There's like one Republican uh, senator, no. one Republican uh, House uh, representative. So I, obviously I voted for them. There's like eight Democrat fucking ones. Well, there's the mayor, the mayoral race. Yeah, which I've been looking into. I'm who who are you tie, looking at? I'm between three candidates. Who are you right looking now. at? Who are you looking at? Um, I'm a Mia. Between Amamiya, Kim Pine, and and uh, Mufi, don't so. vote Mufi, dude. I, I'm probably not gonna vote Mufi. For Mufi is a fucking the that guy has so much dirty laundry. In if you yeah. know Hawaii politics, that guy is a dirty politician, and that guy's made a lot of money. That's what I'm thinking. Like politics, you know, I would don't vote for when that it comes guy, to dude. not not doing the good old boy vote, like. Don't Mufi's, do it. That's why I think. Don't just because he recognizes. <coughs> just because he recognizes. No, his I name. read. I read his. Like I read through all their interviews. So they had an hour long interview. I read through. But all But did of you them. look into their past? Um, probably not. I, I'm aware of stuff he did in the past. Yeah. I'm, I'm aware he was in charge of the rail when it first. Started yeah, and that's up. a fucking marvelous project yeah, we got going on. That's a fucking nightmare. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, no one wants to hear about our politics. Hey, but, we got problems in Hawaii too. <laughs> this is just because it's paradise. But uh. Prosecutor is another big one. Attorney, uh, Attorney General, prosecutor. That's yeah. kind of a big one because all the shit going down with their police force here. So that's kind of a I big voted one. for the hard ass dude. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, I forgot his name. And then, fuck. Yeah, and then you have your House representatives. But. Anyway, it, anyway, Hawaii always goes fucking Democrat. So I mean, I'm screwed. You got to be a Democrat to win in the state. There's no that's, that's bullshit. I'm gonna ch- I'm gonna run for office next. I mean, run. Linda Lingle won. There was been a couple. She Republican- was probably one of our better governors There's too. Been, there was a couple Republican governors. She was that probably won. Linda. Well, she's the governor, right? Yeah. 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 She was probably one of our better governors. Yeah, we've had. We Republican actually had governors. a surplus, I think, in that yeah. in that when she was running shit. Uh, LaBelle says one thing to add to their Be- uh, Beirut explosion. There claims to have been a Russian explosive that was stored either in the same location. Or- or nearby, and the government ignored public warning, but I need to read more into it. I've heard a lot of different reports. Some of, oh, maybe it's terrorism. To me, it just looked like a real fucked up accident. Do you want to get into that? Yeah, let's do it. Everybody's talking. I mean, I mean that, that is the, the big story. That's the big crazy video of the week. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Um, Trump said he thought it was an attack, but officials later came back and were like, uh, we don't think it's an attack. I, you know, I think... Initially, just at the at the magnitude of that explosion, it, it seemed like something it like, like a bomb. Yeah, like 
I, I've seen military videos that didn't have that big of a fucking right. Fwah, like yeah. that thing. Th- there's a hole. It vaporized. There's a buildings. hole where that fucking thing was, and it's filled with water now from the ocean. Yeah, it's gone. It's in the water. It, the way it vaporized those buildings is fucking it's crazy. Insane. Do we want to get into some of these videos? Do you yeah. have video? Yeah. Okay, let me pull this up. Go to the band. Oh, why didn't my my band close? <sighs> Son of a bitch. Um, the view from a, a gentleman's balcony was probably the craziest one I've seen, but there are some other crazy ones, too. I saw one where a guy was driving his car, and it blew out, like, his windows, windows. of his car right. and, like, f- rolled his car. Six years worth. Well, so, okay, hold on. We'll get into the story because that I think you're not right there. No, she's pretty close. That's what I saw. Well, today, no, it's too. been it's been stored there for six years, but it's not six years worth of stuff. But basically, what ended up happening, if if I read the report right, was this ship carrying this stuff broke down, right. and ended up docking there, and then the owners just abandoned it and never went back for it and left the boat and all of its contents right. there. And they confiscated. So it they right so the government took it over and said, okay, well, we're gonna try to do something with it and they're trying to store it. But obviously, they didn't store it safely. Yeah. But it's not like they were just piling for six years, piling this stuff in. It was one ship with a fucking shit ton of stuff that's been sitting there for six years. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, ammonium nitrate. Which is also used to make fertilizer, which, like, come on, man, make some fertilizer and then uh, well, I mean, get it the fuck out we of all, there. We've all seen. Or th- I don't know. It, we've it's all, not hey, good, but that much explosives in one all, spot, you're better off just throwing it on. We've all seen, we've all seen <laughs> Fight terrible, Club, right? We know what ammonium nitrate can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Um, let me find this shit. Uh, well, that's how they make homemade bombs and shit. That's how motherfuckers make bombs, like, improvised Are we watching bombs. Philip DeFranco? What are we doing? No, this is, he just tweeted it. Oh, okay. But this was the crazy, right. the craziest video. Oh, shit. See, you can see all these little explosions in there, though. Holy fuck! Like that guy thought he was dead for sure. He thought he was dead. But oh, oh. <laughs> fuck! See all the little explosion? It's just like, hmm. like look at the buildings, dude. Dude, fucking crazy. It's crazy. The buildings literally get vaporized. Yeah, literally get vaporized. Holy shit. Uh, there's got to be more video to this thing, right? Why is this? Who's this guy? What is going on here? Here's another angle. That guy was close, oh, dude. Oh shit. This guy's close. Oh! Damn! That shit fucking blew up. I want to see the one with the guy. There was the one where the guy's in a car. What am I looking at right now? What? Is... Oh wait, is this another one? Oh, it's the aftermath. Holy shit, dude! Wherever that's being filmed from now, it, that's really fucking cool. Well, it's right there. It was the... Right here was where the building was. This right here, this yeah. you see the silos. See the silos? Right here is where the building was. And it's not there anymore. So this is close as fuck. Holy shit. I gotta think that's pretty close to like Look, a miniature atomic bomb, Look, it blew out all the bomb, fucking dude. windows, dude. How much? It bent the framework. Look at all that. That that's bent frame. Look at the frame, dude. Look at the frame of the windows. It bent this shit in. A tracks posting some videos, I guess. Holy shit. Okay, let's pull up some of A tracks videos. Let's see. Oh, let's be careful. None of it says Pornhub, right? Okay. <laughs> Lebanon mute this shit yeah, so we don't get copyright. It's fucking crazy. 
It blew out everybody's fucking windows. Dude, it looks like a war zone. That shit is nuts. I don't want to see, like, body parts or anything. So don't be posting that kind of shit, <coughs> A-Track. I think it's the same one. Yeah, this is still one of the craziest views because you can see the buildings just get... Oh, it's got multiple ones. You remember when that kind of shit happened? That one that happened in China? From a wedding during the explosion? Okay, we saw this. I think this is the restaurant one. This one's on the water. This guy's in a boat. Holy shit. Oh, oh you, you see, see the, the shockwave? Yeah, you see the shockwave? Oh, that's nuts. That's crazy. I know people are like, dude, oh, oh. So the aftermath, I don't know, I'm a little worried to look at the aftermath videos. Baby Cakes is here. Hey, my hey, love, Joey. how are you doing? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. There it is. There it is. We're looking at the explosion in Beirut, man. It's pretty fucking nuts. Is that the wedding one right there? Is that the wedding? Wait, I'm gonna make sure this is it before we play it. Oh! Oh! What Fuck. the hell is going on? Is he just running or did he? Is that a, that's a drone? No, I think he's got a gimbal stabilizer. He's running. Okay, wait, we're going to show this. Holy shit. This poor lady is just at her wedding. So this is in Lebanon. She's doing a film thing for her wedding. All the glass is instantly just blown out. Oh, holy shit. <clears throat> Look, the windows behind her, they're all intact. And you hear it, and then you fucking... Right there, you heard it? And then... Ooh. Shit, that's nuts, dude. Oh, yeah, all that shit shattered. Get away from the windows, little oh, girl. Oh, get away from the window. Oh. oh, fuck. What? They're okay. I was thinking that was I think that's the one LaBelle was talking about. They're saying this lady's a hero for grabbing the girl. She was talking about a woman's being hailed. By her character of saving a little, saving a little. I'm she guessing, didn't even think twice. She like swooped her. Yeah, up she's too. like, whoop, come here, whoop, no, we're out of here. Going? Watching it by the no, window. By a window. Oh. oh my God. Wait, there's another kid in there. Holy shit! This guy's just on his lunch break. Like, what the? F oh. Dude, that's crazy, man. Like, yeah. the force of that thing fucking just blew through that whole fucking city. That's hey, just that's just crazy. Oh, hey, baby. Um, But, yeah, man. Fuck, that's nuts, dude. That is nuts. Jeez. 
crazy. <sighs> baby cakes. How you doing, baby? They had some crazy weather yesterday. I couldn't even get in contact with her because their, their whole network, their cell phone network went down. From really? The weather. Yeah. They got like three typhoons headed their way. So, so I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I was all worried. Oh, well, if you want to. She's all good. She's safe. Glad. Yes. I made sure. Stay safe, Joey. Jeez. Don't be. Jeez. Yeah. And then now everything's held up, too, because of the, the <laughs> pandemic. Like, our, yeah. we're like, we're on track for our visa thing. She's supposed to be here by the end of the, <coughs> excuse me, the end of the year. But everything's slowed up right now because of the damn virus. I don't even think it's real. I don't think it's real. Um, my dad says it generated a three point something on the Richter scale. Yeah, three point five. I, I, I mean, that's pretty fucking nuts yeah. for a explosion to set off the Richter scale yeah. and register basically as an earth, a I small mean, earthquake. I saw that explosion. It's like fucking ridiculous. It man. looked like a mini atomic bomb, like that went off. Like the, there was a mushroom cloud yeah. and fucking everything. Like. New York got hit bad by the tropical storm. Yeah, actually, I was trying to play games with. Uh, I was texting Raf yesterday. To play games, yeah, and he couldn't play because his whole block was out, power was out. Oh shit! <laughs> so yeah, I guess there were a couple tornadoes that spawned off of that thing too. Damn, and... dude, everything's getting fucked up right now. Maybe the Mayans were uh, twenty oh. years ahead of the time, and, and it's been exactly seventy-five years since the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. Yeah, Nagasaki. I was going to mention that earlier or later in the show, but yeah, seventy-five years. Uh, we dropped 75 years ago seems like a long time 1940 what? but really if you 48? think it, it doesn't seem like world war ii was that long yeah. ago i mean i guess it does but 75 years sounds long a lo if you said world war ii was 75 years ago i'm like oh shit i didn't think it was that Man. long ago you know maybe like 50 years yeah 25 years makes a big difference i'm just saying it's just me <laughs> but i don't know man I don't know. That that was a big fucking explosion. Yeah, if you want to help them out, uh, donate to the Red Cross. They are helping out. Uh, I know the U.S. has said they'll help out. I know a lot of countries have said they're going to step up and help out. Well, I know France, the Netherlands. Egypt. Um, I think the Russia. U.K. And, but there's a bunch of, yeah, Russia. There's a bunch of company, or companies, countries <laughs> going over there uh, with aid already. Yeah. But, and yeah, even, I mean. Uh, that, Israel, too. That's just, yeah. like, out of nowhere. You're like, you're just having a normal day, and then, boom. Yeah. Explosion. They didn't know, like they, they couldn't have sounded an alarm. Like, hey, the fucking explosion, uh, the, the ammonium nitrate fucking storage is on fire. Everybody get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I don't know, man. That could have happened in a matter of seconds. You know, they I no, guess, that fire was going for a while. They said that there was a fire in the building next to it, and then the fire from that building caught on to whatever was in. Now, the I heard a couple different reports. I heard something about an explosive. And then I also heard that the factory next to it manufactured fireworks. And I heard a bunch of different stories. I don't know if there's any truth yeah, behind I, any I of those. Yeah, I was hearing it was a firework factory, too, but then... Why would you store that shit next to a firework factory? <laughs> Fucking guys, come on. Uh, that was an insane explosion, though. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine why you would store that much Well, again, they, didn't, they didn't do it by choice. Yeah. It was because they got this but shit you, dumped on as them. As a safety measure, you got to know, hey... Well, you figure uh, if you had, what was it, 2,000 tons of this yeah. stuff, where are you going to put that? It's not like you can disperse it safely throughout the city. Well, you know I mean, what I mean? You do it in smaller amounts, and, and you do it kind of like away from I don't, populated areas. I think whoever left that there, the company that left that there, should yeah. be held responsible. Oh, they, they, they're going to go after I would, I would assume it's so. It's Lebanon, too. They're yeah. not going to give a fuck. They're going to be like... Some groups warn, be careful, you don't detonate. Oh, donate to... Wait, what? Some groups warn, be careful who you donate to say. Donate to, saying that Beirut has donation groups in for Robert. Oh. That's why I said, donate to the Red Cross. You don't donate to the Clinton Foundation. <laughs> we know that. Just uh, we the Red Cross is a reputable organization for yeah. the most part. Just donate to them. They'll 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 they have a Lebanese don't, division. Don't donate to the Clinton Foundation. Uh, does he? Do that even exist anymore? I hope not. Yeah, because they fucked Haiti over. <laughs> Oh, always making it political. This oh, day. I'm just, I'm just These poking Trump, the bear. We're, we're we're on the verge of a next election. They're still talking about Clinton. What the fuck's going on out here now? We got sirens going off. Like there's fucking FBI coming to get us. Shit. I was just joking about hopefully, the Clinton thing. Hopefully Jesus. There isn't a fireworks back. Don't send the. Here, no, there's a. Look, they're turning into your street, bro. It's a fire. Uh, 
Fire truck. There's no fucking ammonium nitrate factories around here, right? I hope not. Not that I know of. You guys, never know. If, These guys obviously didn't if, know about it. If you just see glass come flying at Chris, you know what happened. People just said donate to the Lebanon Red Cross. Mm. Just donate to the Red Cross donate in your them. country and they'll get it to them. I they're, think would be the safest bet. They're like they'll probably have it on their website. Yeah, if you I'm go to sure. redcross.org. You can it's designate on their where your website. money goes. Yeah. But but yeah, be be aware, guys. Be wary. Be wary where you give who you give your money to. Um. That's what else you got, Chris? Five. What else you got? Do we want to cover COVID numbers? Do we even want to talk about that? Do you want to talk about that? COVID and hair loss is that a thing? Dude, I got a lot of hair. I don't have COVID. Um. Okay, the normal stuff. Doctor Fauci, hydrochloroquine. That's everything. I already <laughs> talked about that to the fucking boo in the face. Let's talk about something uh, fun, bro. Well, let's talk well, about this. We're talking about the, f- f- you know, we were talking about the fantasy football season, but now I don't, I don't know if that's even going to happen, bro. You, th- you think you think football is going to not happen this year? I have a hard time think. Like baseball is having a lot of issue with it yeah. right now, and they're like one quarter of the amount of people. You know what I mean? That n- you need to run it like to be on a baseball field. You need right, like a right. What's up, Big Spin? How you doing? You're talking about a football field with 200 people on the field. I mean, that's because of all the. Well, yeah, you're gonna you need your you need your medical your players, staff, you your trainers. Coaches, yep, you need your coaches. Trainers, you need your referees. team. The team teams alone is a hundred some people right there. Yeah. Why don't here's my thing, just make them full helmets like a motorcycle helmet <laughs> with, with a shield on the. Front? Yeah, that'd be fucking badass. I mean, you could probably put like some kind of sp- like spit plastic spit shield over the front of the face man dude you just make it make you still have the yeah you still have like the metal framing yeah. but you just fully enclose it and make it like a motorcycle helmet kind of like a hockey like a hockey like those glass hockey I would masks just, i would make it like a fucking motorcycle helmet that has reinforced steel inside yeah uh, that's see but that's dangerous and it, was, it turns into like a weapon why what's the difference of what what's the difference of a motorcycle helmet or a football helmet i'll beat you the same with both well, they purposely make helmets lighter nowadays, and but they offer more protection. Right. But they also don't. The heavier the helmet, the more injury it could cause. Right. But you can still use the same technology and make it a fully enclosed helmet. You could even have like little fucking fans blowing in that fucker. I mean, if they if there's one organization that can make it work, it'll be the NFL. See, I just addressed that big spin skate. You could have little fans blowing in, but no, dude. These trust me, these athletes. You can put a fucking plastic bag on their head and they can still run a hundred meter, a hundred yard dash and be fine. I don't know. Maybe not some of the linemen, but dude, even the linemen are in fucking tip top shape. These guys are big boys, but they can move. Yeah. You see these fucking like the good linemen fucking move. Yeah. They got they're in front. Remember, they're in front of the running back. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, so I'm telling you, these guys aren't I oxygen deprived. I hope we have a deprived. football season, but I don't know if we will. I mean, b- uh, basketball's been doing okay, and hockey's been doing okay. But uh, baseball is having outbreaks, like, every week. There's a team coming down with it, and then games are getting canceled. It's like they're gonna, MLB's going to shut down again. But here's the thing is baseball should be the easiest sport. Everybody <laughs> spread the fuck out. It's no contact, really. How are these guys getting sick? You know why? Because they're hanging out and playing grab ass in the dugout. Or masturbating in a, in a car. Or jerking off in a car. <laughs> now, here's my question to that story. Before we... <laughs> the, the, okay, yeah. Wait, let's finish, a, let's finish this story. The segue. Okay. Yeah. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, we're talking about football. Ba- I think football's, football's going to happen. Segwaying into the masturbating baseball player. Wait, who's jerking <laughs> off in a car? Okay, so... <laughs> this guy's fucking idiot. So... Uh, here, I'm going to just pull this up. And now here's this guy's name is. <laughs> dude, what a bad thing that posted on <laughs> TMZ. MLB's Reese McGuire masturbation bust captured on video. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> so <laughs> everybody wants to know who's jerking off in a car. So here's my question. Is this Mark McGuire's like son? I don't think so. I don't think it's spelled the same way. Okay, I'm Maybe just wondering. Yeah. But I'm just going to play this video because I'm sorry. This dude is too funny. Uh, let's pause this. And then, yeah. It might be. I don't think it is, though. Is this thing going to play? Basically, this dude, he's in the MLB. And he gets caught jerking off in his fucking... 
SUV. He was like in his SUV jerking off in like a strip mall or something? Yeah. Now, okay. Uh, he's a catcher. I mean, does this guy <laughs> deserve a punishment? He was a ca- he's a catcher, but I guess he wanted to be a pitcher that day. Um, he play who's he play for? Uh, the oh, let's set it. Um, the the Blue Jays, I think. I think Toronto. Was, yeah, I think it was the Blue Jays. Yeah, Blue. Yeah, Toronto Blue Jays player. Okay, uh. why won't this play? There we go. <laughs> Because he's just like, oh, I'm really sorry. Hey, Jake, come here, Jake. Jake, oh, you're such a sloppy boy. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean to uh, do that. And the guy <laughs> says, well. We get called here today for your white SUV. Did you know that people were calling? I didn't. Like multiple okay. people? When did we get here? I probably was here maybe 10 minutes before you guys. Gotcha. So when I pulled up, there was a car to my left, no one was in it. There was no car in the right lane, or in the right stall. Okay. And by the time I saw you guys, I realized there was a car there. And that, that I assume, is the person who probably went through the window. So, whenever the car pulled up there, <laughs> you didn't know that they were watching you. Got it! No. Doing what you were doing? No, I did not. Okay. And when did you realize that, that people were here other than... Like us knocking on the window. Uh, I didn't. I was just, I was in the bar, and then at one point I was, I, I kind of was checking to make sure no one was looking, like no one was around me. And then at that point, I kind of got spooked when I saw you start, and then, okay. and then I realized what an idiot, what a dumb place to be hanging out, you know? Hanging okay. out. <laughs> hanging out. So. <laughs> hanging brain. I mean, if you if you're down at. An apartment next to the stadium. Why would you come to a parking lot just to masturbate? I just, I don't know. I mean, like, like, are you staying with other people at the apartment, or? There is, yeah, I have a roommate. Okay, <laughs> and is it like a weird situation where you, you feel like you got a direction? Like studio, so it's, yeah. <laughs> okay. But you feel but like that wasn't the reason why. I don't know. I just decided to park and. I just started to park and okay. beep. You're just like I didn't want to go right. home to my roommates. Um, I couldn't do it. Anywhere else? There's two phones in there. Okay, uh, so first of all, he says he says he lives in a studio with a roommate. Yeah. You're a professional fucking baseball player. You're full of shit. You live in a studio with a roommate. No, uh, I don't know. It depends, like if you just got called up or whatever. You may not have a contract yet. Uh, still, you but have your own apartment. Players, yeah, but sometimes the, the apartments are yeah. like Maybe. when you're starting out, like when Maybe. you're of your Maybe. Own because sometimes the club, like when you're coming up from the, the minors up to the majors, they'll put you sure in like a temporary what goes apartment. Here, but as far as yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. I've realized that I made a mistake of having my pants down and doing what I was doing. <laughs> and I mean, if there's any way I can, you know. Finish. <laughs> can I just finish <laughs> up before you arrest me? I was harmed in fucking what they saw, but I really, I really am apologizing. apologizing. Yeah. Exactly. There's a bathroom. Go beat it in the shower or yeah. something. Okay. It's gonna be like, why are you taking another shower? You just came from the locker room. Right, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sweaty. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look in there. <laughs> oh no. I, I feel bad for this guy, to be honest. Oh, I like, don't. He's jerking off in a parking lot. I mean, he wasn't yeah, hurting nobody. It, for sure. Just yeah, himself. Kind of thing, or. Dude, no. Sorry. I mean, it was there's stupid. There's kids there. There's stupid. families there. You don't need to be jerking off in a parking lot. If you're going to do it, like, do it in a spot where, like, nobody's going to Here's the thing, though. Like, look at He's, he had his pants fully off. He was just sitting there beating. Yeah, yeah. That's he was probably perving on fucking people. That's what he goes. Who goes to a parking that's lot that's true. and jerks that's true. it? If that's the case, yeah, that's true. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he got arrested. You he can't seen, jerk off in he your car. Hot moms walking out of the grocery store. And I, I hope he was looking at the moms and not the kids. Okay, I understand. Yeah, Raph, I understand. why are you in the back of this cop car, Raph? <laughs> get out of Raph. Get out of the back of the cop car, Raph. <laughs> Raph. Raph. Oh come on, dude. Man. I knew that's why you weren't playing games yesterday. You can't blame this one on your diabetes. You weren't, bro. yeah, bro. I was just trying to take my insulin shot. I gotta I, inject I did, it in I, my penis. I did really <laughs> some. I gotta get my dick hard and then inject it right into the vein. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kidding. That's not Raph. It's not Raph. It's not Raph. It's not Raph. Oh, that's too funny. It did look like Raph. Like I don't know. Raph. I, I hope. I hope it was just uh, an innocent thing where he was just like, I really don't want to go home. My roommate. I don't want to jerk off with my roommate around. 
Did they let Raph go? <laughs> no, they arrest. He's arrested. They arrested so, him. Yeah, he was arrested and charged with uh, masturbating in public. Mister Mister Beaner. You got a Mister uh, Beaner. A Mister a Misdemeanor or something, right? Uh, it says okay. Um, let's just roll to the bottom. What is going on with this? McGuire is solid. Okay, wait. <laughs> He's solid. I bet he was. Um. Yeah, he probably had blue balls. I don't. Well, I don't know. Did he finish? That's the question. That's the question. Uh, Risto cut a deal with prosecutors earlier this month, pleading no contest to second, reduced second degree misdemeanor or charge of disorderly conduct. Yeah, but he got he got arrested for beating his meat in the parking lot. <laughs> Stupid fucking idiot! <laughs> for real, dude. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, he just like jumped out of the car. He was just like, "Hey, officer, how's it going?" Oh, why is everything so delayed? <gasps> oh, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a sex crime if you do it in a public place. I, I don't know if it is if you do it in a, like a private, pro- on private property. Yeah, but it it's a public place, even though it's privately owned. It's a public yeah, shopping center. Yeah, but he was center. in his vehicle, so I don't know. If Parked on public property. It's private property it's as a public, operating as a public area. Oh. There you go. I don't know. You guys make the call. He might, uh, he might have to register as a sex offender. Like a Pee Wee Herman. Well, thing? actually, no. I take that back because. Who got busted jerking off in a park bathroom? There's a lot of guys getting. There's Pee Wee Herman. Um, wasn't it the guy, uh, Bob Denver? From. Uh, uh, Gil- wasn't Gilligan? Didn't he get caught oh, beating was it? Is that what it was? I, maybe. I think. I don't you know. Let him hear. Goddamn white privilege. Uh oh, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, where's my sound clips? We got the 12, 11, <laughs> two, and five. You know what that means, Chris? It's time for us to start getting drunk. Who's going to take a shot with us? God damn, white privilege. Any, all these white males can just jerk off in parking lots. No, so that's like why he it. pleaded down to the mis- second degree misdemeanor. Dis- uh, what was it? Misconduct? Yeah. Something misconduct. Because that's not a sexual offense, so he doesn't have to register as a sex offender. Did he get offender. suspended for, from the team? Did you hear about Tom Hanks moving to Greece? Yes, we talked about that. Actually, I think I talked about yeah, that we, you, on you know, my solo show. Yeah, yeah. But uh, my whole thing behind that is uh, it's interesting. That's all I got to say. You can go back and watch the, the solo show I did. We skipped a few frames, it seems. But um, you can go back and check that out. Uh, I go into the Wayfair thing. I go into Tom Hanks. I go... I talk about the conspiracy shit. Wayfair, you got just what I need. Yeah. Children in boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking weird, man. Go say Maxwell. Will you grab me a Coke, please? It's crazy. Oh, Maxwell? Bro, there's a lot of shit coming out. There's Okay, so the weirdest thing I've heard so far about the Ghislaine Maxwell documents being unsealed was that the girl, uh, Guffrey, the girl that yeah. made the claim, Against uh, Prince Andrew and stuff. Yeah. Claims that he molested her with a puppet made yeah, in his that. likeness. I saw that. Like, how fucking creepy like, is was that? he groping her boob with a puppet of yeah, him. Yeah. A puppet of him. That and was then like, she, he, like, licked in between her toes or something. Shit like that. Fucking weird, dude. Fucking weirdo. Dude, that motherfucker <laughs> going down. Uh, did you hear about Tom Hayes? Okay, wait. Uh, I wonder how awkward it was when the cop and him made eye contact. Right? <laughs> Like if you get wait, what movie was that where the guy gets caught beating off in his van? Oh, that was the, uh, the that hall was pass. The hall pass. Hall yeah. pass. Yeah. Hall pass. So that's right. I mean, I it's a funny situation if you take it, you know, and he's out of, of like a perverted house, context. And he's like, I like to go to my minivan and jerk off. Yeah. And it's like, you know what? You have all these kids, and you need yeah. a sanctuary. Maybe that minivan is a place to go. Yeah, may, mm, maybe <laughs> maybe park it in your garage though, uh, yeah. not on the no. street. No, I mean the street. I get it, man. You want that? Why are like, you Why are you going out in your van? Why? Because you don't want to see your kids to see you beaten off. What about everybody else's kids? Hopefully, they're not rolling by at like nine o'clock at night. Well, anyway. people rolling by and people catching people beating meat. <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. It's fucked up. Yeah, it really is. Uh, Prince Andrew's fucked up. I don't know what to tell you. Like. That well, whole thing. I hope all those motherfuckers go down. Dude. I hope it's they gonna, all burn. Like I said, whoever's crazy. involved needs to go fucking down. Like, whoever's involved. If the FBI actually has the fucking tapes that supposedly they have, you've heard the same rumors that I've heard as far as what they have on tape. So 
Especially with what was supposedly on Anthony Weiner's fucking laptop, too. Yeah. Bottom line is they have enough evidence, if that stuff exists, to bring down some of the most powerful people in the world. Cheers to fucking craziness in 2020 and to our fucking 10 viewer, 12 viewer, 11 viewer hype. We appreciate it, everybody. Put your shot emotes in the chat. Don't get fucking, don't get cheap on us now. Put your shot emotes in the chat if you got them. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. All right. Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Let's do this. Cheers to everybody. Cheers, everybody. Put those shot emotes in the chat right now. What do you mean, Take them all down. Woo. Everyone can eat shit. Yeah, a eat big it. bag of shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you know what I need to put on here, Chris? Is that is my Spotify controls? Yeah, I have. Do you have that on your deck? No. No, I didn't put it on this one. I have it on my other one. On your other profile? Yeah, because normally I just do it from here. But I'm realizing this. It fucks when I'm trying to like do stuff in the it, background. You just need to start a stop and like a forward and back. Or just uh, well, volume helps too, actually. Oh, yeah, well. Volume. But yeah, I'll, I'll have to set that up. Um, what's going on with everybody out in the chat world? I want to talk to the viewers, guys. I want to talk to you, the people, the ones that we come here to talk to. Get riggedy, riggedy, Yeah, let's do it. We already talked to LaBelle. She had a drive-by in her neighborhood. She survived. She's a gangster. She's, uh, I think she's part of the, the Crips. No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just only on the left side. <laughs> that because you know why, Chris? Yeah, that's the Crips. Side. Yeah, that's the Crips side. <laughs> um, <laughs> how about, well, do we want to, we can talk about the TikTok stuff on the other end of the beer chasing, right? We're, we're an hour in. What do we got? Uh, well, we're about, let's see. About 25 uh, minutes away from the beer tasting or so. I mean, so. the TikTok thing is kind of interesting. I, it's like, it's all angles kind of story right now. I'm going to attempt the longest stream on Twitch. What oh, is yeah? the what is the record? Because I think we could beat guess it. I guess it's like 72 hours or something like that. Like straight, you're not going to sleep? There was a thing where like streamers were going Can I stream myself just, sleeping? It, no. <laughs> no, I can't? No, you can get banned for that. Really? Yeah. So how he can't stay up fucking three days unless he's smoking meth. I've seen people try to Welcome like to the meth stream. I think like a tooth fell out. People who've like try to do like 72 hour streams and they end up like passing out on stream and or like something. probably happens. like hallucinating. They yeah, they get banned because it's like uh, 195 hours and 17 hours. And yes, you can sleep. It says currently it's 195 hours, 36 minutes and 17 seconds, I'm guessing. And yes, you can sleep. 190. How many fucking days is that? That's like a 24. It's like almost two months straight. It's uh, eight days. Damn, my math is horrible. <laughs> I'm like, it's like two months. Yeah. Little, no, not yeah, even close. A little honey. over eight days. About a day and a quarter. 200. What are you going to do for 200 hours? Remember, you can't masturbate either while you're fucking doing the stream. So you're going to have to go. You're going to have blue balls by the end of the stream for sure. I know Mufasa is a he's a guy that goes in his There's minivan. There's no way you're <laughs> going to stream for 195 hours. You're not going to get tired. Hey, I'll support you if you do it. I, you got my <laughs> – I mean, I'll cheer for you. I won't be there. I mean, jump on a gaming stream with us, bro. Like, we'll do our stream and you do yours, and you can just jump on a game with us for a couple hours and then, you At know. At least kill some time. Kill some time doing something. You know, yeah. We can my wife is taking the kids to Virginia. Oh, that's why. Dude, you can pl I there's one game you could go for that long. It's Minecraft, dude. I'm telling you. You can sleep, but you better fucking have moderators in Minecraft all time and zones. World of Warcraft are two games that will you can just get lost. Like time will not even matter. I don't know how I spent 6 hours on Minecraft one day and I didn't even know like I was like not Wait, even you actually attention. are playing Minecraft? Yeah. But like What'd you build, Chris? Uh, like a wooden castle, and like, <laughs> uh, was like I didn't even, yeah, but I was just not even dark, and not even touching the surface, <laughs> not even touching the surface of the game. Now, is there like missions to do in the game? There's like things you can unlock and see, and and like bosses and things like that. So but you can it's fight like, things. Yeah, but it's like I know you tedious. have the creeper dudes show yeah. up. It's so it's like it goes from day to night every yeah. ten minutes, and ten like, minutes. Yeah, and every night 
every time at night there's the, like the monsters creeper and dudes. shit coming yeah. out. And all so you that. gotta like fortify your shit so they can't get in. Yeah, right? and if you get killed, like you lose all your shit where you died. So like if you travel far from like your main spot, yeah. then like it's a bitch. You gotta to, go like, back and get it. And it, it only lasts for so long, otherwise it disappears. So you uh, can like if you lose it, sometimes it's not even worth Barrage it. Barrage says Minecraft is fun. A track says Minecraft is great for hangovers too, I've heard. Oh, okay. Uh Mufasim says a track. I have a mod in the EU that is going to watch my chat. Um, my wife said, if after six days I'm still going, I can finish it off. And as long as my PC holds up and my internet holds up, then I'm golden. Minecraft is great for him. Okay, yeah. IBT Minecraft Realm when? <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll, I got Minecraft on my computer. I think it comes free, I think, with every computer nowadays. It doesn't, but it's not expensive. It's, it's like twenty it, bucks. No, mine. I have it on my computer. It's if true. you have, if you have Microsoft, if you have I Game deleted Pass it, actually. Stuff. Well, I don't have Game Pass. You gotta, you gotta pay for it. Like, there's a job of, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> IBT Minecraft Realm. I, I mean, I I'd be down to start a server with like IBT. Like, if we all just could jump on the oh, server. Oh, Mufazu says want. he has a realm. If you guys want to join, we <laughs> might have to, dude. And then we can all build our shit on the same <laughs> server. I'm gonna come and like rob your castle. I think we should. You guys down? That'd IBT be interesting Realm for Minecraft. And then now, can we battle each other? Can we have wars? Like, can we like? I don't know how that works. Dude. I, I, don't I really know. don't know how yeah. it works. Like, there's, you know, it's like you got to put things together to make different items. You know, so it's like, and there's a specific way to do it. So I don't know. We're gonna be grown shit. ass thirty something year old men playing fucking Minecraft. Are you serious? You don't think there's thirty five year old men that play? Oh, Minecraft? I'm sure there is. I just don't want to be one dude, of them. Like PewDiePie's <laughs> highest rated like. Sh- like shit was when he was playing Minecraft again. IBT realm. I mean, Baracho's in. I think Raph would play too. <laughs> he said he was de- like we talked to him the other day. He said it was fun. <laughs> so, oh dude, is it Bedrock Edition? Not Java. Yeah. So is everybody on Java or the Bedrock Edition? <laughs> what is the so difference? The the Java is like uh oh oh we're having problems already. Yeah, I play on the Bedrock Edition, but. Java is a little more limited, I think, as far as stuff you can do. But it's whatever. It's fucking Minecraft. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm too lazy to get on my PC. Yeah, Java, you can play on your phone and shit like that. Oh, really? So you can okay. play like cross-platform. Okay, okay. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna build it. I'm a, if I play, I'm just gonna be the guy that sneaks into everybody's shit and fucks stuff up. <laughs> I'm gonna be the dick. One of them you can play across platforms, and the other one you can't. Maybe it's the Bedrock one you can play across platforms. Bedrock is console and phone and shit. Java is just okay. PC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not going to play on my fucking phone and shit. So. I, it reminds me of when you were playing, like, UO. Like, it, Dude, it UO like is a great game. All right? We like, should start a UO team. It's pretty much like UO. No, UO. I'm telling you. It's like UO is way better. You can do, like, spells and shit, like magic. You can magic. do shit in Minecraft. Oh, you can? Yeah. I didn't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like it's not like it's still kind of grindy though. That's the thing. Hmm. I don't know. If you guys are down, maybe I don't want to go. I don't want to spend six hours mining maybe fucking it, rocks, dude, Chris. It li- literally, you yeah, will not see, even no, realize I don't you do just that. spent six hours. I don't want to do that. Coal and fucking ore, iron ore. Like you don't want to do that at all. Episode, trees. I don't want to do that at all. I. That sounds Digging like holes in the it mountains. does sound like fucking UO because you'd have to like harvest materials. Yeah. To like make <laughs> shit. I once got a code for it, Windows 10, but I don't have Windows 10, and that code recently expired, so RIP. Um, yeah. Rip. But, anyway. Whatever, we can work this out. Fuck. I want to get stuck playing this. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be the only one playing it. I'm going to be by myself. Hey, track how old is your fucking laptop? You can't play Minecraft. Minecraft's been out since, like, 2005, bro. What's up, Yodi? Uh, you guys ever play Conan? No. What's Conan? Like, the Barbarian? Conan the Barbarian? No. Oh. Conan? Conan? No. I'm waiting for fucking Cyberpunk, and if, if my computer can even run it, that's the question. I have Minecraft on my Xbox 360. If I can put it on that shit, you can put it on whatever you have, A-Track. I don't know what the fuck I know uh, Brad, our new member of our uh, Fantasy Football League, is trying to build a computer right now, so he would probably be interested in this conversation. Because <laughs> I know he won't play fucking uh <laughs> Brad, Minecraft, hit me up. Though. I'll help you build your computer. I'm going to start looking to put together a build, but it's not going to be for a while. I'm not going to be able to do it. Part by part, bro. Make those. Gra- I'm no, so, I, I sold my graphics card for 360 I don't bucks, do that. bro. You I know me, you dude. Deal, I'm not going to buy part by part because by the time I get the last part, the first part's obsolete. Yeah, I would wait. 
I'm gonna wait pay till... off my credit card and I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna till... I'm gonna get a beast though. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna spend like two G's. I'd say if you're gonna build a computer at this point, <laughs> if you want the newest shit, you're gonna want to wait till next year. You're gonna want to wait till early next year. All right, move fast. See, dude, you ain't gonna do no fucking long stream. You're gonna pass out. Yeah, you're done already. You're done dude. already, you're bro. You you're soft, bro. You got like baby eyes. Yeah, you need to sleep. Well, I, <laughs> hey, I'll tune in. That was a I'll fucking... tune in for sure. I'm sure Tony will. Tune I'll say in. what's up for sure. Um, uh, you, and then if you guys want to jam, if you want to jam some games, let me know. I don't know which, if you're still just playing uh, Gears, Gears of, of War. War, but there's some free he shit. Said, there's some free shit out there you can play now. So, dude, I mean, Apex is free. Apex is a good game, bro. I'm telling you. I mean, me and me and Raf fuck shit up on uh, that Warzone shit. Warzone is free. You know. That's why I'm doing it while my wife and kids are gone for six days. My username for Bedrock Edition is DB Eight Track, Dick and Balls Eight Track. I have like ten games. What and games? Poker what lined games up. you got lined up? And poker. I'm in Michigan, so I can gamble legally. Uh, yeah, in online. Vegas, you oh, can nice. do that too. In Vegas, you could gamble online. Just let me know what you're gambling on, and uh, if you're gonna show your cards, so I, I can. Uh, Stream snipe you. I'd be hallucinating a day in. I know if you're <laughs> streaming for that many hours. No, like, if you gamble, can hydrated. people can people stream snipe you if you gamble online, like online poker? Can they see what your cards are? I'm sure they could. Maybe you, you could put stream. it on a delay, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess they could. Yeah. Yeah, keep bet big, buddy. I'm coming in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be hallucinating a day in. You can put like a black box over your cards though on your screen though or something. You I know? mean you could. Yeah. But is he going to? I would do it. If you're playing with real money for sure, I would put a black box. DB over my is cards. my initials. My dumbass didn't think to see if the name OG A Track was available. Oh. So let's try to figure out what A Track's real okay. name is. Minecraft, DB. Dead by Daylight, Daniel Starcraft, Brown, Heroes of the Storm, Fortnite, Marbles on Stream, Destiny Two. Poker, Gears of War five, and then I plan on writing a song and <laughs> nice. random shit too. Okay, that's that. Damn, you sound like you got yeah, you got you got it planned out. Well, so I have I like Dead that. by Daylight. I have Minecraft. So and I have well, I could get Fortnite if I really wanted to, but I didn't uninstall no that really shit a long time that. ago. No one wants that game. Um, Destiny two is free too, right? Destiny. Dead by I mean, a lot of people like Dead by Daylight. It was, it's popular, especially around Halloween. It gets really popular because you, you get to be yeah, a... Yeah, uh, A-Track and uh, LaBelle were trying to tell me to play some scary games. And I'm like, that's not my... You got to talk to Chris on I that. Got, I got plenty of games lined up for Halloween. By the way, since it looks like we're not going to be able to do shit for Halloween anyway, I'm going to be doing a lot of Halloween I'm stuff. doing Halloween. I have like, I have like, I'm going to just go knock on people's doors and say, give me stuff. You should maybe try... Maybe we do a Dead by Daylight. That'd be a fun one. We should do something for the stream. We'll think of something. Yeah. Well, we had a uh, we had that. Uh, I sent it to you with my address. Oh, you did? I don't remember. I I'm not a creepy stalker like you, a track. I didn't try to find your house on Street View. I haven't even played <laughs> Dead by Daylight. I just watched other people play it. Shit will keep me awake if needed. LOL. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's he's gonna go on a, a six day drug binge. Is what he's gonna do, and he's just gonna be like. Hey everybody. Welcome to the <laughs> I think someone's at the door. <laughs> you know I've. Uh, all right, night, man. Take All it right, easy, Move Possum. There's some games that I could play for days at a time. I think, like, uh, if I went back to Mass Effect, probably, like, Mass Effect 2 or Mass Effect 3, I could play that, like, straight. I could do that straight. Mm. But it'd be long. It'd be long-ass fucking. That would be, like, an easy 24 hours. There hasn't thing. been, like, a good game that's came out in a while, I feel like. Like, a, a game that just, like, encapsulates you, yeah. you know, and the you can't. The storyline. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been a while. That uh, Mass Effect was like the last game. I played Bioshock uh, again recently, like on my 360. Dead by I Daylight actually, will keep him awake. He said, "Shit's scary." I busted out my 360 and I was playing uh, Bioshock uh, Infinite. Dude, you day. know we gotta get down. You know? We gotta get a tournament going. Is Worms Armageddon, bro? Worms, Worms Armageddon. Armageddon. Worms Armageddon. I'm for that. <laughs> I have a capture card, so anytime you—I mean, you do too. So yeah. anytime you want to hook up the old system. Well, so I was reading too because I actually wanted to get back on Red Dead. It's on sale right now, by the way, on Steam, half off. Well, I play it on my, um, I have it on my Xbox already. But I, with my Windows 10, you can link up your Xbox to your PC as long as it's on the same network and just play it off your computer. So I'm going to try to do that, work, mess with that and see how that goes. Wait, you, if have, not, a, I got you my, got an Xbox or a PlayStation? I got an Xbox. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, because you, yeah, you can do that. You can't, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have an Xbox One. If you have the Game Pass, I think. It's, no, it's not on Game Pass, though. That's no. the thing. So, 
There's a there's a thing you can do even though if you don't have Game Pass, I guess, is somehow connect your PC to your Xbox. I don't know. I got to mess with it. It's it. like related to that, but it's not Game Pass, but it's something like that where it's like, yeah, like you're saying, you can play your Xbox games on your PC, right? Right, right. Yeah. And it basically it just links through the wireless, I guess, somehow. I hope there's not a delay, but yeah. Dead by Daylight is on Game Pass anyway. Okay, okay. When is Tony Hawk supposed to come out, bro? November or September, I think. Dude, I'm waiting for that. I think November. Because you know, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to spend hours playing Tony Hawk. That was another game you could I spent hours so much time because I wanted to get collect everything. You know, I'm the kind of guy that, like, do I want to do all the side missions and yeah. get unlock everything. And, dude, like, just to collect skate in some of the missions, like, you, it takes a while to get up in certain parts and yeah. shit, you know? It was like you have to hit that line, like, perfect, and then... Dude... Such a good game, and I'm interested to see how it plays, if it translates. Because wasn't it? It was PlayStation only, wasn't it? When it first came no, out? No, no. I think it, it was. was on, it was on Xbox. Are you sure? Yeah, I had Tony Hawk on Xbox. For oh, okay. Sure. Uh, on I the thought, original, I original thought it Xbox. came out on PlayStation first. It might have, but I know I had it on Xbox. Uh, big, big Spin says Xbox Play Anywhere. I'm guessing is the program he's talking about. Uh, September fourth. So not that far away, about a month, about a, oh, less than I'm a month. I'm excited. I'm excited. <sighs> yeah, a month. Yeah. I'll be playing it, bro. I'm going to make my custom skater. I'm going to be the tall white guy with dreadlocks. That's Dude, my character. Dude, that'd be dope. Have everybody jump in our fucking Tony Hawk game. Yeah. I think it's only going to be like, have us all just fucking busting. That'd be fun. Dude, that'd I'll bust down hundreds on motherfuckers. And then, uh, <laughs> and then we got Cyberpunk in November. Yeah. Now, see, is Cyberpunk, it's going to be like an open world, is saying, but it's kind of like, <sighs> I feel like there's a lot of uh, NPC involvement, like, with, like, stuff. Probably. Like, it's not going to be so much player on player. It's going to be, like, player running, everyone's going to be running like the solo. same story. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a Red Dead. Everyone's going to be running like, the same story in, like, an open or world. Or GTA kind of, maybe not GTA Online, but I don't know. Yeah, kind of sort of like that, I guess. Skate 4, really? I'm excited. What's Skate 4? Pull that up. I, I'm Dude, I'm stoked Well, you Tony remember Hawk. the Skate games, right? Yeah, but it was Skate was never as good as Tony Hawk. I agree. But They weren't th bad. But Skate had a it had a big fan I think base. Skate, if I remember correctly, Skate was a little more uh integral on like how you did certain moves, if yeah. I remember correctly. Like it was a little more like you had to do shit on the like D-pad. With Tony Hawk, you kind of did uh, tricks, kind of like you do moves in like uh, Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think s s Skate it was a, it involved was the involved the, the joystick and how you did your tricks. So it looks like it was announced at E3 this year, but they didn't announce a release date yet. But they're working on it, I guess. Yeah, man. Skate games, skate it's games are awesome. always good, and if you have a big open world environment, like it's. Literally, it's open. You can do anything. I mean, all they got to do is add skateboarding into GTA Five, and you'd have a pretty badass game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that alone would be fun. Go and skate different spots. And it'd be cool if you can meet up, like you said, like with online, like with your friends in like certain areas and like skate sessions. I'm sure they got to they gotta make that happen. We're just like, yeah. you're just chilling. You because know. before, I think you'd be like, okay, first player takes a run. Second player takes a timed run. And, like, that's how you'd win or, like, play other people. It'd be cool if you could, like, film your friends doing their 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 lines. You know what I mean? Like, if you had one guy who could be a camera guy and one yeah, guy who could be I skating. Guess. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, because you could make really cool skate, like, video. Yeah. Like, montage. That, that's actually a cool aspect. You could probably sell that to the game. Hey, Chris <laughs> made that up here. The same. Patent pending. That's a cool aspect of a game, though, because... Think about it. What do people do at a skate park? You have the guys that are skating and you have the guy videoing. Yeah. Now you just added someone else buying. You know what I mean? Like there's an aspect, another aspect to the game. That's yeah. kind of that's a good idea, I think. I think Chris just came up with a great idea. I mean, idea. they probably have like a built-in camera mode. You know what I mean? That'll do it for you. But I'm sure they do. But just like when we're in GTA, like you can get more create. People can get more creative than just using like a preset. Like when we did the motorcycle jump over the fucking yeah. helicopter, and then you uh, did you did you land it or did I you? I almost eat landed. It? I yeah. shit. Yeah, I was close. But yeah, stuff like that. I like skate's technicality, 
and realism. I was never really a big fan of the arcade style of Tony Hawk. Yeah, so you get what I'm saying. Hey, Mom, how's it going? Welcome to the What's show. Up? Hey, Gary, sorry so late going crazy with this move, but I am blessed. That is true. You're blessed. My mom's uh, going to sell her house, move in with Uncle Bruce. The, the the dynamic duo. Yeah, and uh, possibly, like I said, possibly move back here at some point because she's got another grandkid due in like, the next Bruce? week. No, Uncle Bruce won't move from Washington. No? Nah. Why not? He's, he's He likes Washington. He's just, oh, even when he lived here, he wanted to go back to Washington. And once he got back, he wasn't going to. He ain't going to leave. I like Washington, too. Yeah, Washington's a cool spot. But, uh, no, I want him to stay there so when I, ha- when I go to visit, I got somewhere to stay, you know? <laughs> there you go. But uh yeah, so my mom's gonna be moving in with him and uh that should be interesting. That'd be an interesting uh thing to watch because they get into their little tiffs too. But for the most part they're pretty good together. Um But yeah. So possibly hopefully she's moving back. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, EA Star Wars Star Squadrons. Wars. Yeah, Star Wars Squadrons. Coming in only at forty dollars. That was not pounds. that great. I am taking the upstairs. Yeah, she's taking the upstairs. Um, so it's gonna be like a piloted game where That's you're sitting old, in the cockpit. Though. No, but it's like a it's like a remake of the older games. Right. Yeah. So they had older ones that were like legit. Here's like my floppy thing disc is older. why. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why has Star Wars never come up with like a game, like a good game that has had longevity? Like they've come out with the arcade games, like right. the, the playthroughs, but like. I, I remember when they they tried to do like an online world right game and like I Galaxies. bought yeah I bought that and I was I I played that game for about two months and it was just terribly it was terri- developed, the mechanics developed. Were, yeah were horrible yeah it's pretty unique you should check out the gameplay of skate About skate yeah no I remember skate it was a very technical game it was hard I remember yeah it. that was more like doing Hadoukens like Tony Hawk you can kind of like fudge the tricks and kind of well you just mash. button mash but yeah. if you knew what you were doing it was more of like those moves but with skate it was more of there's just a joystick like if you flicked it one way it was a kick flip right or if you flicked it it wasn't but you didn't have to hit like square triangle or whatever it's you need to know like how to manipulate the joystick which was i thought was harder right. to make it good like to do good tricks and like do a combo you right. know what i mean right. you had to like literally like memorize a, a trick line yeah um, because they know they're dumbass fans. The Star Wars Mario. shit, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Thanks. I liked Fallen Order. I had a good. I had a lot. I had, did like, you finish I had, it? Yeah, I finished it. And, and if you watch the last stream, I did it on. Um, it was cool. I, I now I agree. The beginning's kind of slow and kind of hard to get into. But once you get all your abilities and your lightsaber and you customize it and yeah. you get all the all your Jedi abilities and it becomes a little more. No, fun. I was watching you play. It looked like a fun. Now see if you could do that. Have that game. Yeah. But like an online version where you're playing but with like a mass. Oh, yeah, like yeah. That. Hey, hey mom, this thanks. Show I get to see my boys every week. Hey, hey thanks, mom. We love you too. Um, but yeah. but yes. Oh, we're gonna have to do a shot now. Yeah. Shot to mom. Fallen Order move. is great. No mic. Tr- yeah. I Fallen Order was a great. Just it was a story. It was like it was fun to be like it was like you felt like you were watching a Star Wars movie almost, an uh, interactive Star Wars movie. Yeah, that's yeah. what I. That's what I want. That's, that's what I want out of a Star Wars game. Um, but like I'm saying, like okay, so for instance, let's take UO for for an example, right? Yeah. UO had a really good game model where you could do stuff where it was like faction wars and stuff like that. Yeah. You could easily take that model and themed it Star Wars. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? You could have Sith versus Jedi, like yeah. fucking full on battles. I would say, probably and it would have been sick. Th- there's been no game like that since. Knights of the Old Republic, which is like a like a classic Star Wars game. It probably the probably I think that's Star the game Wars actually fan, I played. Knights of the Old Republic was probably the undisputed like best game that ever came out for Star Wars. It was but, really, uh, so I I the online one I played like I went to like this cave. I found the gems, made my made my lightsaber. So kind of like what you had to do, you know, um, for Fallen Order right. or what, what? Yeah, Fallen Order. Um, and the storyline's always the same, right? You need to find the crystals, make your lightsaber, learn your abilities, whatever. Yeah. But my thing is, once you, if you do it, it's like where it takes more of a longer period of time. You make it online where you have like a Jedi guild and like a Sith guild and you can have side missions. I could have made a better game than they came up with. Yeah. Basically is what I'm saying. 
<laughs> It'd be yeah, like if you, you're saying you can choose your own path, maybe right. and, and like you can go maybe dark side, maybe you're not side. even a Jedi or a Sith. Maybe you're a smuggler. Maybe you're a you're Han Solo or you're a pilot, or maybe you're a stormtrooper. Yeah. You know, everybody you can make, basically it's the Sims, but you're in the Star Wars world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Be anything. It'd be you can be a cantina owner. It's the poss- possibilities. Are possibilities there, are endless. <laughs> you would have to. You would have to have a company that's well. Like, who's done that before? Again, you could have easily contacted Ultima and been like, yo, make us a... Just follow all the shit you guys are doing. Make it 3D. Make it... Because uh, that was the thing about Ultima. It was 2D. So it was like real... Yeah. It was like set in the 3D world, but it was still 2D. You know what I mean? But if you made it 3D with some lightsaber stuff, some force... Like, you could have made it really cool. EA would not fuck with that shit. I mean, they already fucked with Mass Effect. And they, that was like... A, Mass Effect was the closest thing I think you can get to that. I, I mm. brag about that game, but it's literally my favorite game ever made. All right, everybody, put your shout emotes in the chat if you got them. Ma, thank you for the subscription. We love you. Cheers. Cheers. Chris, you got enough beer there to finish your shot? Oh, I think so. All right. We're coming up on the beer tasting here. Pretty uh, soon, pretty soon in about four minutes. Um, But, yeah, I mean... Woo. Uh, Disney definitely has the fucking money to to make a game yeah, like that. Definitely. But you're basically talking about World of Warcraft, but with Star Wars. Right. How hard would that be? It's doable. You they, would they've need, tried and they've failed many times. I mean, Blizzard is the best at that kind of shit. And that's the thing, is Blizzard's not gonna do that because Well they're not because then it would take away from, from, from WoW. Their, yeah. It would take away from WoW. Yeah. So But again, you would need I, I think if you contacted the guys that started Ultima, they could easily roll it into the new century i mean people try to make games like that um i don't know what another game would be even thanks comparable Ma. to that but there are other games um you know not since uo or diablo, diablo or yeah. eve online or, or like you know like um wow yeah what was the other one wow was probably the the biggest my... you know i i kind of I'm kind of bummed maybe I didn't get into WoW because it seems like it's obviously a really good game. I knew I was going to get sucked into it. That's, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing is like, I, I would be obsessed with it. Um, like when it I, first I got came that out way, especially? I got that way with fucking UO, and it's it's like with those kind of games, there's so many things to do, and it's like you'll never finish the game like completely. Yeah. And it's like I get obsessed, and it's like, no, I want 100% completion. <laughs> it's like never going to happen. Well, and you can build a new character and start from scratch. Right. Or- Diablo Diablo 2 was that game for me. And then when I realized how much I got into that game, I was like, when WoW was going to take it to the next level. What did you start playing, Yodi? What, yeah, because my sister would, was on WoW. So here's what I always noticed Dude. about your family. Dude, Diablo. You she had three Diablo. kids, and all of you played. But you guys only had one computer, so you guys would always be like, come on, man, it's my turn. So you guys had, like, limited had shifts. time. Yeah. And it would be like, come on, man, you're, you're cutting into my time. And it would be like, you're out of here. Yeah, because we guys had to all, get it in before we had to go but you to guys, bed. But you guys all had one account, right? And you guys had multiple characters under one account. Yeah. Um, that create that gets a little confusing when you have multiple children. Wow the, takes These kind of games. These kind of games, yeah. Like, Wild takes it to another level. Yeah. And, and that's what I was afraid of. I was like, I remember in like my freshman, sophomore year of college when Happy was into that shit, and literally, he was like all about it. And I'm like, dude, I can't, I can't do that because I will never get. I'll any never get to football. Done. Yeah, I, I got football. Yeah, yeah. I, I would just like be stuck in my room all night. Like, yeah. So I didn't do it. I, I get it. It's a great game, and I wow, understand why people love it. 2008. But I can't. This guy's been playing for 12 years. I can't commit that much time to a game. Like, I want to be able to, like, jump off and be like, I'm done. And is it – so you've been playing for 12 years, Bracho. Have you gotten to a point where it's just like there's nothing to do and you just kind of go and walk around and fucking chill? Or is there, like, you're still building, like, your character after 12 years? I don't know. It was the monthly payments that kept me away. Yeah, that's another thing, too. That's why, actually, I like – I jumped back on UO not too long ago is because it's such an old game. People took it and started their own servers, and they customize it, and they make it actually really fun. And they, they're, I used to play on a server called UO Evolutions, and it was like very engaged. Like they were involved. Like every month there was special events, like yeah. special things going on, new loot. You could donate and get like special. I donated like probably my uncle Bruce probably still donates and plays with them, but 
Uh, you donate and you can get like special house. That that's what I liked about UO. Other than all these other games, is you could build and customize your own dwelling. Yeah. And you can do that in Diablo or WoW, for, as far as I know. But like the fact that you could build your own house and like have like your own like fortified, I guess kind of like a, a Minecraft situation. That to me is kind of funner in, fun in itself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Developing your uh oh. Uh oh, developing your uh, your your own, and if you got a couple friends, you can make a town. You know what I mean? Like that kind of shit's cool to me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know what that means. The I mean, Viking horn sounds. Sorry, go ahead. What? No, what? Go ahead. Before I, I was just gonna say, everybody seemed pretty interested in the video game chat, but no, I mean, yeah, it's Twitch. So we, we we will get back to this. <laughs> we will get back to this. But it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for inappropriate bar talks. Beer tasting. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the age of 21 and over, it's time for us to get into our favorite segment of the show. We're tonight on the docket. We're tasting Modern Times Fruitland Mai Tai Edition. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. Uh, pause, pause your video game talk. We're yes. gonna get into that. Guys, stick we'll get around. back to that. We're for doing now, our beer segment. We do this time. every week where we uh, take a unique beer we haven't tried before. We give our ratings on it. We give our, uh, uh, you know, we give our opinions about out, it, bro. I didn't, and uh, you know, we let you know what the good beers are that we got coming through. I'm really bummed because seriously, Baracho just cock teased me. Did you oh, see I what he posted in the fucking with the pancakes? Oh man, with, dude, so. Our favorite beer that we've ever tasted on this show so far has been Great Notions, Double Stacked, Breakfast Stout. Yes. It got a perfect score, basically, from us. And we got it from our good buddy, Baracho. Thank you very, 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 very much. You're a good dude for getting us those. But he sent me a link of a triple stack that they're making with extra syrup and extra coffee yeah. and all this stuff. And he goes, oh, I can't go to get it, though. I'm like, why would you even send it to me, you bitch? <laughs> But, dude, no, it looked really, really... Frank, you're an asshole. Yeah, you jerk. No, we love you, Frank. But, no, Stupid that... Stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Red shirt just kidding. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Thank you, Frank. We appreciate what you do send to us. But if you do... Cheers, fuck face. If you find it in your heart to go out there and get a four-pack for $25... Don't mind. Hey, just it's send worth it. it. Send, send, it's send, worth send it. one that our beer way. Is worth no, it. that beer was amazing. I think all the beers, actually, that come out of Great Notion are pretty... Yeah. Uh, pretty awesome. Four beers what was the one we got that was the blueberry one? Oh, yeah. Jammy was, Pants? That was a real... Yeah. Boysenberry? That was a really good beer, yeah. too. I Very interesting. They, they're doing good stuff out of there. I like them. Anything out of there, I suggest. But tell us what we got on the docket tonight, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Fruitlands Mai Tai Edition from Modern Times Brewery. Fruitlands is a tart, fruity, and frighteningly delicious the sour, salty base beer lays down a stellar foundation for heavy doses of orange, lime, and pineapple, yielding a ridiculously tasty wall-to-wall -wall tropical fiesta. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Um, <laughs> it's a marvelous mix of elements that collides with your mouth like a fruit-filled asteroid of flavor traveling through the supersonic speed of party. Fuck yeah. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> so that was a good job, Chris. Good Thank job you. tonight. Thank you. I was into it. Yeah, you did a good job on that one. I think that's one of your best readings yet. You were like, you sounded like a <laughs> fucking movie announcer. Good job, bro. All right, I'm excited about it. I already filled out our beer sheet so we didn't. people don't have to watch us filling it out. But this beer is uh, by Modern Times. It's their Fruitland Mai Tai Edition. It's a sour, I'm assuming. Goza. Sour Goza? Yeah. Okay. Um, brewed in San Diego, California. Uh, Four point eight percent ABV, ten IBU, so it's not bitter really at all. Um, and the special ingredients that I wrote down, I left yours blank, Chris. So you could write in what it, you feel are the special ingredients, but I wrote orange, lime, and pineapple. Yes, that's that's what it says. Yeah. So, and but it does say something about like the wheat and the, some row or some shit like that. 
So I don't know. You're the technical guy. I see fruit. It's called uh, fruit land. Those are the malts. Yeah. So two row, which is their base malt. You use two row in pretty much every beer, um, every ale anyway, and uh, white wheat and flaked wheat. So uh, it should be a little hazy because uh, wheat tends What's to make What's up, Maui? A little hazy. We were just talking about What's you. What's up, Maui? Wowie? How you doing? I was just talking about you. I got to send you your grenade stuff. I know you've probably done it, but if you can Discord me or whisper us your address, I will get that to you. I'm going to do all that stuff this week. I want to get it out. Get it out. It would be a lot cooler. It would be cooler if I actually did stuff I said I was going to (laughs) do. All right. Let's get it. Let's mm. cut a little whiff of. Okay, so this is the Mai Tai edition. So they Wow. That's not the color I thought I was going to see. I thought I was going to see a more reddish kind of a color for some reason. Why? I don't know. The can? (laughs) <laughs> I don't can. know. I thought it was going to be like more of the like can, a copper the can color. It is very red. It's a very like uh very red. Okay, I'm going to do appearance Houston right Rockets off the bat. Vibe. It's actually a lot clearer than I thought it would be. But it does have a haze, but not as bad, not as much as I thought. So, clarity I'm going to say medium. Head size. Head seems to be pretty good. I'm going to say medium as well. So Fruitlands is a sour ghost beer that they've had all the time, but they, I guess, tweaked it a little to make it a Mai Tai version of this. So Mai Tais, uh, if you don't know the cocktail, yeah. usually is, is uh, made with rum or gate, which is a almond-flavored syrup. And, uh, you know, depending on how else you do it, it has uh, some type of juice, usually orange and pineapple juice, a, a little bit of lime, and a splash of dark rum over the top. Uh, Mai Tais are awesome. You like Mai Tais? Especially in Hawaii. I, I don't know if I... Oh, I actually really like the smell of this, though. So you should be getting maybe... Al- you should definitely be getting actually. orange, pineapple, and lime. I and am. then uh, you should be getting like a sweet rum smell, I would think. Let me see. And uh, maybe the hint of almonds. I don't know if that's going to be true. but we'll I'm see. getting citrus for sure. Citrus. I'm getting... Uh... It's kind of a funky smell. Really? Mine smells... Like lime. I get citrus. I get really fruity. It's very fruity. Yeah, um, I get a lot of pineapple and orange. Yeah. I don't get I a don't lot get... of maltiness. Maybe a light, like bread, like sweet bread kind of a smell. Yeah. But I hoppy? get the lime and the pineapple. Getting no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's hoppy. I would say it's actually very estery like the fruit smell s- stands out i don't get really any malt i mean if i would if if, if the citrus is hops then i'm gonna say it's a high hop smell yeah it could be it could be a little but bit i'm also gonna there. say it's both of these okay fennels i'm not getting any off smells alcohol i'm not no, I'm not getting any alcohol. It has a sweetness to it, and I think that's the pineapple, mm-hmm. maybe, and, and the orange. A little bit of acidity, too, for sure. I actually get a nice sweetness from it. It smells like a... Like a like a fresh pineapple juice. Like a juice. juice. Yeah, like like a, orange pineapple juice. Yeah, I, I'm smelling fresh pineapple you know, juice. You know the orange pineapple drink by Metal Gold that comes in the half-gallon carton? That's what I'm getting. I'm getting that oh, smell. It's a goza, so maybe a little bit of that salt smell you're getting in there, too, but... It's only got 10 IBUs, so it's pretty light on the f- on yeah. the hops. I wouldn't expect much of that, but I'm going to say citrusy. My my comments for aroma are metal gold. Pineapple? Pineapple orange drink. That's what, exactly what this smells like. Oh, I just sniffed it in my nose. <laughs> Burns. <laughs> Um, I don't, you know, I, I, maybe a little grassy. I, I actually really am, am enjoying the smell of this. It smells nice. It smells nice and clean and fruity and light. Appearance. Okay. My favorite part. Are you ready? Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. You can get a good look at how the beer looks to us. Uh, nice golden straw color with a little bit of haziness. It's kind of hard to see mm. right through the beer, but uh, you can. It's got haziness, but it's gold. It's like, uh, mm. 
It's very sweet. It's very sweet. It does kind of have like a funky aftertaste. Though. It does. It's a little funky. It's got that goza. Uh, it's got that salty finish a little bit. That sweet, tart, salty finish. I like to call that like sour patch kind of vibe almost. And bitterness. There's like no bitterness. <clears throat> and, hmm. It it tastes up front kind of what it smells like, and then it kind of goes up to like that funky salty kind of flavor. Am I am I wrong? It's almost lagerish, like almost like a lager or a pilsner. It does have a sweet tart kind of a flavor, like, or, or, or like a blonde ale. Have you ever had like a like a cream ale, something along those lines? Maybe it's kind of ale, like an ale, like a golden ale kind of flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little funky on the end, but it's kind of like a it's a rounded funky flavor. It tastes like it's like a salted caramel without the sweetness. Without though. the sweetness, but not not chocolate, but like. Tastes like glue. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, the finish isn't my favorite part. Hmm. I want to say it's more on the hoppy side. What was that beer you gave a perfect score when you were just talking about? Uh, that's Great Notion Brewing, and the beer was Double Stack I, uh, Breakfast Stout, not IPA. It's hard to get. It's They only brew it, and it sells out. Where's Great Notion from? Oregon, uh, I want to say. Baracho? I want to say Oregon. That sounds right. Yeah. But, but uh, dude, pro our the best beer we've drank here. Second best, I think, would have been that Chestnut. Um, that I did, I, I gave that to uh, what's his name, right? Noah, I think so. Yeah, I'm wondering how he liked it. That one came from Japan. Noah got the yeah, Portland. There you go. So, if you're in the area, yeah, if you're in the area, check out Portland. But uh, that so, one's hard to get your hands on. We got lucky with that one. Frank hooked us up, but we can give you some other good suggestions if you want. It does kind of have a vegetal aftertaste, like grass, like you were saying. It does. It is a little yeah. grassy. Um. So up front, I'm going to say like it has like a sweet tart up front. Then it fades to like a grassy saltiness. Um, not super malty, not super hoppy. Yeah. Mouthfeel. I'm going to be getting a little fennels from this, but it's a little buttery. Mm. It does have a little buttery kind of aspect to it. Yeah. Slightly. Body is on the light medium side. What do you think? Light. Yeah. Carbonation's light. Warmth. I don't get anything. Creaminess. Now, would you consider the creaminess that kind of butteriness? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. <sighs> Bracho could give you some good suggestions. It just depends on uh, where you... Big skin... Uh, sorry. Big spin skate. Where are you located? What what area, at least? Where are you... Are you uh, Northwest... Southwest, Midwest, East, Northeast, NorCal. Dang, no, I NorCal's good. NorCal. Go to, no, uh, NorCal's got some good stuff. You're, you're in good company, bro. Hit up, uh, hit up, um, I would say probably go, the number one brewery close to you, I would say is probably, who makes Pliny? Pliny the Elder. Um, 
You're in good company with them. There's a lot of good stuff up in NorCal. San Fran, uh, Oakland has some good stuff. I don't know how far north you are, but I have family in Redding. You're talking about NorCal. There's even some decent breweries in Redding that I go to. Um, Uh, there's also Sierra Nevada. Obviously, Sierra Nevada's up north. Uh, Russian River Brewing would be a good spot to hit up, for sure. Russian River, yeah. They, they, we've tasted a couple of their beers. They're pretty good. Yeah, Russian River. Hit them up. All right. Add my shit up. Uh, but uh, the Sierra Nevada uh, Brewery up in Chico. Uh, it might be a little bit of a drive for you. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but the brewery is pretty amazing once you go out there. It's pretty awesome. All right. I'm ready to rock when you are, brother. Oh, man. I know. What's going on here? I don't know what the fuck's wrong. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You guys don't want to see that white white boy dance. <laughs> but da -dum -da -dum. so, I mean, overall for me, this beer pretty good. Okay, yeah, that's how I'm 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 categorizing it. Categorizing. Chris is doing his thing. All right, well, while Chris ahead, is doing ahead, his go thing, guys, yeah, I'm going to talk. Anyway this week. So, I'm going to go do my thing here, man. I'm, gonna do my, I'm feeling a little buzz. I got a good buzz going. Anyway. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I gave it a 3.7. All right. 3.7. Hey, hey, hey. It's a pretty good score. <laughs> I'm making sure I did my math right. Um, yeah, so I got a 3.7. I really like the aroma of this beer because it, it smelled like one of my favorite juices from Metal Gold, which is literally sugar water, but it's it's um, <laughs> pineapple and orange drink. It's, it reminds it's you of your yummy. childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, this the, the aroma of this beer brought back some nostalgia for me. Yeah, I'll take a little more. Um, but for me, it was average, you know, average beer – Overall, um, the 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 flavor starts out kind of what it smells like, but then it fades to, the, to like a grassy kind of saltiness, which is that goes kind of a, I guess, aspect. So for me, I I, I kind of just to me this is kind of an average beer. I wish um, they they pushed that fruit flavor a little more uh, prominently, um, but other than that, it's just a uh, it's eh to me. Um, I wish they pushed that fruit um, for being a fruit land as they label it beer. I wish there was more fruit flavoring. That's that's where I'm coming from. Yeah, the fruit could have been a little from Redonna. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of where I'm settling on this. Not a bad beer, honestly. I could probably drink this like a day drinking kind of beer because it's kind of on the lighter side. Um, <laughs> but still, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, that's that's what I got. Chris, go ahead. Okay. Wait, uh-oh. Oh, what did you do? I'm giving this a... <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, where's the folder? It's under beer tasting, right above the beer tasting uh, scene. Oh, no. Did I hit the wrong one? No, no, no. What, here, right here. Oh, okay, there we there go. You go. I, got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, okay. He's learning still. He's learning the, the right, stream I gave deck. it a... Three. Ah, you copy me, bro. You copy me. Dude, I literally like did just. Like, <laughs> overall, I mean, overall, three point seven is pretty good. Our score. scores are our scores are different on the sheet. Yeah, they are different actually. We rated them different in different categories. Um, 
But they came out the same. Okay, so Tony gave this an 11 out of 12. On the aroma. aroma. I, I really a, liked the aroma. I really did. Tony was a fan of the pineapple metal gold smell. I wasn't so much. I gave it a 9 out of 12. Hmm. Um, notes of citrus, grassy notes, citrus, um, and uh, pineapple juice. I yeah. got the pineapple juice. like, And it smelled like real pineapple juice, which was nice. But... Um, it was an attractive smell to me. I don't know. I wasn't like a big fan Not of the smell. Not a fan of pineapple? Yeah, I mean, raw pineapple is kind of stinky. Well, rotten raw pineapple. I used to live in Whitmore Village, yeah. bro. The rotten pineapples are funky, let me tell you. Anyway, finish your thing. Hey, San Jose, there you go. Okay, so um, appearance, I gave it a three out of three. I thought um, appearance, it's a spot. Yeah, on. yeah. It looked like a sour. It tasted like um, or flavor-wise, I gave it a 15 out of 20, though. I gave it a 13. Um, Tony docked it there a couple more points than I did, but a 15 is like so so. And the flavor is kind of the most important part. Yeah, of course. Um, while I like the initial citrus flavors, um, and I don't mind the saltiness and all that, that's what I expect out of a ghost, but it wasn't enough to bring it back around. It right, was kind yeah. of just like, here's like a little bit of juice, and then it's sour, and then yeah, it's yeah. kind of like salty. And then you're kind of like, okay, well. Could they have done something to make this beer a little more unique? It's like, who came in the fruit punch? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. It's like, it's kind like, of. Kind of. <laughs> it's like, who poured this uh, old pineapple juice in my water? Who came in the fruit punch? That yeah. sounds more terrible that when you say it. sounds horrible, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Um, notes of grass and the, <laughs> the salt on the finish. Um, mm. Mouthfeel-wise, I thought it was pretty on point. Um, clean drinking, a little bit of sour puckerness, I a little was, bit of the salty yeah. round I went finish. Average. I was like, yeah, um, it's average. Yeah, I've had then, better. Uh, I gave it a six out of ten overall. Um, gave it a seven, overall yeah. impression. Um, so, yeah, it was it was okay. It's okay. It okay. Not bad. Not great. Didn't wow me. It's kind of even like in that uh, beer purgatory. Yeah. You, um, if if you pick it for the right occasion, it could be a good beer. I've had some of the other Fruitland beers. There's a few of them, and this is not one of my favorite. You ones. know what I'm thinking of now is that that vegetal kind of grass flavor that we're getting. I think that's the lime. Could be. Maybe they went a little strong on the lime. I think they should have pushed a little more pineapple with, with the orange. And maybe it's a little bit of that like uh, rind. You know that li- the could rind be, yeah, of yeah, the yeah. lime instead of the, just like the lime itself. But again, not bad, not great. Welcome back, Labelle. But, so, oh, uh, excuse me, total score would be a 7.4, right? Yeah. 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 I know how to do math. Total score yeah, is a 7. I think this is what it was last week, too. <laughs> 7.4. I think 3.7 each is, like, the cutoff for us. I think that's where you're, like, you're borderline thumbs up, thumbs down, how we used to do it. What, but the three? What, the three? The three, yeah. Where yeah. we're at, that 3.7. Yeah, yeah. It seems like we always get stuck, like, right there when it's like... Well, I mean, it's average beer. I think I think that we're scoring them pretty fairly, yeah. and I think that reflects pretty much what the beer is, you yeah. know? Our scores so are out of five. You add them together, it's out of ten, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, anyway, anyway, it's a 3.7 tonight. Not a bad beer, not a great beer. You know, it's right there in in that purgatory. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that sums up tonight's inappropriate bar talks. Beer tasting. I almost want to dock it a couple more points because there there wasn't enough of that mai tai flavor. In I didn't. There. Well, see, I'm not really familiar with a mai tai should taste like. I can't picture that in my head. I I know I've I drank was expecting it to be a mai sweeter. tai before. Yeah, any sweeter would be really too sweet. Yeah, but when you see I mai honestly tai think on that can, that lime it. that lime flavor is like almost too much. Too much, yeah. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't taste like a mai tai. I wouldn't know. I, I can't. I'll make you guys a mean yeah, mai tai. Yeah, you're gonna make me a mai tai one day, and I'll, I'll taste it. I don't, from what I remember, we make a pretty good mai tai. I was taps. a pina colada kind of guy. Pina if you like pina yeah. colada, you like sugar bombs in a glass. I mean, my time. And are dancing in the rain. No, that's not the lyrics, right? <laughs> if you like making love at me tonight. Something, something. Yeah, anyway. Anyway. Yeah. I'm getting drunk, Chris. Don't hey, that's the point of the show, I think. We're moving along. Welcome to the second half of Inappropriate Bar Talk, guys. It's a pleasure having you all here. <laughs> Still a little over.
overcast, but it's clearing up a little bit here in uh, good blue. old Milani. It's, it's kind of like a pretty little mix of gray and white and blue and orange. We got like a cool little vibe going on here. Guys, it's great having you. By the way, if you don't know, we're live here every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Hawaiian time. Yes, you check us are. right here. Check out our uh, Instagram at Inappropriate Bar Talk, Twitter at IBT Podcast. Make sure you check out our merch page, streamlabs.com slash Inappropriate Bar Talk. Get your hats. Get your shirts. Join Team Chris or join Team Tony. Hey. Um, or you know, be in the I'm middle biased, and get both. Come on. Buy both shirts. Get them both. Give your wife yeah. one. We have girls and guys. We also have slippers. We have coffee mugs. Yeah. We have all kinds of fun stuff. Chris, on there. I have Check a G string with Chris's face right where the butthole is. Hey. I'm just kidding. And they don't what, have is those. your face on the crotch? Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather be by the crotch than the butthole. We're going to offer those one of these days. <laughs> they're they're going to ask for it. Join Team Chris. Hey, don't listen to the bell. Don't listen. The bell, where's your Team Chris shirt? You didn't buy a Team Chris shirt. <laughs> I see all the sales. You didn't buy one, so don't act like you're on Team hey, Chris. Uh, Morris joined Team Chris. I'm just saying. Just saying. Hashtag my mom tried to join my team. Get your shirt team. today. Get your motherfucking shirt. My mom tried to join my team, but it wouldn't let her buy stuff. See, p typical. Every time Republicans try to do stuff, we get stopped. <laughs> it's fucked up. The sport is there. Biscuit says it's a uh, Jack Paul. Uh, J Jack Paul. What? Please, you wrote Jack Paul. Jake Paul. Getting arrested and TikTok getting banned. We're going to be covering that We're in the second right. half of the show. We're, We're getting, getting into it, man. Are you ready, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, also. <laughs> Ow, dude. Yeah, TikTok dude, was a big story Dude, I just story pulled this week. something doing that in my back. Really? <laughs> yeah. Randy Savage was. Careful, man. I pulled something. It hurt. Oh, shit. <sighs> LaBelle sent us a link. Where did you send us a link? Because you're not allowed to send links in here. Where did you send the link to? Huh? I want to know where. Where are you? Where are you sending shit to? It's in this chat. It's in the chat. Is it's, it? It's further up. Yeah. Is she allowed to send stuff in the chat? Oh yeah, we gave her powers. Where is it? No, 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 it's no. It's not no. this far up. Hold on, oh, I'm back. Okay, Tony, I'm gonna send you the link with my video. Oh, oh the, the shooting in her area. Is it in the Discord? Discord five head. Hey man, I said Discord, wow. and Chris was yelling at me. Wow. wow. Shit week. Uh, wait, I don't want to switch anything. I know it always asks me to switch my audio device. I'm like, shut up, Discord. Don't tell is it me what in to do. memes? Oh, you sent it in actual Discord. Okay, wait, you already did that. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, this is the f this is the drive by by it's our on house. Muse? Shit. You sure you? Don't, we're not trying to dox you, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna come hang out in your neighborhood. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Innocent bystander injured when four men opened fire on 20-year-old man in Queens. Holy shit. The fuck? This is fucking... You might need to move, LaBelle. This is LaBelle's hood, man. She's She live in the hood. They're shootings. How do you think they make Starburst taste so juicy? Oh, this isn't Starburst? it, though. Juice Dratic Equation. Super top secret mathematical formula they keep stored inside a safe, inside a vault, inside a volcano. Oh. Juice Stratix. Starburst, unexplainably juicy. Four men opened fire on a 20-year-old man in Queens, sending him to the hospital. The shooting also left a woman nearby who police describe as an innocent victim to it all injured. Now, this happened in Ridgewood around 8 o'clock. Police say the four men pulled up in a scooter. The victim was hit a in the scooter? leg and walked to the hospital. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Fucking scooter? Did they say four men pulled up, up in, in a scooter? scooter? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me rewind this a second. That's what I heard. Four men pulled up in a scooter is what I heard. I who police describe as an innocent victim to it all injured. Now, this happened in Ridgewood around 8 o'clock. Police say the four men pulled up in a scooter. It said four men pulled up in a scooter? How is that even How possible? The fuck? This is, I, I've seen shit in the Philippines scooter where like, gang. Bop, the whole, bop, bop, the bop, whole bop. family was on one moped. But I've never seen it in America. That's, that's impressive. They must be tiny people. Anyway, let's finish the story. Scooter? The victim was hit in the leg and walked to the hospital. The innocent bystander, a 37-year-old woman, was grazed in the ear. They say she'll be okay. No arrests so far. Jeez. Rat him out. Rat Ooh, him out. Weed. Rat him out. They make Starburst taste so juicy. Rat him out. Starburst? If you know who it is, Lebel, tell the cops. <laughs> Get him out of there. Super top secret mathematical hey, shut formula. shut up with your they... goddamn Starburst already. How's that not in Florida? New York is the second Florida. <laughs> so, four guys pulled up on, on one scooter. scooter. How the fuck is possible? How do you not identify these guys? How do you not kick the scooter over when they're like trying to drive away? How are you going to do a drive-by on a scooter with four dudes? Like, what the fuck? 
Okay, the police know who it is already. I'm gonna say Good. it's. It's one thing if you're in a car with, like, tinted <laughs> windows, and it's another thing if you got four guys pulling up on a scooter. Now, are they all dick to ass sitting on the seat, like, all holding each I, other? I can imagine one guy's on some guy's shoulders. Uh, one guy's on the, the handlebars. <laughs> yeah. One guy's sitting side saddle, and the other guy's sitting dick to ass <laughs> in the back. <laughs> Wait, what? I guess you're right. Y'all had pizza rat? Laughing my ass. What? What's pizza rat? Oh, Pizza Rat. Yeah, he's talking about Takeshi69, I think. Oh, oh. I think that's who he's talking about. Takeshi. What a fucking clown. I think I think my nephew could beat him up. Got rat gangs now? What is that? Where you rat each other out? Everybody just rats each other out. Dude, that's why I was... Wait, no? What are you... What is... I don't know what you guys are talking about. So listen, we're from Hawaii. We, we bang, we bang. <laughs> we rub coconuts together so that we can get internet to do this show. So tell us what's going on. <sighs> what? No, it's a viral video of a rat carrying a big ass slice of pizza on the subway. Oh, for real, dude. He's not a clown. Clowns have more talent than him. You know what? What if we just call everybody Rat Gang, dude? We just do Rat. We're no, rat dude. Gang. Rats. IBT rat I don't gang. fuck with rats, dude. I stepped on a rat today. I'm a rat. I'm gonna I'm tell a, you. I'm, I'm a, a rat. You know? I stepped on a rat today. Like, so my I, Chinese I, I, zodiac is a rat. Oh no! It's how could it be? I'm a rat. Dude. We're ox. No, I'm a rat. We're born dude. in eighty-five. I was born right before the cusp, dude. Oh really? Because the Chinese New Year doesn't happen until like further into the year. So I'm actually a rat. Oh, I'm an ox. Yeah, you're an ox. Yeah. But uh, I'm an ox, but Chris is a rat. <laughs> just saying, I'm a rat. But too. doesn't the rat ride on the ox's back? Anymore. Yeah, they're best friends. Yes. Hey, what do you know? Rats man? and oxes get along really well. See, perfect. But perfect. They, they're seen as like two of the best zodiac signs because they're like the chillest. Fucking we're super science, chill, dude. man. They, they we get a little crazy sometimes, but we're super yeah. chill. Hey, that makes sense to me, man. Um, no, so to go back to the whole rat thing, Sivo went to clown school. You're right, he did. Um, the rat, dude. So I stepped on a rat today. I went to, I went to, uh, I had to go to Moose Machine Shop in Mapuna Puna. No one's gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about after I said that. Moose. That was like three M's that no one's gonna know what the fuck <laughs> it is. Moose Machine Shop in Mapuna Puna. Triple M. So uh, I went down there and I, I decided I'm gonna swing by my old shop just to see what's going on. Finally, they cut our sign down off the shop, so I'm assuming they finally got someone to rent it. But then I stopped at Ani's Bakery. If you guys ever in Hawaii and you want some good fucking bakery shit, go to Ani's Bakery in Aiea. It's the best, dude. So I stopped there and I jumped out of my truck. And when I was walking, I didn't notice it when I walked to the bakery. But when I was walking out back to my truck, I realized in between my car and the other car next to me, there was a rat that was just like flattened, dude. Like just <laughs> flattened. <laughs> And I know I stepped on it when I jumped out of my truck because I remember I was like I remember Crunch. stepping. I was like, oh, it was weird. Like, what did I step on? I didn't think about it, dude. That rat's tail though was like this fucking long, dude. Oh, yeah. It was, dude. It, I was like, I just kind of stood there and looked at it for a second. I was like, whoa, that's fucking weird. Why he's got some big fucking? Yeah, rats. it fucking was big. But New York rats are like that times ten. <coughs> they got like dinosaurs running around in those sewers, man. Um. Anyway, uh -oh. it's harder to get into clown school than it <laughs> oh, is to shit. get into it Harvard. It just what? deleted all of LaBelle's things because she posted a link. 18 messages were deleted by a moderator. LaBelle <laughs> 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 just got all shit deleted. Uh, I, don't, oh, I guess 8 track just fucking... No, no, no. The, the, mod, the bot did it. Oh, okay. She's like, fuck <laughs> it. I'm going to post it anyway. <laughs> Kim Kardashian is the type of bitch that thinks th the Easter Island statues are in Hawaii. Yeah, probably. I, you know, I I used to hate on Kim Kardashian a lot, a lot, a lot. But you don't anymore. No, I mean I still kind of think she's useless. But she did do one good thing, and I got a little respect for her when she did the whole uh, criminal reform. Thanks, Lavelle movement and got that lady out of prison i said you know what she's using her fame for something positive i think because that lady didn't deserve to be in prison because yeah, kanye wouldn't fucking do it well kanye was the guy that was talking to trump when that whole thing went down kanye was the door that let kim into the oval office 
Uh, this is why I'm team eight track <laughs> and team Chris. You know what, LaBelle? I'm going to fucking ban you right now. No, I'm just kidding. I can take it. You don't have to you don't have to like me. As long as you're watching the show, I get paid just the same. Nothing. <laughs> you know how much money I make off of this show? Huh? You wanna know? You wanna challenge me, bro? Nothing! Challenge me. We broke! <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. We do it because we like to do it. Nah, it's all good. If we didn't like to do it, trust me, we wouldn't be Chris wouldn't be here if he didn't enjoy you know, hanging out with me. <laughs> yeah, I, we make a little bit of money, but it all goes back into the show. We all we put it all back L into little the bit, show. Little bit, little yeah. bit. Um, Kim Kardashian could fart and get five million for it. Well, she yeah, sucked no a dick and became famous. So anyway, my mom says we're having dinner one time when my dad first met Holly and we were in a Chinese restaurant and he said, hey, Don. What the f wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. <laughs> well, we, were, we, were having, we were having my mom. OK, my mom's telling the story. We were having dinner one time. When my dad first met Holly, and we were in a Chinese restaurant, and she said, Hey, Don, you're a cock. Then we realized she was looking at the Chinese calendar. It was hilarious. You had to be there. But Bruce and I were shocked <laughs> for a second. I bet. <laughs> I bet. You're a cock. Anyway, uh, check that link, Tony. That's Pizza Rat. The Rock can fart and make 10 million. I mean, it'd be pretty offensive. You go around the table, and you just start calling people like they're Chinese like astrology names. Hey. You're, hey, you're, you're a, a pig. You're, you're a cock. Yeah, yeah. You're a horse. You're a fucking rat. But that's you're but that's basically <laughs> the Chinese culture anyway. You yeah. know, they just tell it how it is. They're very blunt you're people. You're a snake. You're <laughs> rocks are more interesting than Kim Kardashian, to be honest. Okay. I mean, Let's it, see it, the pizza I mean, rat. it's acceptable. What other family have you seen make an empire out of a sex tape? That's what I'm saying. They all became famous famous because Kim has a fat ass and took a dick. That's it. And then their cut, their dad cut their his off. Anyway, LaBelle says you're a bitch. I'm assuming that's to me. Thank you. Um, where is the fucking link? There's no. Okay, here it is. Sorry, sorry for yelling at you, LaBelle. <laughs> that's true. The rock. Oh yeah, I did see fun. this, dude. That that rat's family's eating good tonight. All right, he knows. Get it, you pussy. That's a whole slice. Go get it. See, uh, you're a bitch. Big spin skate at Big Spin Skate. Your mom. Uh oh, what happened? Rocks are more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, you. Dank. Okay, Labelle. That rat is tiny, by the way, dude. That's a fake video. Those are mice. Um, it's some fuckers in India that breed rats and force them to do this shit for videos. Follow us. Those aren't rats. No. It might be TOS, guys. <laughs> yeah, the rats drowning. We didn't show any rats drowning, but I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, it's kind of like torture. Shit. No, like we weren't, and that, we're not advocating that. It was a, it, hey. Okay. I okay. don't drown we rats. We won't show them anymore. I've never drowned a rat. <laughs> I did hit a rat once in the head with a shovel. It's cruel is what it is. Um. All right, let's move to the TikTok shit, I, right? I, I hit a rat in the head with a shovel once to kill it, Chris. Because it was stuck in a glue trap and it was just screaming and I felt bad for it. Dude, I... And then you ain't getting them out of the glue trap without ripping their skin off. So I was just like... I, I looked at him and I was like, sorry, dude. Like, this is the best I can do. Bang! Uh, and then and it was over. Sympathy. It was it. over. You know, I felt bad for it, but... I ain't uh, peeling them out the glue trap. I mean, trap. I own a restaurant, dude. We don't treat rats with kindness. No. I'll just tell you that right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking bash those little skulls in. Uh, you t make them go through the least <laughs> amount of suffering possible. Oh, Big, Big Spin says, oh, they're just going for a leisurely swim. I get it. <laughs> they literally swim till they die. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not funny. I mean, it kind of is, but it's kind of not. It's fucked up, really. But Okay, I wanted to ask LaBelle. What is, she brought it up earlier, <laughs> but I wanted to ask her, are you going to pay twenty nine ninety nine to watch Mulan, the live action Mulan movie on Disney mm. Plus? Cause uh, no, Black not Widow. if I not if I would I would pay the twenty nine ninety nine for the Black Widow if I was to own it at that point. If you owned it, yeah, no problem, because that's buying a DVD, right? It's like fuck no. I just remember that <laughs> night you made us sing that Mulan song. Yeah, I'm I remember to that. To be a man. How does it go again? 
I, I forget. <laughs> I, I wasn't. A, I, I, I didn't. I never even watched Mulan. Honestly, I saw Mulan once. I, I remember there was like a. You know what's funny is that every Disney movie there's like a human character and they always have like some kind of animal sidekick. Yeah. And hers was like a dragon, like a little mini dragon. I remember that. It was weird. Disney can suck the fattest dick. <laughs> I agree. After they came out, after they they signed that contract with Kaepernick, they can suck a dick. So they're coming from the mentality where it's like, hey, if you went to the movies, you'd be paying a lot more than thirty bucks to watch the movie. So what's not if I went by myself? That's true. If I went by myself, I wouldn't. Now, if I went with a uh, uh, my family or my tell- you, my girlfriend, yeah. then yeah, I got I got I'm gonna pay more. But if I'm buying a movie, bottom line is th- this is what pisses me off is. You're going to rent it to me now, and then six months later, I have to buy it from you in the same fucking transaction? Yeah. I should just have it already. That's true. That's bullshit. The thing is, you're paying for the subscription, and you're paying for that on top of it. Right. And I should own it at that point. Right. Yeah. It's like, if that's the case, then... I'll Disney, wait till it comes out. Or you go, you, I'm going to sell Mulan for for 30 bucks, and then Disney Plus subscribers get like a $10 Oh, discount. look who's here. Mr. Raff. We will get to the draft order after the show, so stick around. Fuck nut. So LaBelle says, I'm already Love paying my like $7 to $9 for Disney Plus. Yeah. I should play $30. Yeah. Ex- yeah, why would I pay $30 to rent a movie? I should just be able to watch it for free if I'm already paying for the subscription, or if I'm paying extra, I should own it already. So what this is showing to me, though, this is kind of a big deal because... This is going to kind of obsolete movie theaters. You know what I mean? That's the thought The thought behind it was uh, a lot of movie theaters are pissed that right. the, the whole Trolls, when the Trolls movie came out, then uh, I forgot who it was. I think Universal or so, someone did that where uh, they came out with the, I think it was the Trolls movie, one of those movies. But Universal was like, hey, Rapid this worked mode. out pretty good for us. So maybe we just don't even put it in the movie theaters anymore. You know? Well, I mean, and if then, you got to think like, okay, I got to print. Let's say there's a thousand movie theaters across the country. I gotta print a thousand copies if it's real to real, or yeah. you know, I mean, r- most shit should be digital nowadays. It should be like I a would thumb think drive, it's a digital, right? It's a digital file. Well, Raf, Raf, yeah, actually, Raf could actually help us out on this. The, I mean, he worked at a kind of a specialty kind of art kind of a movie theater, but he was working at a major. Uh, they showed the major regular films, one. though. Did you guys get it? Like when you guys got the digital copies of movies, was it on like a thumb drive, or was it like, yeah, how did something? That work? Yeah, how did I'm was curious. it like a CD? How does that work, Raf? And we'll do a shot because we got twelve viewers. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, LaBelle, I think you're right. They do make money off the food and other merch more so than anything. Well, of course, but they, well, they the make mo- money off of the box office. No, the too. movie theater makes money off of the commission, and the commissary, and other purchases. And they make a cut of the ticket sale, too. But most of the ticket sale, I think, goes to the production company. Raph, where I you think. at? Give, give, us, uh, give us the Raph! breakdown, dude. Let us know. Raph would know. like He's the official source. Yeah. Because he's, he's the guy. In, he's worked in a movie theater. He, he he's in been working in movie theaters probably for the last 15 years, probably. Yeah. <laughs> he went from popcorn guy to ticket taker to fucking GM. Yeah, he's a gentleman. Yeah. So. Raph, help us out here. I feel like he's typing a re- response. I hope yeah, he's He fucking better be. I don't think he's even listening to us, that bastard. Um, 2000 for a family of three to attend a shitty overcrowded park. What the fuck are you talking about? You're talking about Disneyland? Yeah. Yeah. Also, I heard this movie doesn't have Mushu. Yeah, Why doesn't. the fuck would I watch it if it doesn't have the best character for it, the animated it movie? It doesn't though? have Mushu. That was uh, then that was the little dragon. Yeah, the little yeah. dragon. Yeah, he's not in the because it's live action. So yeah, they make money from the the food. Well, I don't know any movie theater that sells merch. Do you? I know they have like uh, what is it? The little vending machine, like the crane game and stuff like that. Yeah, maybe the video games. Yeah, but, maybe that. Uh, what's that? No, we I, it's, it, we're not that hot right now. Yeah, it's not too bad today because it was overcast. But mine's right? charging right now. All right, I don't know if Raph's gonna respond, but yeah, I hope he does. Your dad just comes in here to steal your beers. You know that, right? Oh <laughs> but yeah, he, he's That's allowed why I to. I brought extra today. As long as he steals your beers and not my beers, right. he, he takes the whole six pack. I love it. I love it. Wait, hold on. Let me get him on camera doing this. Let me get. Here, wait, hold on. Let's see. What's what's Randy doing over there? Oh wait, what happened? There he is. There, wait, you gotta sit down a little bit, Randy. 
I gotta turn the lights on. Oh, Randy came in and he's just stealing Chris's beers. What happened to our green screen here? That's weird. Why is <laughs> it doing that? Um, but what's up, Randy? How you doing? Say say hi in the mic, man. Uh, no. Don't just come in here and uh, team Randy. See, we're getting team Randys already. Let me fix this. Raph, we need your expertise. Yeah, Raph, where Answer you the at? question. You bastard. Well, that's too much. Why is Randy's chest disappearing? So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, 30 bucks for Mulan is kind of a lot, especially for like a 24-hour rental. Like, yeah. I mean, I guess it's cheaper than the movies, but at the same time, you're really. like, it, I guess it's how bad do you want to see the movie, right? Yeah, I guess. I no, personally yeah. would not pay 30 bucks. I would wait till it's... We get Randy. Free. There we go. He's good now. There we go. That's a little better. I'll wait till it's cheaper. What's it's up, cheaper. Randy? How you doing, sir? Oh, wait. He's cracking his beer. Now he's good. Now Dad, he's good. What's the best movie you've seen this past year? There's been no movies come out this past year. Well, there was some before the whole thing. What's the best movie you've seen recently? Or what's the last movie you saw that was like worth the cost you paid for it oh what was the one with kevin hart and that guy where he he's takes care of the quadriplegic oh yeah um oh um ryan cranston yeah Brian. yeah yeah that, that was a good one i didn't that, see that one no, no, uh that no, was a really good movie that was a really good movie yeah. <laughs> um, labelle says sonic's the hedgehog shut up tony <laughs> actually that's my nephew's like favorite movie right now it, what was that movie uh fuck. i liked it too it was uh it's a true story too oh really Story. Now, was, did you see that in the theater, or did yeah, you see? Yeah, no, we saw that at uh, Kamakana. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. The other one that was good was the Star Wars one that came out. Which the one? Last, the, the last, last, one. Uh, last one. I the last mean, one was pretty good. Yeah, the rise. Right, what's it? Uh, rise. The of, Upside. Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. yeah. What is the movie Randy said? So it's the, the one the upside. with the upside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The upside. The upside. Really good. Really, yeah. That was a really good movie. I didn't see movie. it. I didn't see it, but it's with uh, Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston. Yeah, yeah, no, and they both did an incredible. Job Raise Randy is my okay. Yeah, it was called it was called the upside, but there it was a really uh, it was a really good movie. Yeah, it was funny. It was emotional. It was really good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll have to check that one out because I think that's on. I want to say Amazon Prime right now. Yeah, I saw it on Amazon. Yeah. Yeah. I had to pay for it. It was like. Like six bucks, like five ninety nine or something. Like you do the rentals? I do it every now and then. Yeah, if it's I something I really want to I don't do the see. rentals, dude. I, if I want, if I'm gonna pay, I'm just gonna buy the movie. Yeah, if I mean, it's good or bad, I mean, I just buy them. It's twenty bucks usually to buy it, right? And it's like, dude, it's still cheaper than like, I, I, and technically, I should have that movie until Amazon or Apple goes out of business, right? Yeah. So I figured. Why not? Just if it's a movie I find myself coming back around to, then I'll sometimes I'll buy it. See, like yeah. I'd be pissed if I pe- if I spent six bucks to rent it and then I spent twenty bucks later because I liked it to buy it. Then I'd be mad. I should have just you know I'd be like I should just bought it from the beginning. But I mean, like, what's the difference between going to like the movie theater and watching a movie and then buying it after? You know, it's kind of the same thing. Well, the mo- going to the movies is like an experience, right? Yeah. Like you're going out, you're doing something, you go- you're getting the hot dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, normally would you spend seven dollars on a hot dog? No. Yeah, but you're doing it because it's it's an it's an event, right? right. It's an event. So, um, oh, Randy said, "Fuck it, I'm getting the AC." <laughs> He's gonna put the AC on him. Yodis is into the Spider Verse. That was a really good movie too. I didn't see that one. It's free on uh, my, my my nephew was into that too though. I, I, it's free on Netflix or Amazon, right? It's on one of them is free. Hey, Randy, you want to try mine? Mine's charged. No, Into the Spider Verse was a really good movie. Animated Spider-Man movie. Well, I don't know if it's charged, but it's been charging since the beginning of the show. So, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That was one I saw in theaters. Um, that's also, I think, available on HBO right now. Which one? Which one? Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, I really want to watch. That's the one Good. with Bruce Lee and shit? No, no. Uh, Brad Pitt and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. It was a Quentin Tarantino movie. No, but, but like, they have a guy playing Bruce Lee in there. Yes. Like he fi- yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I want to see that. So, so that's where? On what? I think it's on HBO. Okay. I, I think By it's the on way, right now. We, I've been telling you I have all the services so we should get together and divvy them out. We can work this out. Because uh, we're all pay- we're both paying for all the services right now. What's fun about time in Hollywood? It was great. It, it goes from like it goes from like forty miles an hour to like a hundred. And, and it's it's, like, it's a Tarantino Tarantino movie, yeah. But it has a ties to uh, Charles Manson and that whole. Yeah, it kind of goes through like the, the the the. 
it's supposed to be what like the secret history of Hollywood kind of deal. Yeah, it's kind of like a like the what untold... if Hollywood happened this way kind of thing. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. The whole thing yeah. again. Sonic the Hedgehog was the last one. And I saw. Sonic the Hedgehog was good too. I was actually. I was actually pretty impressed with Sonic. I'll tell you right now, my nephew's obsessed with Sonic. He wants to be Knuckles. Like he sent like what? He like like he'll draw like my he'll he'll make my brother draw Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah. So that he can color him in, and then he'll pose with like the pictures as like in character. Really? Like he feel, so like he has like there's this picture of him with the Knuckles um picture he's holding. He's just got like this like snarl face on, <laughs> and I'm like, dude. Yeah. I, I like that because Knuckles always has that. He's like, got like that. That. Uh, yeah, yeah, like that, that so. Like, yeah, my nephew had a picture <laughs> like that. It was funny. That's funny. Yeah, I, I used to draw Sonic all the time in like sixth grade. I draw Sonic. The Hedgehog Dude, you were time. a good like. I don't know if you trace stuff or not. I did, but but I, would... I remember your Dragon Ball Z was good. You said draw. Oh, you should draw comic stuff too. You were a good drawer, but you never really like pursued it any further. I used to trace things, and then I got good to the point where I didn't need to trace them anymore. I could just draw them like from memory. But yeah, no, you you were. I was never a good drawer. I was great at coloring in the lines, though. I'm trying just to think saying. what the last good movie I saw was. I, I've been thinking about getting the King of Staten Island. I'm thinking about renting that. Why That's it's 20 free? Bucks. It's twenty. It's not free. Yeah, it's on Netflix. It, it was, and I think they took it off. Oh, then I would just wait. It's gonna come on. Yeah, free. on Amazon it's twenty bucks. I don't know. Is it free on Netflix? Maybe. I think it's still on Netflix. It wasn't it a Netflix original? It was like yeah, it was. I thought it was. And then I think they pulled it. I know if it's a Netflix original, they're never gonna pull it. Randy, <laughs> you're vibrating. <laughs> no, right there's good. Um, I'm trying to think what the last good movie I saw was. There's uh, there's like random movies I just watch that I haven't s- like. I'm just I'll dig through Netflix or Amazon and then yeah, I'm just yeah. like, oh that looks interesting. And then I'll oh, watch I watched it. Jurassic Park the other night. What the new one? The, no, the original. Oh, the yeah, original. Yeah. And and it's dude, that movie still holds up, dude. It's still a good movie. Yeah, it's great. The cast like the, was good. even the special the cast effects was really are good like in that movie. Even if I watch the special effects to this day, I'm like, it's not even like, you know, you watch some old movies, you're like, dude, this is so like cheesy looking, you know. But yeah. even that, I was just well, like, that oh, was, was pretty good. Top of the line special oh, yeah, effects yeah, at the time when the, when the movie came and out, and it still carries. It still carries. It's, They're still good. It's like those movies like Independence Day, oh yeah, and shit like that. When they came out, like the special effects were like so good, top of the yeah, line, yeah, shit at, for the time, and they still kind of hold up today. Like, are you guys excited for Tenant? What's Tenant? Um, I'm excited for the new season of Attack on Titan coming out here. Oh, Baby Cake says she's got a very bad signal. I'm sorry, my love. Try to watch as best you can. Um, LaBelle says, Tony, I sent you a picture signed Eggman trading card signed by his voice actor, Mike Pollock. Okay, let me see what we got here. Who the fuck is Eggman? That was the Dr. Robotnik. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Wait, oh, so you have these, LaBelle? These are in your possession, I'm guessing. So she's obviously a huge uh, nerd for Sonic. Because she's got, yeah, signed. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight cards signed by him? Wow. Nice, man. Well, hey, as long as it makes you happy, LaBelle, we're happy for you. Just you don't get. You want to watch the Tenant trailer? What is the Tenant? I don't know. I'm scared. Let's post it in the chat. I'm scared. Tenet. Tenet? Tenet? Not Tenet. Damn it, I hate when I tenet. drag like a, a freaking Chrome window to the wrong, you know, drag it out of the browser. And then, and then it, it makes its like own thing. Another thing. Hey, LaBelle, thanks for the tips. We appreciate that. One little triangle, that's it? Ten titty bitties. <laughs> Eleven now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Let's see. You know what I was thinking? Like we were talking about last week. In case we get into those situations where... We got to use the mute box. Yeah. I think we should do a thing where if they fill up the cup, they can say, okay, this person, Tony or Chris, we all know Chris is going to get it, gets an extra mute for that show. I don't think you can fill the cup up all the way. I no, you, you, you totally can. Thank you. You yeah. totally can. Yeah. Oh, oh there's it. there they are. We like to see those bits falling in. And I think we can set the limit of what fills up the cup, too. I think. I'll look into that. Um, but I think that'd be kind of a fun thing too, you know. I just lost you. Oh, you you must have unplugged your headphones. Oh, it's a Christopher no, no, no. Nolan movie. Okay. 
You good? There you go. Yeah? Good? Can you hear us? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that'd be something I think. Maybe, you know, we'll, 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 we'll put that. Let's, what? let's check it out. Let's check it out. Check what are we, what are we looking at? Check out the trailer. Okay, we're looking at the trailer. Let's check this out. It's just a scary <laughs> movie. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. It'll open the right doors. Uh, he's a great Some actor. Some of the wrong too. ones, too. Is this like a new born supremacy? Born like a secret agent. Try, yeah, try to do the what music. I do. Uh, I need some idea of the threat we face. Oh, sorry. As I oh, what the it, fuck? Is this like Inception on steroids? To prevent World War Three. I'm not saying I'm getting here. No. Something worse. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Mike, bring me in. Edward! You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel? No. Inversion? Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet, you're catching it. I can rewind shit? Well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll try and keep up. Your duty transcends national interests. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with. I thought you were going to say nuts. This is where our worlds collide. Would you like to die? Old. You chose the wrong profession. Where well, happened here? Hasn't happened yet. There are people in the future who need us. I need a tenant. We need to save them here and now. It's reversing the flow of time. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happened? That seems pretty cool. to crash a plane, but not from the air. That was so dramatic. Well, how big a plane? <laughs> that part is a little dramatic. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. When? Who knows? Who Coming knows? to theaters sometime. Hey, what? Yeah, you're, you would turn your vibrator off over there, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fan on your thing. You must be a <laughs> I knew I oh, wanted to get more out of my professional I mean, it career. It kind of interesting, but I don't know. No, I, I, don't know. I, I actually think that's a really it cool has movie. Like a I want to see it. Vibe to it or no, it's Inception. like a Inception, but it's like he's re he can reverse time. Yeah, he can rewind time or see it and then rewind it. To see how it plays out. The thing with those movies where you rewind time is like, where does the point of, like, when is the point of the present stop and the the past yeah, yeah, begin yeah. kind of thing? You know, like you can you can be like, well, what if it went this much further back or whatever? Like, Thank I don't you. Know. Hey, Labelle with another five. Those movies, like, I get it, but they have to be done really well. Otherwise, it, they don't work. Like, it's just a clusterfuck. If yeah. You're like verge on the verge of clusterfuck. Well, I mean, even Inception was kind of, yeah, too much. Maybe I think like it raises too many questions. It was a cool sometimes. movie, like the the visuals were cool, but like if you really follow the story, does it really make much sense? That's why you got to keep watching it over, over and over. It's one of those movies, yeah, yeah, yeah. where you got to be like in, you got to be invested when you watch it. Otherwise, uh, Labelle said, "Be nice to Randy." <laughs> we're always nice to Randy. Look at him; he's a happy guy over there. Yeah, you guys are just drawing me in. <laughs> <laughs> no, you get drawn in by the beers. He's my getting friend. he's getting evaporated into the matrix. Yeah, more you're and more. you're starting to disappear. That's why I don't have a Facebook page. <laughs> Smart man. Smart man. Following suit with my brother there. He's off the grid these days. 
<laughs> Other than fantasy football, that's the only thing he does. <laughs> no, I, I told you that story, huh? What is that? Well, my, my dad was alive, and he was living with us for about six months. I remember that. And he sent me, like, six requests to be his friend. Oh, really? So, so finally I said, okay, I'll create a generic profile and go on and do it. <laughs> so I did, and I was, like, one of three friends. Oh, and, really? Um, yeah. Anyway, I created literally the next morning I came up, opened it up, and I had, you know how it says people that may, you may you know. You may know, or, right, right, right. I had literally, like, Three four hundred people. Oh shit! I had Thank you. I had back. I had people looking Thanks, for LaBelle. me from when I was living in Vienna, Austria, when I was twelve years old. Labelle's telling on me to my mom. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> it was just freaky because like part of the names is like oh yeah because wow, how do you I know like, no, I know these people? No, I like to see them and the others, but no. But the creepy thing was is what I figured out was all this time that fa- anytime somebody put in it, you know, looking for me, yeah, it saved it, it stored it, uh-huh. and the moment I created that profile. It just downloaded. They said, oh, these it's are all the people that have been searching for it. And they, yeah. it just downloaded every. And that's why I refer to Facebook as the, the Matrix. Because oh, of, for sure. Because the moment, sure. moment I plugged in, it knew, it, knew, I, yeah. it knew I was there, and all this stuff got pushed to me. I mean, that's from day one, that's what Facebook was. No, but it was kind of yeah. creepy. I mean, literally, it's like, four, Landmi- this Landmi- is like 400 Landmi- people. Yeah, Lanny, Lanny says, is that Mr. O on the casting couch? It sure is. Yeah, Lanny. <laughs> where you at, Lanny? Huh? Yeah, where, where you, at? you at, Lanny? Uh, LaBelle donated five uh, more bits. He says, Tony's, mo- Tony's mom, Tony's being mean to Randy. I'm never mean to Randy. <laughs> if I'm mean to Randy, he's going to kick us out of here. <laughs> No, I just won't let you sing karaoke. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> wait, I haven't been mean to you, and I haven't been allowed to sing karaoke. Yeah. So are you saying, if I'm nice to you tonight, we get to sing? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why? That means you won't get out of here till 3 in the morning. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Randy. You know what we got, right? No, what do you got? We got the 13 viewer <laughs> So that means we gotta take a shot, Randy. It means we gotta take a shot. Are you ready? Yeah, but you know I only drink castmate. What do you think I got right here, sir? I knew you had that. <laughs> do you have a shot glass? Or you can just take it from Chris's. Chris, Chris ain't here. Oh, you're not gonna do it with Chris? Yeah, he's 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 got a bladder of a child. I can't help that. It's not my fault. <laughs> you know, I don't ever take bathroom breaks on this show. I think maybe three times I've taken an actual piss break on this show. Your son takes like three a night. Come on, come over here and sit in his chair and we'll do this shot. Well, yeah, he'll be back, but he can go sit on the couch. Just tell him you're taking over from now on. It's me and Randy. It's the Tony and Randy show now. You ready? Okay, stupid. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Put your shot emotes in the chat. Thanks for tuning in. We love you guys. You're welcome, Randy. So, Chris, you can sit on the couch. We got a, I got a new co-host here. Yeah, um, no, I'm <laughs> yeah we totally just did. Yeah, Chris just came in yelling. <laughs> He's all mad now. You have bad luck. What are you doing? It's not. Oh, so your dad doesn't know about the about the stream deck. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, Randy, look, I got one. Yeah, I Chris has one. I got one, and Chris has one, and this this allows us to trigger certain things on the show. Um. For instance, uh, like Laughing Lanny Face, for instance. You know, this flies in, and we get to see it. <laughs> Chris can trigger that. I can trigger that. And, you know, we got all kinds of stuff. They did a shot without me? We did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. But, you you know, it's not our fault. You have a baby bladder, Christopher. I This is my first pee I took all show. Yeah. We're only two hours and a half I'm in. I'm going to say it's a genetic dad. Your dad hasn't peed yet. That's true. And he's diabetic, right? He should pee more than anybody. Why are you make fun of his diabetes? <laughs> Raps here, too. We accept all diabetics. Okay, okay, okay. Where was that connection ever made between peeing and being a diabetic? So uh, isn't it like a sign that you you might want to go get checked by a doctor if you pee a lot? Um, like if, you, if you're constantly going to take a piss like every 20 no, minutes. That, that, that would be prostate cancer. No, I think it has to do with diabetes yeah. too, man. No? Diabetes. If, if, anyway. If you're not sleeping well and you're getting up all night long, yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what. I mean, I don't know. But you, you're, you're in, for your age, you're in good shape. You have your shit in check. Oh, I know God. that. <laughs> Fucking Justin. 
Isn't what? What are you? Ju- were you looking at porn just now? <laughs> he just sent me like, you know those like embarrassing like Christmas photos you take with your your best. You know, like I, the, I saw uh, like boobs. Yeah. I, I saw. I looked over. So and I saw titties. It on was like Chris's a fat computer. dude who was like, na- like oh wait, it was dude anything. boobs. It was like a dude and his girlfriend was like laying on his back, but you couldn't see anything. But it was. I just... saw something that looked like boobs. <laughs> it disturbed me. It was well, there probably was boobs in there. <laughs> it was mostly man boobs. Uh, Big Spin says, go away, bot. My mom says, yes, and thirsty. What? Yeah. Well, who's thirsty? Oh, God. Where is 8-Track? Why does everybody want us to become famous by selling us f- followers? Just follow the fucking show, man. Just follow us. We're cool. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> bye. I don't know. Anyway, bye, Felicia. Um, TikTok, bro. TikTok. TikTok around the clock. It's going to get kicked out the, the, US, uh, the USA. What? I can't rhyme. I'm not a rapper. Oh. So tell us about TikTok, Chris. Well, what's the, what's the most recent? Because the last I heard, Microsoft was trying to buy it. Right. So Donald Trump this week said, I'm going to put the ban hammer on TikTok. Yeah, ban hammer them motherfuckers. Because China's running that shit in China. <laughs> and you better make sure yeah. that you don't get you don't get your shit involved yeah. in the Chinese government. Basically, I've been they telling people this for a long been time. They have paying what they're supposed to be paying. <laughs> it's uh, I've, hey! I've been telling people too though. You're I, laughing I've been at the Trump. It, I've been saying it before Trump's that. been saying it. I said, <laughs> yeah, careful downloading ch- TikTok on your. I phone told my girlfriend, baby cakes. I told shit. you about this fucking TikTok shit. That shit's been uh, no okay, knowledge. Okay, believe it or not, it's a bipartisan issue. Chuck Schumer, who's a Democratic speaker for the you guy's an asshole. Senate. Yeah, but go no, ahead. He even said the same thing. Well, it's true. Yeah. You know why? He just didn't get enough stock in it. That's why he's against it. No, it's a privately held company. You can't buy it. Well, it's chi- privately held by the Chinese government. Absolutely. Yeah. But so, so the Chinese company called ByteDance actually owns TikTok. Yeah. Okay. Um, but they're run out of somewhere. The TikTok is run out of somewhere in the United States. I want to say Texas or something like that. Well, that's a okay. They they that's a U.S. region, right? The main the main one is actually out of Beijing. Right. So basically, uh, Pompeo came out saying, uh, if you use TikTok, basically your information is getting s- sold to the Chinese government. One hundred percent. I said that and, from day one. Uh, you said that from said day if one. If you're comfortable having it there, and then Trump this past weekend made the declaration saying, uh, I'm going to ban TikTok. When he said, when Microsoft uh, announced that they'd be interested in buying TikTok, uh, at first he was kind of resistant to the idea, but I guess now he's kind of cool with it. Well, because the president, the CEO of Microsoft, called him to talk about it. Right. So now Microsoft is in talks with TikTok to talk about taking over TikTok Mm -hmm. and Microsoft owning TikTok. Just yeah, to but, make things more confusing. Yeah, but, but, I'm just but, fucking with you but guys. Facebook but, just launched their copycat one, too. What's it called? Uh, oh. They have a copycat um, app that yeah, they just uh, launched. Yeah, b- Brine? I'm not sure. They just launched it, though. But what is it called? I think it's called Brine, I want to say. Yeah, but on the business channel today, they were showing them side by side, and you really can't tell the two apart. Um, I mean, most of the companies were trying to find a way to break into that TikTok market. Uh, Instagram Rebel Reels, Instagram Reels. That, I'm not. I don't recognize. Oh, so it. Instagram Reels is a new thing. Basically, it's copying TikTok's format, right? Yeah. And putting the technology onto Instagram. <coughs> Instagram already has the platform. It already has a fucking user base. Right. So they're gonna end up beating TikTok, I think. Well, I don't in know, America, like, well, tic- in America, maybe not worldwide. Well, TikTok already has like a hundred million users, so it's huge. Yeah, no, it is huge. But you're going to remember how many millions of those users are coming out of China. So it's... Well, I told all my employees, get off that shit. Don't yeah. fucking use that well, shit. Well, no, but also... But of course they don't also listen to if me. You follow They want to be TikTokers yeah, now. Right. Everyone wants to be a fucking TikToker in, nowadays. In India has banned like 50 apps out of China now. Good. Oh, yeah. So... But that has more to do with their, their fighting they have with the Chinese on the border than anything. You know else. what? If you want to use the app, you, you go for it. I don't, I don't give a shit. But I'm just telling you, it's not the smartest. Well, I, I don't even it. think I, I. What I'm more concerned about is them taking my likeness, because literally they face map everything because there's all those filters. Yeah. 
They literally well, can they steal your likeness and clone you. They can basically, take... is what if you lo- if you actually probably look into their terms of service. Yeah, look at what the app has permissions to on yeah. your fucking yeah, phone. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. Yeah, I'm just saying. If he goes, hey, can we see your contacts? Hey, can I we mean, see your social media platforms? I hey, mean, can no. we see? Uh, guess what? You give someone access to your social media. They know pretty much everything about you. I mean, I read those agreements line by line, backwards, right? words, not. <laughs> uh, Facebook is just as bad. Apple's not as bad. Apple's actually pretty good when it comes to their track record of, like, information that they share. Okay, but what people don't realize um, is, th- I mean, you know, you know who the worst is? Google. Well, Google. I mean, yeah, Google will sell your shit oh. in a heartbeat. Yeah. And I don't know if you know what. This is, but remember uh, a couple of weeks ago, I, I said I signed up for one of those Pacer.gov accounts. I got my um, my uh, confirmation numbers and all that stuff so I can activate my account. We can look into the, like all these crazy court cases nationwide. Oh, yeah. Google has a major class action suit pertaining to your medical records and, and the privacy laws. Yeah, but guess what the class action is? Oh, we each get $12. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, that, I read yeah, the email I, I today. today. No, you're, you're looking at a different I one. I actually I'm, got that. I'm, I'm not talking today. about that one. Okay. What they're trying to do is, you know, way past, if you, you mailed the letter through the post office, right? Right. They would only open it if they had cause. Okay. okay? So when you left, dropped it in point A, it got to point B, you assume it was going to get there intact. Okay. But when you sign up for Google or any uh, email server, what people don't realize is they own all the content in your emails. Right, right, right. So they can. So if you're sending your doctor an email about you know going back and forth nowadays with like Teladoc or whoever for your medical. Yeah, DocuSign. They're they're, they're actually going in and they have access to all your conversations, your day, and that is illegal. Yeah, that's, because yeah, that's fucked that, up. That, that violates the privacy law when it comes to medical records and your health, and yet they're allowed to do it, and that's what the class action suit is to get them to stop being able to do that. Because every time you send an email to your doctor, whatever you're doing it through, yeah. those companies have access to your health, your health information, right. everything else. Hmm. Yeah, it, it just, it, it doesn't make sense that they would have the right to do that. You know, they're, they're, they're basically, you send an email, it's a modern day, you're sending a letter. Why should they have access to the content within that letter? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um... I mean, you gotta just assume that all your information is out there on the fucking internet these days. Well, if I'll tell you right like, now, I just I, went. I, I just went through some shit. I just had my my checking account cleaned out. Yeah, you were telling us about. Yeah, that. and before that, my both my credit cards, my work credit card and my personal credit card, got used unauthorized. Someone ordered Chipotle on my fucking personal one, and we don't have a fucking Chipotle me. here. That was me. Sorry. Dude, well, <laughs> can I at least get a burrito, too? Because, fuck. I, it up. I wish we had Chipotle. Dude, there. if we had Chipotle, I'd be like, okay, let's do this, but... Well, we live in Hawaii. There's yeah, no Chipotle. There's no Chipotle. I was using Uber Flights. Wait, Commander Uber, Uber Flights? Yeah. Is Uber that a flight. real thing? No. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, like, that'd be kind of cool, actually. Can I charter a private plane yeah. real quick? I want to, yeah. Hey, you got the money. Hey, it's man. Really good. I'm sure Uber Black, there's going to be another level to Uber Flights, maybe private yeah. jets. Why not? Yeah, I was looking. There's one in London called, or England, it's called Del- Deliveroo. Is there a takeoff? It's kind of funny. Mm. But. I kind of want to know what China is going to do about Parrot telling his owner to fuck off. Yeah, so. The big, the big issue here is China's going. Hey, you guys are doing a hostile takeover of a Chinese company. Meanwhile, America is like, uh, no, we're not. We're trying to uh, negotiate, get this company out of your hands. So Microsoft's trying to work. Hey, we're gonna make sure all the back end security covers America. Microsoft, you're talking about blah, Bill blah, Gates. Blah. Yeah, yeah, he's not friends with China, is he? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! So, with that. and, and well, one no, senator no, totally. was like, only three percent of their business comes from China. No. I'm, I'm sure. saying no, but what I'm 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 going down the rabbit hole a little bit, but Bill Gates is in China, and the, is and, with China and, on building this and, new world order and the, government, and the, <laughs> and the division they're selling. No, is, I'm serious. Don't I, laugh. That's I, true. I don't think it is. And the division, the, the division. China is the number one country when it comes. If you go and talk about anything about new world order shit, if you look it up, China's like the superpower in their plan. I mean, I know that what they're trying to do. But, but you but just said you don't believe it. But I you, don't. You, I don't believe so it. So you don't believe China's trying to globalize. I, I do believe China is trying to global, oh, globalize. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what is it? Do you believe it or do you not? I you do, just said well, you believe it and you didn't. Three, no, and, I'm saying I don't believe that Bill Gates is involved with it. Oh, okay. You I, don't believe Bill Gates no, is I, involved. I, no, I and and 
Tony, he's not even he's not even CEO. He, he's only on the board of directors now for Microsoft. He's not the CEO. I, I'm aware. Okay. Why would he step down from his board? Where did this Bill Thank Gates you. shit come from? I yeah. don't even know where the Bill hey, Gates shit came from. Hey, you can't mute me yet. Oh, it's getting close. <laughs> I mean, the, the I haven't even close. I haven't even got riled up yet. I got the button right the here. Hey, yeah. you got one minute, bitch. Okay. <laughs> the one you got to be concerned about is Google because they created that app for China. Right. They went and did all the facial recognition, everything, right. so they right. can censor, identify protesters, do all that. And I mean, you got all those human rights violations, and they're helping to assist in those violations. Oh, that yeah. I don't yeah. know if you've seen the deep fake video that I posted I, on my Facebook. Well, wait, 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 what deep fake video? Did you do a deep fake video? No, I'm just saying, did you see the deep fake video? You, you're, you're familiar with the I know what deep fakes are. The 90 Fiance is, right? Yeah. Did you watch the baby girl Lisa and the guy from Nigeria who, like, were getting together? They Yeah, I know who you're so talking they about. So they posted are, are a we video. we 90 Day Fiance uh, again? Yeah. I'm just okay. saying, did, uh, did you see the video where they... Did a deep fake with Kanye no, West I, and Donald oh, Trump. No, I didn't oh. see that. I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. That'd be, I thought that'd it was probably funny. Be funny. That'd probably yeah. be funny. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here. Just check this out. I, I posted I'm always Facebook, for funny here. But it's. So the narcissist versus the uh, bipolar. Who's bipolar and who's narcissist? Oh, so if you guys are familiar with. They're bipolar. both fucking narcissists, if you didn't know. If you're familiar with Baby Lisa. Oh, uh, who isn't? Baby, Baby Lisa. Lisa, the fucking oldest bitch on the program. Yes. Baby Lisa, my asshole. Okay, so I posted this video. I didn't want the Trumps to get all mad about it, but I, I thought it was a pretty good deep fake. Like, hey, like the voice. Chris, didn't you know me. I'm the only Trumper you know, hey. and I don't get mad about funny shit. Uh, hey, if you can, if it's funny, it's funny. If you can laugh during this time, hey, credit to you. Yeah, if you can laugh during you this time, you can laugh, laugh during any time. If you can't shit's laugh, shit's fucked up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna post it in the Twitch chat. <laughs> I kind of saw a corner. Of hey, Yodi. Like okay, let's. We're gonna pull this up. I don't. Yeah. Okay. I assume a deep me, fake is me, a fake. A fake video. This. It's a fake video. Today is my wedding day. Oh my god. And <laughs> I cannot wait. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Last night. <laughs> oh, I'll start. I'll start in the Today beginning. Today is my wedding day. <laughs> and I cannot wait. <laughs> Last night, Usman and I got into a huge fight. <laughs> I do feel That's bad. That's Kanye West. But Obviously. even I talked about it, and we're not going to throw away just because we had an argument or two. Plus, I'm flying back to the U.S. tomorrow. <laughs> this is funny. It's time to get your butt out of bed. Get up. I still want to marry Lisa because... I love her so very much. It looks like Kanye. I happy with her. I'm very, very happy at this moment. And I'm just imagining how my life is going to be in America. Good, dude. You're going to be a rap <laughs> star. <laughs> Soldier boy, fuck that. You're Kanye When we walk East. there is more people than I expected. <laughs> and I have no clue what's going on at this time. <laughs> <laughs> you night, see how? Okay, wait. A big I wanna, I wanna, hold on. I wanna brother. pause this okay. real quick. So, I wanna <laughs> pause it because my dad, my dad's probably watching right now. He doesn't know what deep fakes are. Do you see how seamless? Yeah. Yeah. You can make it like, like look how good Donald you can Trump's make face, this. Face, yeah. And that's Kanye's and it, face cannot, on two different people's bodies. Yeah. Me and my lovely wedded wife do take you. Do take you. So help me God. <laughs> so help me God. Amen. <laughs> like, okay. you cannot tell it's Dinner fake. Dress. Mm -hmm. nope. And that looks like <laughs> Kanye, like a motherfucker, dude. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. But, but you know what? You know what? The, you know what the sad thing is? So <laughs> Trump, at, I watched Lisa and yeah. what's her name? Trump looks a hell of a lot better than her. No, Trump does look. <laughs> so, so today in our fantasy football league uh, chat, someone posted a, a deep fake of Hillary Clinton as Donald Trump, and I said this is the best Hillary's ever looked. Yeah. But yeah, she. Do, I'd rather kiss Donald Trump than kiss Baby Lisa. I'll tell you that much. Go for the reception, <laughs> eating, Eating, celebration. Yes. Good day for you. Anything you want, I go do for you, girl. Baby, I go pray for you. <laughs> that was the guy's actual song. Yeah, that's Soldier Boy from yeah. Ni uh, from where? Nigeria? Yeah, uh, Nigeria, yeah. Nigeria. 
90 Day Fiance, dude. I just, I, I'm, I'm I kind of a fan wait. of the show, so uh, I kind of had to, I had to. No, uh, I, I've I seen a lot it. of it, like, but if you're a fan of 90 Day Fiance, you gotta laugh at that. That's like, pretty, funny. pretty, that's pretty funny. funny. That's pretty funny. I mean, if you're just, a, if you're just a fucking fan of comedy, that's funny. Yeah. You know, hey, I like Trump. I can take a joke. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna get Thank offended. You. I'm not a snowflake. I don't get offended. I just think people... That like, was people, hilarious. I'm that was sorry. funny. That was, that was funny. If you was, say, you was, know that hey, video. I'm all for comedy, there was, man. There was nothing political about it. Which is no, funny. it was just funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was political that Trump and, Trump and Kanye are in bed <laughs> together, <laughs> but, but other than that, that... But very well done. Yeah, very well done. Very well. Again, and it was funny. And it wasn't... They weren't taking like cheap shots at anybody. It was just a funny thing. Well, anybody that watched the show, you can relate to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so <laughs> that's the whole thing, though. Too, I just it's pretty crazy how how these deep fake how like crazy these deep fakes are getting with people. Where it's like you can so, literally put anybody's go, face on anybody's. But to go back to the TikTok thing and have them say anything. That's what I'm. That's the problem with it. So they can literally, if you have a TikTok account and you've done a video and they mapped your face, they could put your face. On, on anything, anything. Yeah. yes, that's that's in their terms of service. It could be on a credit card. So then, it could be on well, then they, not only that, but they could they could put your face in a porno, and then they say, you know, you're a fucking porno a actress, star. and yeah. you didn't even fucking know it. Well, if they want, if they wanted to destroy you for whatever political, exactly. You know, let's say you become a state senator. They could, and it, it's not only the video; it's yeah. they can make the voice change too. Yeah, oh, that yeah. one wasn't it, but I've seen ones where they make the voice change. To sound like yeah, they do you oh, yeah. on like another character. No, the, the cops are actually using that now. Where they will, they'll do the I don't know what they call the software, but they'll go in there and if they have some conversation between a person, if there's enough words, they can actually recreate yeah. a conversation. Yeah, yeah. they just they, and they just need certain say, sound, and, yeah. And, they, yeah. and they can show it to somebody that they're trying to get yep. to confess or whatever. Say, hey, this person just confessed and said you did it. Here, listen to the tape. Yeah, it's not entrapment. It's a trip. They don't consider that's, it not it's like, it's not uh, that's not entrapment. So, that's great to me, so, man. That's a great area. Yeah, they can, well, you constructed and manufactured a conversation I never said. Well, no, no, no. But the cops can lie to you about something. They can bluff. They can say, hey, we got you on video doing this. And to try to get you to admit. It, right. And they may not even have the video. Right. Well, I mean, I kind of fell into one of those traps, too. So when I got in that fight in Vegas, Bas uh, they basically spin. told have me, oh, night, I, have, right. I have video of you doing it. And I was like, well, I, I'm not going to lie. I beat the right. guy up. Right. Like, it is what it is. Yeah. You know, have a good night, Big Spin. Um, but yeah, they, they they always do that. They will always bullshit you. Good but, to have you here, brother. But that's not only the police; that's all law enforcement. I FBI, mean, that it's everybody. Bottom line is, you tell me one bad guy that's gonna come out and tell you the truth of what really happened. They yeah. gotta lie to get the truth out. The thing is, they're gonna have to develop technology to debunk this technology. Oh, yeah. yeah, so no, that's a scary thing. So that's a scary there thing. are certain to. websites for to. photos right now. So yeah. like we did, like I did with the Wayfair thing. You can take a photo and upload it to this right. website. I've seen what you And they'll be about. able to see like if there was any editing done on the actual photo. Oh, they it, can. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So like. Something uh, doesn't match up. If or there's pixelation. So no, basically, if there's a if there's an edit done, it 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 kind of it can tell what the original photo was, and if there's something on top. Well, of they it. take every pixel. They take it. Yeah, apart, they do. Pixel they, they, pixel, they take it apart pixel tell, by pixel, and they can tell. Um, so we were doing that stuff. I did that stuff with the Wayfair thing again, because there was weird things, and it, there was like a bookcase that they did it on, and it was in the bookcase they edited the certain books titles. That were in the bookcase to things like blood harvesting and shit like that. And people were like, why would you edit it to be that and then put the name of like these people's stuff on the things? It's weird, right? So, so wait, wait. I got to ask a dumb question. Were they selling the. I think of Wayfair, I think of furniture. So, what the hell were they right. selling? A bookcase? So, okay. So, the whole thing was is they had multiple bookcases which with, the, with the same picture. With varying prices, one was ten thousand, one was twelve, one was eleven. Oh, so you got to figure out why they're charging more. Right, but it. but each each thing was named, so it was like a Samara bookcase, and the other one was like a Yesplinta bookcase. And then when you looked up these bookcases, first of all, they're all the same picture. So why would they be labeled differently? And then when you looked up the names, it was all the names of these missing children. Oh wow! That's yeah, weird. that's why I got really weird. And why? First of all. It looks like something you could buy at Home Depot for like two hundred bucks, and it's ten grand. Yeah, and it's the same picture on the next one with a different name, same item for like a thousand dollars more, or like they're all very differently priced. Okay, new funding source. If we, we're born we, as we, fuck, we, go we, to we a different channel. We, we open up our Shopify store tomorrow. What? 
Oh, people Chris, sell. you and I. I'm not selling humans. No, we're we're gonna open up our Shopify store for inappropriate bar talk. Okay, what what are we doing? It's gonna be called inappropriate bar talk. <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna. Oh, hold on, we got we got some new people here in the chat. Hold on, let's see what we got. <laughs> LOL, talk about something interesting. Jesus Christ, boring as fuck. Who is Jaden? Is BFTD? Okay, God, I'm horny, and y'all look hot enough to do the job. Well, okay, glad. thank you, Spencer Pigeon. Appreciate that. Um, talk about I just got an erection. Porn. I'm horny. Why are you guys all horny all of a sudden? Like, what? We're me and Chris I, I aren't feel like that these attractive. Guys are like a tag team. Yeah, obviously. They yeah. probably tag team each other in bed. <laughs> I fuck my couch. Yeah. Well, that's fucking gross. Don, I don't ever want to come to your house and sitting on your sofa. Jesus Christ, there's a lot. All right, well, our mod will get to you. Uh, <laughs> well, where Where is uh, A-Track when you need him? Um, show us your perfect tits. Chris, he's talking to you. Uh, they're not perfect. I, I mean, one's why. a little lopsided. I don't wear a bra anymore. One's a little so lopsided than the other, but they're still pretty nice. There's a little hairy, though. They're really furry. That's the problem with this country yeah. these days. This Let's is the problem with the country. <laughs> is this a rave? We can make it a rave. You want it to be a rave? Here we go. Here we go. I love man fun. Okay. That's great, man. Good. Good. I'm glad you do. Where Where is our mods? <laughs> It's a track. Good. You fucked up. Chris, right? Chris is on it. All right, we're, okay, we're gonna do shots. We're gonna do shots. Bounce we're gonna do. My... We're gonna do shots. Cause why, Chris? Cause why? <laughs> Yell it in the mic. We got that ten view hole. <laughs> a track. You better not be at my mom's house. I'll, you know what? I'll kill we, you. Can, we can have fun with these guys. Look, look, you hey, know, hey. We can, we can, we can, we can oh, fuck well. around with these. Yeah, H-Track yeah, already put down the ban hammer on them. It's okay. But, I mean, you don't have to ban them. They didn't really say anything that outrageous. Be a little light on your ban hammer, H-Track. Just delete their messages, maybe. Okay. But They anyway. were being a little aggressive. Yeah. It's like they were coming they were in like, like, whoa. It's like, you know, when you, you, like they're being aggressive, like... Like, I like feel for like God's sake, just talk about something. T titties and vaginas. God, I'm bouncing on my boy See, that's the thing. This. Is if they would have just stuck around, they would have realized we talk about tits and pussy and ass all the all time. time. All yeah, the time. all the time. Cheers. Yeah. You Cheers want one, Randy? No, uh, I'm good. I'm You're good. good. You're good. All right. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh. I'm getting yelled at to check my disc card. A track. LaBelle don't get me, me wrong. Something. You're doing it. You're doing a good job. Don't don't get us wrong. No. A track. Shh. Wait. We what? We gotta come up with a new name for A track. Hey, a mom. Don't fucking play along with. I don't like this at all. <laughs> I don't fucking like this. I will fucking <laughs> kill people. Hey, dad. Can you grab me a beer? <laughs> please. My bare hands. I'll I, take one too, since please, you're Randy. Drinking all of mine. I think I drink them all. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna fight. Hey, okay. So remember, a track. I know your address. So is anybody mad about TikTok getting banned? What is this right now? A uh, Labelle sent me this picture. I don't know what this is. What is this, Labelle? It's him skydiving from a skyscraper. What? No, it's not. Oh, this is it Instagram? Yeah, we'll go to Instagram. I trust it. What is this? <laughs> wow. Oh. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck was what that? What is that? Did someone just throw something off their balcony? Someone chair threw a chair off the building. Thank you. Oh, no, no, it's a hurricane. It's a, it's a oh, yeah, yeah. People are just like yelling at trash. Wow. Dude, that was a big piece of trash, though. It went under the car. Oh, so this is during the hurricane? This was yesterday during the hurricane. What? Damn, you guys got whacked. Wait, how strong was this thing? What was it? What was the hurricane called? We just went through a, uh, what, a one, a one and two? That was a one. Not even a one. Yeah, this would, like, if the, if the, if the hurricane, the category Damn. one came through Hawaii, we would have had shit like that. We would have had yeah. shit like that. Well, we're lucky. Oh, we're lucky. Shit. oh, shit. Oh, shit. It knocks oh. over trees, power lines. Look at this van. Holy shit. Someone's chair just on some. It's people's lawn furniture flying yeah. off their balconies. Yeah, I see that. 
That's why you bring your shit inside, yeah. you dumbass. When there's a hurricane, you bring loose stuff inside, <laughs> you dumb shit. <laughs> I mean, you know, they live in a big city. They, yeah, don't, they know. don't know. <laughs> they we don't live know. on an island. We like, know the in rules. In Hawaii, you know, hey, number one thing is you bring your lawn furniture and you tie it down. Yeah. Like, that's number one flying projectile. Yeah. Dude, the, the number one most dangerous thing of a hurricane is the wind. Yeah. Because it, it whips stuff well, up. obviously. Yeah. Well, I mean, not obvious. <laughs> Sometimes people don't think. It's, people well, don't think no, the wind the, is what's going to fuck the, me it's up. It's not that it's the wind. It's that what the, the debris. The debris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The debris being thrown by the wind. That's it's yeah. like bricks and stones and branches and shit hitting you. Hey, in but the no, face. but the sticks and stones don't break my bones. But words, they fucking hurt me. <laughs> no, but um, hey, thank God you guys survived. You guys are all right. Stay safe, man. You gotta take <sighs> Fuck, those dude. things seriously. They're they, even though they're a category one. It's all because of the chemtrails or dude. even turning the frogs gay it's and just, just manipulating the weather. If there's a hurricane, don't go outside and run around. Like just. Well, hurricanes aren't rare because you guys are a city based on the sea. You guys are right on the ocean. I mean, I think New York's gotten hit by more hurricanes than we have, to be honest. I don't know about that. No, no. I don't know about that, Chris. Are you sure? Yeah. They had a hurricane. Hold had on. A, what was the last hurricane before this Hey, one? Siri. <laughs> Who's been hit by more hurricanes in history, New York or Hawaii? New York had the really bad one, like, three, four years ago. Yeah, that was, what, something... Um, So, a list of New York hurricanes, 84 tropical or subtropical cyclones have affected the state of New York. I don't see anything for Hawaii. Hurricane Sandy. That was the one. Yeah. That was the one I was yeah, thinking yeah. of. Uh, it, flooded, is, it flooded this is the way streets. way too much in, history for me to be no, reading. No, it right flooded now. the streets of New York. It right, caused massive bad. power outages. Um, it was bad, dude. The yeah. Hurricane Sandy was pretty bad. Have you heard about Eva? That was a long time ago. Yeah, have you forgotten about when that came 10 years later? Iniki, Iniki? was Iniki was the Iniki work. fucked shit up in Hawaii. Last, that years. was what 97? No, we had we had was it Douglas last, which is the one that hit the Big Island last year. Hit the devastated mm, the one part. It missed I think the volcano did more damage last year than the hurricane. No, no, yeah. but no, the Big Island got hit by one kind of hard last year. I'm just saying that no. I mean, yeah. I think Iniki Sandy would have by far been the last major one we've had. Yeah. No, Sandy was New York. No, Sandy was pretty bad. Yeah. No, Sandy, Sandy caused bad. a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, LaBelle says water in New York is cold. We haven't had a... Uh, yeah, we water had in Hawaii is kind of warm. We haven't had a hurricane that's caused, like... Like, we've had flooding and stuff like that. No, but, like, but major damage, the last one I would say is Iniki. Iniki was... And that was, like, 90. Two? Well, no, but you that had, was a category five okay, but, that but, hit but, Kauai. But you like, had that. No, there was another one that hit Kauai after that. Dumped like freaking fifty inches of rain, sixty inches. Yeah, of rain. but it still wasn't more damaging than it took, Well, it took out all the the northern side of the island by by Hanalei and all the way through. I'm just saying, Hawaii's got it easy compared to Puerto Rico, New Orleans, uh, even New York. I don't know. That'd be an interesting. Florida. That'd be that'd be interesting to look at. Yeah. No, it's it's the truth. I mean, look I, at Katrina. I, Katrina I, was like fucking terrible. I, I, if if I had to guess, letting them off since they're a small channel. Who are you letting off? What, it, what's it, happening? If if I had to guess, I would. Oh, well, track revoked the ban. He yeah. revoked their ban. That's fine. That's fine. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's no, if I had to guess, the city I think that's probably had the most is probably Houston. They no, said, they Katrina said, was like the worst. No, hurricane Houston, in Houston a long got hit by time. no. Houston got hit by two thousand five. Katrina was the worst, no, by far. Don't you remember Houston got that one just last year that dumped fifty something inches and then, of rain and. Yeah, that one was bad, but it wasn't Katrina. That level. was the one that JJ Watt. Katrina, like we're comparing. JJ Watt uh, donated like a million dollars. No, he, started, he started the foundation that, that was uh, fifty-two million dollars. Damn, the devastation was huge. I mean, that one's bad, but Katrina was. Oh, no, bad. Katrina was worse, yeah. But I'm just saying, if you look at the one that's normally in the path of these hurricanes. All right, we're comparing usually... hurricane disasters. but Separate homework assignment. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. What else we got, Chris? Let's go to something positive. The 188-year-old tortoise. Yeah, dude, let's talk about some old Ninja Turtles. <laughs> dude, I thought this was a cool story because, like, literally they say. All right. Yeah, why don't you cover this one, Tony? They say that this dude, I'm going I'm to pull him up. I'm, I listed this earlier in the week, but they say this dude is the oldest living land animal creature, whatever, in, record, uh, in history recorded at this point. He's 188 years old, this, this fucking turtle. 
All right. His name's Jonathan. Jo Jonathan. Of course, it's Jonathan. Jonathan the tortoise celebrates his 180th birthday. Is said to be the oldest land animal on Earth. Okay, dude, look at this guy. And he still looks, he looks like he's in his prime, Chris. He does. He looks like he can go another yeah. 188 years. Dude, I mean, besides the fact of his, he kind of looks like a dick in a shell, but, uh, I mean, he I looks mean, good for a turtle. He's the ultimate masculine <laughs> he's white literally, symbol, right? Uh, and I can't read the rest of this because I guess, I guess uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't read the rest of the story, but... On a remote volcanic island in the South Atlantic, there lives a Seychelles giant tortoise named Jonathan. Let me see if I can pull Who up is the believed to be the, the oldest known thing. land animal on Earth. Far older than any human being, Jonathan is also predates the automobile, the no. television, yeah. and even the invention of the light bulb. This turtle was alive before Edison invented, supposedly invented, the light bulb. And he outlived them. By far. Yeah. That's a fucking cool turtle, man. That's all I got to say. 188. So cool fucking Happy turtle. Happy birthday, Jonathan Should we do tortoise. a shot for Jonathan we the should. tortoise? We should. I think we should. Happy birthday to Jonathan Guys, put your shot emotes in the chat. <laughs> we're going like, to do a we're shot. We're doing shots to turtles We're now. doing shots to the oldest fucking tortoise. thing in the tortoise. world. Um, he's got to be one of the oldest. Land living things, period. It, it, land animals, he has to be the oldest. See, but we don't know about the ocean. Including though. human beings. Well, no, it says Obviously. he is the oldest land animal. 100%. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Land but being. But we don't know period. what's at the bottom of the ocean. There might be a slug that's like 300 years old. Okay, we okay. don't know. But the analogy to the light bulb and everything is stupid because you know what? Why is that stupid? That's crazy. Because this turtle was born in 1832. Yeah. Think about 1832. How can I think about 1832? Yeah. I don't know what 1832 We were barely like. a country. We were going yeah, through the Civil War. war. Yes. And this turtle was alive. <laughs> yes. That's fucking right. crazy. Okay. This turtle was born during the Civil War. War. Yeah. <laughs> that's a better analogy. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. <laughs> so who wait. cares about the freaking airplane? <laughs> Here's my thing is, who the fuck's been taking care of this turtle all his life? Because yeah. he's outlived like three generations yeah. easily. He was alive during our Civil War. Yeah. Dude, this, if this turtle could talk, man, that's all I got to say. If this turtle could talk. Oh, you just sentenced him to death. No, if this turtle Jonathan, could talk. Jonathan Epstein. Why? Suddenly, why? Suddenly dies. He didn't fuck any baby turtles. <laughs> he didn't fuck the teenage mutant ninja turtles. You know what? Jonathan, the tortoise, <laughs> is my hero. Yeah. He's my. I hero. think he's my hero. He's lived through all this and just been like, you know what? I'm and just he's like, dude, trucking, all I'm bro. trying to do is just, just eat some grass trucking. and get some ass. Because you, you know, you know he's still turtle. You can only be as lucky as Dude, this turtle. What do you want to be? Thank you, Chris. To my point, Jonathan yeah. and I are going to Vegas next week. If I, if he's I was going to be had a good life, if he's alive this. If long. I wanted to be reincarnated into anything, I think I want to be reincarnated into a tortoise because all they do is eat grass and fuck ass. But Tony, think about it. <laughs> think, think about it. Eighteen. You ever seen a tortoise fuck? They go like. Yeah. They're weird. Okay. But think about it. Surprising, Jonathan was in Eden 178 years ago. <laughs> he might have been. We don't know. Back then, it's like, who? They didn't keep records back then. We don't know. How they know he's 188? That's a good question, dude. Like, what if this guy just, like, he might be 200. We don't know. They didn't have fucking Excel back then to keep a good spreadsheet. I, I thought there was another one of the Galapagos Islands that was pretty damn old, too. I mean, I don't fucking know. Uh... LaBelle says, okay, hold on. Let's, uh, Hurricane, uh, Hurricane Sandy was back in 2012. I posted a video of Hurricane Sandy in the YouTube vids. A parrot that is labeled to be able to outlive other parrots is also the horniest parrot. Birds and reptiles have been known to outlive most other animals. Yeah. Birds live to 100. Like, but fuck birds, dude. Birds creep Especially me out. Especially parrots. They don't even have hands. Those fuckers <laughs> live for like I don't years. trust... Here's Why would thing. I own an animal that outlives me? I would never trust anything that doesn't have hands or feet. Snakes and birds are out. Tortoise? I'll trust the tortoise. I'd never trust a bird. Birds are smart. Never trust a bird, bro. Birds are smart. Birds and snakes. Reptiles aren't that smart. They don't have hands. I mean, they're... they're or arms. They're very... Or legs. Or feet. I don't trust <laughs> it. Reptiles are very, uh, okay. what's the word? Um, Tr Trish and I are going to have to have a separate conversation it's just, sometime. It's just a weird thing for me, bro. If you don't have arms, legs, hands, and feet, I don't trust you. <laughs> Sorry to all the what about quadriplegics, but I, I'm just saying, I, I, I don't trust you. 
What about head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Knees and toes. Dude, if you have knees and toes, we can talk. But if you, if you <laughs> but if you, that's it. It's gonna be a question. All right. So what are you uh, talking about? The ki- the the. Kids <laughs> I don't are trust Tony trauma- with the computer. People you are shouldn't. sharing the movies that traumatize them as kids. Oh, you want to go through this? This yeah. is kind of a fun uh, thing, and it's not even that bad, really. Because I was like, well, I'm curious. So what? here, let's let's go. Oh, uh, this was up here. So some of them, I was like, really? Eh, okay. But there was some fun. There was some ones for sure. I was like, oh, yeah, that fucked with me. Okay. So these are the 27 movies that are so traumatizing. People are still talking about them today. Okay. So let's scroll down and start it off. The first one being Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I love that movie. Did you? Oh yes, that's a little before our time. A little think. bit before that us. was the first. That was that was Back to the Future forty years ago. But here's why they don't like Chitty 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 Bang Bang, is because believe it or not, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, this person was terrified of the child catcher. There was a child person. Yeah. They went around and captured oh, children. I love that movie. Oh, it, things might not work on this scene. Yeah, I was just you know obviously okay. okay you can keep, put, keep it keep rolling, put it back. Rolling, put it back. Rolling, put it back. Rolling, put it back. Oh wait, you gotta oh go back to this one. So. So this reminds me also now I reg- I go forward a little bit in the future. This reminds me of the Pinocchio shit when they were kidnapping yeah, yeah, boys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. right, right, and taking them to the right. Pleasure Island. And oh, they never you get get this though. If you really look at that Pinocchio thing, yeah. they take them to Pleasure Island and they come back. They, he says they don't come back as boys. boys yeah. Why? Because they come back as Repu- uh, Democrats, dude. They come back as donkeys. <laughs> they come back as fucking Democrats. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Look it. Look it up. Look it up. Anyway, let's we'll keep going. Hundred and one Dalmatians. Apparently, a lot of people were terrified of Cruella Deville. Yeah, she's a bitch. Yeah. People yeah, love dogs. Chris, she's and more she than a bitch. She tortured dogs. She's a cunt. She tortured dogs. She wanted to turn the dogs into a fur coat. A fur coat yeah. that she wore. Yeah. That's pretty fucked up. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Old Yeller. One. Oh, seriously? Old Yeller's a terrible movie. The poor kid had to shoot his own dog because he got rabies. Welcome to life. But that's traumatizing. If you're a kid, for instance, if you're a kid, it's like, oh, I'm watching this happy movie. Because I think they sold Old Yeller as like a Disney kind so of they, family movie. When they, and then at the end, you got to murder your dog. And so when Flipper showed up in a can and you ate him as a sandwich, what? It tasted good. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, LaBelle says fucking dolphin, child's okay. play. Chris, she sinks animals. What? Skins animals. Oh, yeah. yeah. She skins animals. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking horrible. So The Exorcist, of course, one of the yeah, best yeah. horror movies of all time. Uh... Jaws, of course. Okay, every time you I'm go in still the water, scared to go into yeah. the fucking ocean, and I live in Hawaii. I'm still Bono, scared to go to the beach. I think Bono, it's Jaws. Bono. Yeah, I love how they do the movie theater sets where they watch Jaws while you're sitting in. You know that bay where they film Jaws? Every year they do a film festival where they show in, the Jaws in there. Fest- yeah, they show the uh, Jaws because that was what that was in. Uh, uh, where was this filmed in? It was uh, like, like East New Coast. Hampshire yeah, or some yeah. shit. It was East Coast. Somewhere. But they do a film festival every year where they show the Jaws yeah. film while you sit in the bay where the f- movie was filmed. See, fuck that. I wouldn't do it. Yeah. I'd sit on the, I'd sit on the sand, me- but I wouldn't be in the water. It was a mechanical I'm aware of that, shark. but those things fucking really exist, it's Randy. Great. It's great. You can watch the movie while you sit in the bay. There where are the sharks that are 30 feet long that will eat you in one bite. <laughs> Alien is a good one. Uh, just having the thing that... Well, I mean, just the thing that puts something in your st- and then the thing rips out your stomach. Like, let's let's watch this. This is the best part of Alien for sure. Are you gonna do this? As sc- oh, like, oh, like, look. Okay, so remember I was Hi, saying. Jo- Hi, Georgie. Remember I was saying <laughs> earlier how like you watch some movies and like you're like this is so corny. Yeah. Perfect example, because the look at this alien's face. It looks like a toy. It's like it's Hi. so corny. It's hey, not moving. Hey, buddy, I'm it's not even like body. moving. Gonna... It's just like a plastic figure so going back to jurassic park jurassic park was way better than that in special effects tony vending machines kill more people than sharks i don't believe that bambi it's true number yeah. seven is bambi that makes sense the opening well, scene it's opening scene yeah. yes should we watch it i mean it's very very traumatized it is for a kid literally <laughs> literally his mom I bet dies you, in I the bet opening you dum- scene i bet you dumbo is, pr- is murdered there. is murdered in the opening yeah, scene her, her mom yeah Bambi's so wizard of oz okay so i'll go to i don't know if my mom's still watching but my mom was 
terrified as a child from the Wizard of Oz from the flying monkeys. <laughs> My mom was terrified of the flying monkeys, and I think... See, the, people say the Wicked Witch. The Wicked Witch wouldn't scare me. I think the monkeys would scare me more than anything. Uh, like, if I'm just at the park and a monkey comes... First of all, monkeys without wings are scary. And now a monkey can fly? Fuck that. I mean, well, a, 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 a chimpanzee is supposed to have the strength of ten men. Now he can fly. Think about that. Fuck that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. See, my mom says I was. My, uh, Atrix says fuck Disney. My mom was terrified of the, the, the flying monkeys, man. I think that's a that's a legit phobia, I think. And yet she had two monkeys. Yeah, that's what happens when you she trip had on two, uh, that's But we didn't have you, wings, Randy. We didn't have, we couldn't fly. That's what happens when you trip on drugs and you watch a movie. Yeah, mom. Anymore. Why you're not supposed to <laughs> Mom, you're not supposed to drop acid and then watch Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jumanji would be a good one too for sure. Actress who played the witch was hospitalized after an accident caused her to be badly burned. What, they put water on her? They use real acid? Return of Oz. I never saw that. <laughs> the only answer to this, Return of... Okay, this is... What's happening here? I don't know about Return of Oz. I, I didn't never even... saw that. Poltergeist for sure. Yeah. Poltergeist was a, I mean, it's a horror scary movie. fucking yeah. movie. For sure. Blair Witch Project, eh. It had its moments. When 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 everybody I think the when, most the, when the moment, no when the folklore came out originally and everyone yeah. thought it was true then yeah they had a website that was like uh, when the internet was like new new and like they had the website where you would be like oh yeah they they followed this group of kids that went through the woods and filmed it and they built up the website so well that it <laughs> it was literally the the production with the least amount, the smallest budget I think they that spent, made the no, most I think, money I think they spent right? twenty thousand to make the movie and made like. 13 million yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was Ridiculous. Like, yeah, it was like yeah. So my mom says she was five and had not done any drugs yet. <laughs> yeah. Yodi says final destination. Uh, also, asbestos stuff involved in a lot of the movies. Uh, the next one is mine, dude. Dumbo. Dumbo. Oh, no. Wait, wait, okay. Wait, wait. Oh, Dumbo. Okay. Why was Dumbo? So... Dumbo was super traumatizing when you were a kid. Why? I don't know. When I was young, I was like, the mom was getting like whipped by people. And the mom was like freaking out because she just wanted to save her baby. And the baby was like dressed up like a fucking makeup. And like <laughs> I had to do this crazy shit, dive over fire. And like. Uh, okay. Wait. Let's see why people were. And then trauma. Dumbo ends Dumbo up being. Dumbo's seeing the... how Dumbo's mom was treated. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, absolutely. devastated. Me and kept me up at night, crying about animals forced to work in the circus. Absolutely broke my heart, and I never ever forgot. Yep. It. I've hated the I hated the Ringling Brothers after, since I was a small child. After that too, I ne after seeing Dumbo, I never wanted to go to the circus really? and see animals ever, ever. Yeah. I never want. I never had a desire now, to see okay. animals in the circus. Now, now children Dumbo of the corn. Ruin it for me. Chris, have you Chris, ever? Chris, I'm sorry. We shouldn't have dressed you up in that a Dumbo costume. Yeah, oh, and no. and by the way, they took you I to see Tyke. They took you to see Tyke in the Blaisdell too. No, I was. No, we, <laughs> didn't, we weren't taking that. I hated circuses, dude. I hated circuses. Okay, what about like Children of the Corn? Have you ever watched Children of the Corn? I never yeah, did. Yeah, that was a stupid film. You watched it? I never watched it. Did you watch it? No. Children of the Corn supposedly scarred people. Yeah, let's could, see. Let's see why. It, it was. It was a good horror film. Oh movie. yeah, because this fucking creep. I mean, it's creepy children. Like, yeah. What is more do you? Yeah, mean? fucking creepy children. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? What is this? Yeah. Robert Aldrich. Whatever happened to Baby Jane? Starring Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. Yeah, that was old. Really? What's so? What, did you see this one, Randy? Don't remember. Oh, okay. I mean, it looks freaky. Okay. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? I love Willy Wonka, but it was weird. It, it was a weird... Scene. It was a very trippy movie. It was like a dark, kind of themed family movie. I well, mean, going is, down is the... Is that only uh, because a German girl got sucked up inside the... That was, a, was, that was a guy, guy first yeah, of all. Yeah, the German whatever. Yeah. Well, no, it was more than that. Like, when they're going through the tunnel, and like there was, like, chicken's yeah. heads getting cut no off. There was, like, there was, like subliminal yeah. weirdness in there. Well, and then kids were disappearing, and you didn't know what happened to them. Like, let's be honest. They were like, oh, yeah, she may go down to the furnace, but who knows? Like, it was just like, she, she the, maybe... This was like, the start of the like, sex trafficking ring, dude. No one knew. No <laughs> oh, one. God. Augustus Gloop raped. Yeah, Augustus, yeah. Augustus Gloop got raped. But here's the thing. Is these children were disappearing, and they may have been okay, or they Where might not the have been okay. Where the fuck are my That was roles. the problem. In the book, they tell you that the kids actually come and leave the factory, and they're fine. 
Yeah. With some deficiencies. Well, one girl turned into a blueberry. Blueberry, and she literally gets pressed. Obviously, she's got stretch marks. Yeah. Obviously. And, but she's left blue. Like, so these kids are disappearing, and they're like, My mom oh, was yeah, always maybe, scared maybe. of the guy. She was scared of Slugsworth. But Slugsworth. Slugsworth was the good guy. Was you, a part apparently. of it. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thanks, LaBelle, for the bits. Hey. Um, but no, Tony, it the was part, a that movie. part of the boat where Wonka was saying stuff that wasn't part of the script. So his actor was creepy, creeping the people. Out. Oh, you're talking about Gene Wilder. Uh, Gene Wilder. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the he, rowers keep on rowing. Yeah. That, I mean, I loved it. Up, it, yeah. it was like clockwork orange kind of it shit. It kind of was almost a little bit. I, you know, and but, I haven't watched that whole movie either. No, clockwork, Willy, clockwork orange and Willy Walking. Well, I'm saying it had a Woody. Before. It had a, um. It had a what's his name? It had a, a vibe. It had that vibe. It was a very weird movie. Willy Wonka was never a coherent movie. It was just very like, uh, you know, you're going through this adventure and you're just kind of accepting what's happening to you. It's not, it's not always fun. It's kind of scary. Well, we might get a we might get a count uh, strike know, for this. Like, we're, 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 we're at Disneyland right now. If you haven't seen this, it's a great movie. I mean, if you haven't seen this, get the fuck out of here. Sloth from the Goonies is creepy. And abused. Look at the Oompa Loompas, like... They're turning that wheel. I like Gene Wilder, I'm sorry. Oh, he's great. The great okay. thing is you kind of Boy, felt what the characters were feeling way. in this moment. Wonka. I mean, take some shrooms strange. and watch yes, this. Strange, Charlie, but it's fun. Way better than See, that's why Charlie was the winner. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Open mindedness. That's me. Yeah. yeah, it's weird, but it's fun. Beats crawling over people's faces. Tell our little guy to turn us around, Wonka. Ah! Slugworth. Hey, Jackson Chameleon, my, my, we got, we all got those on white. Which direction we are going? There's no knowing where we're rowing, or which way the river's flowing. Is it raining? Is it snowing? Is it blowing? Not a speck of light is showing, so the danger must be growing. Are the fires of hell a glowing? Is the grizzly reaper mowing? Yeah, this is a very yes. dark point of Willy the Wonka. The danger must be growing, for the rowers keep on rowing! <laughs> and they're certainly not showing any, any signs, signs of slowing. <laughs> I love this part. We're there. Where? See, I think this is all a visual a thing to fuck with everybody. Yeah. What yeah. A giant step for us. It feels that way. All ashore. Get me off this freight. <laughs> <laughs> like it's great. Yeah, no, uh, that's the that's the Daddy, best I shit, dude. Like you're just like, like oh shit. Okay, so we're Daddy, going I on. do not want a boat like this one. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> fucking spoiled bitch. <laughs> I'm just being real. She was. She, she was, was a spoiled bitch. Baruka? Ugh. No but, one uh, ever wants I, that. I, that movie was a trip. I, it, by it, far. I liked the by movie, far. and I, I also was terrified by it at a certain point. I mean, like, I honestly liked that part as a kid. I was like, oh, this is trippy. But it never scared me. I, I didn't get scarred by that. But there's still a lot more yeah, to okay. the list. So. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. The birds... I know this one had a lot of effect on a lot of people in their in that time, because birds was, are fucking everywhere. And it's it like, Hitchcock, dude, these birds right? can just it was Hitchcock, yeah. And at that point, it's like, what could just attack you at any point? This was a classic. Yeah, yeah, for sure. What is a clip? Let me see. Here, this one. No, we're gonna be here too long. Look, the birds pecked out his fucking yeah. eyes okay. and shit. My dad's like, keep moving. Yeah. Now, I don't know this one. Watership Down? I've never I'm heard of that. No, I watched this. I can't remember what it was, though. you seen this? Watership yeah, Down? Was, yeah. It's, it's a cartoon? My, my era, my era. So, Watership Down, my parents thought it's a cartoon about rabbits. Left us in the basement to watch. 
<laughs> little did they know, little did they know, haunted me for years. Watched it recently, and I could not. I could feel the anxiety build up. Okay. It looks. Let's it looks see. like Pet Cemetery or some fucking crazy shit. Okay, I gotta I check mean, that one out. I kind of yeah. I don't know that what that is. Out. It looks now, like a, okay, this one, the Never oh, Ending Story. I, I it, love I the Never Ending Story. Yeah, the Luck Dragon. Yeah. Oh, Falcor. Yeah. Yeah. I love the Never Ending Story. The Never Ending Story. Ah. Ah. <laughs> everybody wants one as a pet. Yeah. Dude, everybody wanted Falcor. I mean, everybody. that was like uh, the Labyrinth. That's kind of the creepy factor. Make it believe has. I'm everywhere, even in the light. Birds was scary. I saw that as a Written child, and it was terrifying. Pages Your mom said she was scared never, of birds. Never-ending story. And they even replayed. They brought back the never-ending story with Stranger Things, which I thought was great. I love the never-ending story. Me, my brother, and my cousin watch this every summer. This is one of my favorite movies. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Fantasy but it was, was creepy. Yeah. There were creepy. It's really the nothing, weird. the nothing it's weird. was like the wolf with the red eyes. Yeah. Like trying to fucking eat up everything kind of deal. And they had the princess with no name. The guy, Sebastian had the name. Well, give me a name. You know, and it was yeah. weird. It was a weird movie, but super cool, I thought. I, I love the Never Ending Story. Part one and two. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. Okay, so Falcor by, by far. I think a lot of dogs were named Falcor. Watership. LaBelle oh, says Watership you. Down is about a bunch of rabbits that are in search of a new home while trying to stay away from a murderous rabbit, humans, and dogs. The scene with the horse, yeah, when Atreyu lost his horse in the tar pit, yeah. that was a sad, sad scene. Now, The Witches, I've seen this movie, but I don't remember it. I've seen this movie. This is the one with Jack Nicholson, is it? Uh... No, that was Witches of Eastwick. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, no, this looks like a weird movie. I kind of want to watch this. I know I've seen this, but I don't remember what it's about. But look how fucking weird this bitch looks. I mean, that's a typical witch. Okay, number 20, The Ring. The Ring was a good one. That was a good one, yeah. Yeah. The Ring freaked me out for sure. But if this bitch crawled out of my TV, I would punt that fucker right back in that fucker. I guarantee you. Pet Cemetery was a good one when the little boy died. Yeah. And that little boy actor was like in everything during the 90s. But when he died, like, and then the, the dad buried him, like, yeah, the Pet Cemetery was a good one. The Truman Show. People were traumatized what? by the Truman Show. I guess thinking that maybe your life could be this and like maybe you're not really living your life and people are just using you as an experiment. Maybe. I guess. Uh, the Truman Show legit thought there were cameras everywhere, and I was the star of the show for a bit thereafter. Nine years. He was nine. Little did I know the future that would be soon upon us. Yeah, we're all oh, fucking. Yeah. We're all in the. We're all in the, the Truman Show yeah, now. Yeah. 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 Night of the Living Dead, first zombie oh, that, movie. To, that was a good one. That one, I have to honest, scared the bejeebies. So out. I saw this when I especially think, when the girl walked into the water instead of being. To escape them? Do you remember that? No, so Night of, the original Night of the Living Dead that I remember, I saw, I think I was like 10 years well, old. Well, they were in a house. And they yeah, were they were in a house. Oh, yeah. And so there was a part where the zombies kind of broke through and ripped a guy in half. Yeah. And that part freaked me the fuck out. No, no, but the end of the movie, the one girl that survived and the zombies were still alive, she yeah. chose to drown herself in the lake. Then have the zombies rip her apart. Oh, I didn't know. I don't remember that. Yeah, she walked in and they were like, and she went in. She just intentionally killed herself. Yeah, and it was all in it. black and white. And I remember, I remember a specific scene what where they're this? ripping this oh, dude apart. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah, my yeah. sister too. In this year, and I I must have been like yeah, ten years old. I was dramatized. Oh yeah, <laughs> that one's pretty. Yeah, I mean the zombie movies are always like put you in the worst situation possible. Now I don't know this movie, The Thing. I've oh, never yeah. seen this. I saw the thing, yeah. But this looks like Jabba the Hutt on steroids. The thing I watched, I watched that when I was like 10 years old and I was afraid of dogs and solid for a solid month. What the fuck were my parents thinking? So were the dogs involved in this, I'm, I'm assuming? I don't remember the movie, but I do remember watching it. But yeah, that looks freaky as fuck. If that thing came at me in the night, I'd be fucking scared. It, yeah, eh. it, uh, eh. Psycho. I actually, I actually laughed during it. 
I always. I mean, it. even the new one's not even that scary. But bottom line is, the clown's trying to kill you. The Beat new the fucking clown up. Really good. I haven't watched the the See, latest one. I think I have a problem See, with the, some I of these heard, scary I movies. The, I heard the remake was actually pretty good. So I think I have a yeah. problem with these scary movies because I think of my childhood and it's me and Chris. No one's fucking with me and Chris because we're big dudes. Even when we were kids. Like, if this clown came to try to fuck with me and Chris, me and Chris would kick his ass. The I'm just I, saying. The idea of it is that you have to be mentally stronger than the ghost that's trying to scare you. Right. Right? Like, And if, we were. <laughs> me and Chris, were, we, we weren't kids to be fucked with. Uh, my mom says, okay, wait. LaBelle says, Watership Down is about a bunch of rabbits that are in search of a new home while trying to stay away from a murderous rabbit, humans, and dogs. Water Girl says, remember in our Lumiao Ao house, we had those birds that would cause, would chase us when we came out of the house and had to run. The, oh, yeah, because they had a, they, no, they had a nest up in the tree. I got the Watership Down book. Oh, look, it's the girl that voices Lilo. What? <laughs> anyway, Psycho is number 26. Psycho, I never actually watched the whole movie of Psycho. I know the theme, like. Yeah, the Bates Hotel. He dressed up as his yeah. mom. He obviously had a weird Oedipus complex. I mean, Hitchcock deal. was always like one of the best. Well, yeah, Hitchcock time. was a legend because he he knew how to make you scared of everyday things. And he he would fuck with the actors like for instance too. birds. Okay. Well, make, yeah, he would terrify the he actors. He would terrify the yeah. shit out of the actors but, I mean, too. To make a horror <laughs> movie where birds just go psycho and attack you, how could we stop? Th- like right now, if birds decided we we're gonna go crazy and attack you, how could we stop them? We couldn't unless we just hunted them to death. We couldn't stop birds. Yeah, you we can't. Yeah, nothing you can they do. fly away. Yeah, but Tony, you're back to that. It's earlier. like Sharknado. Dude, they, you don't <laughs> fuck with Sharknado. <laughs> you're back to that earlier phobia if they don't have hands. Yeah, I don't fucking trust don't them, dude. Have. I don't trust them, dude. I'm telling you, birds and snakes. I don't fucking trust them. And then the Lion King. Seriously? It's a duck. Okay, anyway. Uh, the Lion King? Seriously? Really? Why? The Lion King, Mufasa's death scene had me in bits. I was the only kid that had never really thought about death, and it still gets me now. I mean, that was pretty bad. I think Bambi was worse. Well, I think, I think, no, I think the fact that your own family, no, you gotta remember. Dumbo Dumbo was by far the most, like, no, if you're a little kid, especially when, if you're a little kid, and you're watching Lion King, for instance, if you're a little, for instance, if John was watching Lion King and realized, Oh shit, his brother just killed him. Chris really beats me up all the time. What would stop him from killing me? You know what I mean? And my, pro- my little brother probably thought the same thing. No, it'd be like your uncle killing your brother. No, no. Th- Mufasa and Scar were brothers. So it's like your brother, a brother killing a brother. Your brother probably thought like, oh, okay, oh yeah, shit, like Chris beats me up on a daily basis. What's going to stop him from killing me one day when there's a s- stampede of buffalo b- under us, you know? <laughs> Danny probably thought the same. Okay, so seeing all of these, all right, what were the movies that traumatized you as a kid? Like, name one or two. I got one that wasn't on this list. Yeah, exactly. There, we, I and I don't think do. my mom should have ever Dumbo, showed me this. Dumbo was one Movie. that really fucked with me a little bit. Yeah, it was the pink elephants. No. It was, it was Mine Dumbo's wasn't even mom getting abused on by this shit. List. It was like, there was a lot to Dumbo. Mine you know was Dumbo's fire only in like the sky. Long. Yeah, but mine was fire in the sky. Aliens. Yeah, aliens. Yeah. Dude, I don't fuck with aliens. I I don't want to get abducted. That's my thing. Yeah. Aliens fucked with me, and for some reason, my mom thought it was a good idea. Like, oh, we'll watch this movie that's supposedly based on a true story. That stuck in my head. Labelle said, "Child's play." And. This guy got abducted by aliens, dude, and he fucking scared the shit out of me. And they showed what happens in the space. Yeah, they scared the shit out of me, man. I was scared. He was, was trying to run away. And I had like nightmares were like, for months because of that movie. Yeah, yeah. Aliens, I thought aliens yeah. were coming again. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, that one was. Yes, mom. You, we watched Fire in the Sky together at the Whitmore house in the living room. I remember. I, I remember this it. distinctively because it scarred me for life. <laughs> I was freaked out by by first yeah, encounters. No. Yeah, or no, yeah, uh, no. Third, no. Encounters the of sky, the third sorry, kind. Fire, no, fire, the fire in the sky. Fuck me because it was supposedly a true story of a guy who said, got abducted. Yeah, it's like right? based on a true story. Yeah. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I watched this movie and I'm like, oh, I don't ever want that to happen to me. 
They put him in like a cocoon. He had to like finger bang his way that out of like these different then. layers of this cocoon. That was like X Files. Yeah, it was, it was X Files on steroids. Dude. It, was it fucked like me up. Aliens abducting people was like a normal thing. We were, okay, so if we were in the in the Whitmore house, I was probably second grade, third grade at the oldest. Yeah. I was like eight or nine. It fucked me up, dude. That movie fucked me up. And I don't even think my mom, like my mom didn't say, hey, sit down and watch this with me. But like I walked out. You know, in the middle of the movie from, like, my room to, like, and just those scenes that I saw yeah. fucked me up. And, like, my mom didn't say, yeah, my mom didn't say, sit down and let's watch this. I kept walking out of my room, and I kept seeing these scenes, like, of this guy, like, peeling his way out of, like, this <laughs> fucking cocoon thing. And I was like, oh, I don't ever want that to happen. But I remember the beginning, and it said, based on a true story. Right. And then my mom was like, okay, it's bedtime. And then I kept coming out, and I saw the scene, and I was like, no, fuck this, dude. <laughs> if these fuckers come for me, how come you never told me? <laughs> I'm telling you right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. LaBelle said child's play. Uh, yeah. Child's Chucky's- play? Dude, take the batteries out of the doll. Punt that fucker. See, the, the scene, <laughs> Night of the Living Dead, probably out of those 27, was the one that affected me the most. Yeah. But the other one that probably impacted me more, because it's my second favorite holiday of the year, was Halloween. Oh, the original one. With the original, Jamie Lloyd, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my one of my favorite days. How old were you when that came out? Oh, I must have been twelve like in 13, your teen, teens, like early, early teens. Early teens okay, yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis, and it's like. Well, Jamie Lee Curtis was hot back then too. Yeah, no, but 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 just the whole movie, <laughs> the whole movie, and the concept that you got this. Well, and it's her brother, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That that's was, another. It it's when it's like your family member that's trying to kill you. I think that fucks with people like more. Because yeah. you're supposed to be able to trust yeah. out of anybody in the world your family, right? And that, that's why it took me a while to watch the sequel. I had to wait like five years, ten oh, years really? before I started to watch the sequels <laughs> because I was so horrified by the first one. It's like... See, no. I'm surprised there weren't more horror movies on this list. Like maybe like Damien. Well, Hell you know Ra- what I mean? Hellraiser was good too. Hell, you're talking about Pinhead? Yes. I've never seen those movies. I have obviously the, know what they are, the but ori- I've never the seen them. The original Hellraiser was... Yeah. Good? Oh, okay. I I heard Lawnmower Man was a good one. You know what? Candyman yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Candyman See? fucking me. The one scene where the where yeah, the guy Candyman, goes in yeah. the guy goes into the bathroom and tries to take a shit on the toilet and then there's like bees that come well, out here, of the toilet. Here's, here's then, what I'm gonna do. And for he's you. like, I'm like, that's that scared the shit out of me. Anytime I sit down on the toilet, I'm like, there better not be shit that comes up from the toilet. No, here's fucking. what I'm gonna help you with. Bees are not evil. They're good. Bees are not gonna help Candyman. They could have been wasps. Be- bees supposedly, they bees been supposedly protect royalty. Yeah. So a bee wouldn't come out. So I think that whole movie, for me, now that I know about a, a lot about bees, thanks to my brother, that movie's bullshit to me. I know Cujo freaked a lot of people Cujo out. Cujo was a fucked up one because everybody has dogs, and yeah. anyone's dog go ape shit, you know, <laughs> anytime. Uh, Yodi says, considering how many. Rated R movies they used to take us to. I don't remember having nightmares from any of them. Really? Yeah, I don't. So you used to it. take you used to take your little wait. You guys used to take uh, these guys to rated R movies. We didn't see horror movies very often. Though. I hate the Saw movies. Yodi says, "Yeah, those are fucking pretty disturbing." Saw is hard to watch. It's like torture. That's that's torture okay. porn. Basically, watching watching. Fucking hostile before going to Europe was, was a bad was, idea. Was a bad fucking idea. It, and this is when we were in college. Yeah. Like, we watched we literally, Hostel. Okay, we literally we, watched Hostel the day. The day before <laughs> we left for Europe, okay? <laughs> the whole trip, I'm like, oh, no, I don't trust this guy. He, yeah. uh, he's, uh, he's trying to hostile me. Uh, no, I don't trust this guy. Nope, nope. I didn't trust anybody in Europe. Yeah. We even got to a point, so we went to... Uh, yeah. We were in Paris. <laughs> I remember that. We went to yeah, exactly we went to um about. we went to uh, Jim Morrison's grave in Paris. And next to Jim Morrison's grave, they have a cafe called the Doors Cafe, which is obviously a novelty cafe so that they can rake in money for all the people going to see the door uh, Jim Morrison's grave. Yeah. We went there after we saw his grave and we sat down and I was making friends with the bartender. I was talking story with him and he's like talking It looked like a diner. It looked like a. New, it was like a weird pub like a 1950s kind of diner. diner, yeah. But what got weird. weird was the guy goes, "Oh, by the way, I just want to let you know, I opened this cafe because I was the guy that stole the original headstone." And I said, "Really? Because if you know the history be- behind Jim Morrison's headstone in Paris, it was made originally. It got stolen. They made a, a duplicate. It got stolen again. They stopped making it. So, 
Supposedly he told me he stole the original. He goes, do you want to see it? Come down into my basement. And I said, oh, where? She goes, here, come down. All of a sudden, the big dude that was watching the door started kicking all the locals out of the bar and started closing the place up. And the guy was like, come with me down to the basement. And it was me, you, Tom, Lisa, and me, you, Tom, and Lisa. And we all looked at each other and said, fuck this. And we just bolted it out the fucking door and ran. And the guy came running out of the fucking thing. He's like, come back, come back. We're like, fuck yeah. We're just running down the street. <laughs> No, Remember hell that. no. We weren't getting about like, to get nope. hostile. Nope. I'm not going in the fucking basement. We're not going in the basement. Hell no. To check out Jim Now with Igor over stuff. there watching the fucking door. Yeah. <laughs> hell no. Uh, I've never watched any horror after I watched Wizard of Oz. Really? Huh. It's stuff you can really... Dude, what really fucked me up uh, from Hostel was when the guy drilled the other dudes in the thigh... And you know when you drill something, that coil of like wood or metal or whatever yeah, comes yeah, out, yeah. it was a coil of like meat. Flesh. Oh, that fucked me up in the head for sure. And, that's and what that, I. And the that's what I was girl, picturing. The Japanese girl with the eyeball torch. Eyeball. Oh. Uh, but that's what I pictured when that, the guy was, was the like, "Come into my basement." I was like, "Fuck you! <laughs> I'm out of here." Nope. <laughs> Come quads? Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, dude, that fucked me up for sure. What what traumatized you guys out there? Yeah, what do you guys got? What what Come quads, a good original movie idea, Rubber. You mean like Flubber with Robin Williams? What are you talking about? Condom? Hostel probably freaked me out more than anything because I was like, fuck, we're about to go to Europe. We lived it. And Eli Roth had to go and fuck our shit up. Like right no, before and we went to I'm missing to be honest, it was your idea, I'm pretty sure, to yeah, watch it the day it we, before it we was. went to fucking Europe. <laughs> it was. I was like, hey guys, we gotta watch this movie. And I'm like, what movie? And I'm like smoked out, I'm all stoned, like in a good mood, and I'm just like, Oh man <laughs> I'm like, no. Uh I'm gonna stick with Jumanji. Jumanji was kind of free like the original with Robin Williams. The um, movie with the tire obviously. What tire? Jumanji was a trip. But uh, Jumanji, Jumanji was a trippy movie. To think that like something could actually happen like that, that freaked me out. But again, you gotta have a child's imagination for that one. I think uh, as far as adult imagination, I would say Fire in the Sky, Damien, and uh, Hostel were the three movies that. Blair fucked Witch me. was kind of kind of fucking me a little bit. Saw. They did. Such I just a good wouldn't shot. put myself in that. Blair situation. Witch they did a good job with promoting it before the movie came. Yeah, out. they did, dude. Like. Uh, before I knew that it was a regular movie, when they came out and said, "Oh, we found this shit in the woods," yeah, and we, made we a found movie. these films. Like I was like, "Holy shit, this is fucking scary!" And then I realized, oh, "Okay, it's fake." And but, they made the video game on it, and it was kind of like a trip. Too. Yeah, once you make a video game out of something, well, that's this supposed was to be like true. this came out like two years ago. I have it, but I didn't play it all the way through. But yeah, but anyway, let's see. Uh, Atrox posting something. Let's see what he's posting. What does he got here? Rubber. Oh, this is the movie he's talking about. Rubber. He said he freaked him out. Let's see what this is. Let's stop the music for a minute. I fuck. I gotta do things. Oh, don't tell me this tire comes to life. No, is this trim? Oh, <laughs> this is stupid, you dumbass. Meet Robert. It's like that balloon that Little we time. watched as a kid. Big dreams. It's like a Pixar movie. Uh oh. Shit's about to get nasty. Go right through the windshield. Yep, I called it. Everybody, this is what our killer looks like. Tire. <laughs> that shit wonderful. Uh oh. What brand of tire? Probably Michelin. Brandless. This guy's raising his hand. Yes. Is it black? <laughs> no, it's a white wall, bitch. <coughs> I'm starting to like it. Door just open. Come on. Be a good boy. Blow my head off. Again. Come on. Closer. 
You get one of you guys with a flamethrower. Just go. So it's a horror movie about a tire? The fuck out of here. Anybody there? <laughs> Weirdos. Rubber. Scary stuff. Rubber meets the road. What about Tremors? Dude, Tremors is an awesome movie, but not because it's scary. No, that, that never. Was, tra- tra- that was one of my favorite movies. Dude, ever. Kevin Bacon running on rocks. That's so funny. I mean, what the hell is going on? <laughs> no, Big and, worms. And, and the, the the redneck with his. his uh, my mom says I'm gonna have to rewatch Fire in the Sky. Nah, man, this movie is great just for the fact it's original. A <laughs> track, you funny, bro. You funny. What else we got, Chris, on the docket tonight? Let's let's start to wrap this up a little bit. Yeah, uh, I think we should talk about this dude because this guy is the man. Okay, we all know who this guy is. And that you got something specific? Nope. Okay. Nope. So I don't know. Everybody does might not know his name, but everybody knows this face. Okay, his name is James Hong, and he's probably one of the most prolific actors in Hollywood. He's been everything. He's, a, he's in over 600 credits in Hollywood. Um, he's been in everything from Seinfeld to... Uh, here, we'll go down the list right here. Hear more of James Hong's Hollywood tales in the latest episode of Great Big Story, a new podcast by CNN about the delightful, surprising stories all around us. Um, to where... We, okay. Oh, thank you. Whether you know him by name or... Or not, you've definitely seen James Hong before from movies like Blade Runner and Chinatown, TV shows like The Big Bang Theory and Seinfeld, and animated features like Kung Fu Panda and Mulan. He was Uh, in in his over six decades in Hollywood, Hong has become one of the most credited actors in history, born in Minnesota to parents, and and it gets cut off. Um, But yeah, this guy's been in everything, man. He's like the... Token Chinese oh, dude. Did, did you Panda? just say he was born to parents in Minnesota? No, no, but born to parents in Minnesota. Seriously, and it cuts off. So who was that? Who else no, would he have been born go, to? Scroll down. Look, 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 look on the screen right now. <laughs> look on the screen right now, Randy. Look on the screen, Chris. Actors no. in his, born Where? to parent in Minnesota to parents. That's Chris, I. That's what I read. It cuts I off. I am not your father. Oh, that's part of the the podcast. Yeah, that's why. So anyway. I didn't make the quote. <laughs> I know he was born to parents and not to Thank dogs. You. Right. Thank you. Um, Hong <laughs> strapped the stardom as do many as a child practicing in front of a mirror, but he kept his acting aspirations from his parents. Well, you know, Chinese parents want you to be something, some professional, uh, want you to do some professional jobs rather than be an actor, Hong says. Being an actor is like the last rung in the ladder of professionals. They don't even call it a profession because it's shameful to demonstrate your feelings in front of an audience. You were taught to be kind of quiet and keep to yourself. So this guy's been in everything we've all seen. I mean, like, literally fucking everything. He's the voice of uh, the guy from the uh, Kung Fu Panda's dad. Right. I mean, he's he's uh, Seinfeld 4? Seinfeld he Paul. In, uh, he was in Wayne's World too. He, he was, was in uh, Wayne's Cassandra's World. He, yeah, dad. Cassandra's dad. Yeah. This guy's in fucking everything, man. And I, you know, I think we should just do a shot to one of the most he prolific fights, actors. He fights in. Wayne in in yeah. fucking Wayne's World too. I remember he that. He is yeah. the fucking man. He's been in a lot of shit. He's well, like he, like they said, he's been in over six hundred things. It's more than any like mainstream actor we can think of. The Rock hasn't been in a hundred films. He was in Mulan, you know? LaBelle. He was in yeah. Mulan. <laughs> uh, and he else? helped usher in a new generation of Asian American actors. He played... Uh, East-West players. Uh, he played Chifu in uh, Mulan. I mean, bottom line, this guy's been in fucking everything. Seinfeld Fall? Seinfeld yeah. Fall. Yeah. So that's that's table classic. Fall? That's classic. Yeah. Okay, guys, going to turn... Uh, turn this movie on and go to sleep. All right, Ma, I love you too. Right, Have a good luck one. With, uh, good luck with um, what? Uh, what you watching? She's moving. Yeah, no, she was. Oh, what are you with, watching? She was watching. Uh, she's gonna go watch 
the movie we were freaked out about. Uh, oh, oh Fire in the Sky. Now she's not gonna rewatch it. Now. She said she's gonna watch it. Are you gonna go? Is that on? Yeah, she maybe she I'll just watch found it. it on Amazon. Oh shit! Okay, hold on. Wait, where is this? I just turned it on Amazon Prime. Right Wait, there. she says I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to rewatch Fire in the Sky. I just turned it on Amazon. Dude, I'm telling you that movie freaked me out. Good luck going to bed tonight. Yeah. And he comes out naked from the yeah, fucking we'll random see you, bathroom. We'll see you in an hour when you're not asleep and yeah. you freak the fuck out. I'm scared. I'm scared. All right, Chris. Let's let's let's, let's start wrapping this up. I gotta uh, pee. That's why. My you gotta turn. pee now. Yeah, it's my turn. Are we are we calling it? We're going on four hours. You got anything else you want to talk about? Nah, not really. We're gonna talk about some cosplay stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, we want to thank you for joining us in Inappropriate Bar Talk tonight. My name's Chris. And I'm fucking Tony. We're live every Wednesday, 5 p.m. Hawaiian time. Catch us right here. Inappropriatebartalk.com. Oh, sorry. Twitch.tv slash Inappropriate Bar Talk. I still yeah. can't uh, it's all good. it, dude. Yes, Amazon. Okay, yeah. I'm going to check this out. Uh, check us out every Hold Wednesday. Hold on, pause. Yes. Let's start that again. Guys, we want to thank you for joining us <laughs> in Inappropriate Bar Talk tonight. My name's Chris. And I'm fucking Tony. We're live every all Wednesday, right. 5 p.m. Hawaiian time. Catch us right here at twitch.tv slash Inappropriate Bar Talk. That's right. Make sure you check out our merch page, streamlabs.com slash Inappropriate Bar Talk to get some cool fucking t-shirts and cool fucking hats, cool fucking slippers, cool coffee mugs, and cool everything else. Guys, that's the basic we got to be. Uh, thank you for all the support we got tonight, guys. Thanks for the bits, the subs, the likes, everything you've given us tonight. Yes. We appreciate you. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Inappropriate Bar Talk and on Twitter at IBT Podcast. But until next week, guys, we appreciate you. We love you so much. And for those of you that are in local kind of league fantasy football, stick around because we're going to do a draft order. Oh, are we doing that? We're going to do it. At, we're going to end the stream and then we'll do that. I don't know but, if they're around. Oh, they'll, they'll be here. I'll text them. I'll Ooh. text them. But until next time, guys, we love you guys so much. Thanks again. We're oh, gonna wait. Do One more note. Sorry. I'm shot? sorry. No. You, I feel like we should do a shot. We can do a shot, yeah. too. Okay. But make sure you tune in tomorrow because I got the day off, and we're going to be doing a hangover stream oh, tomorrow are you? for sure. Okay. Well, then we might as well drink up if we're doing a hangover uh, it stream. It depends on whether Tony is working tomorrow or not. I always work. But that doesn't mean I have to I mean, be at work. I mean, he says that. And See, what you, guys, what you guys fail to understand is I'm working. Dad, you want a shot? It doesn't mean I'm at work. No, this is mine. Oh, the glass glass. The other glass. See, Daddy rolling in. He want a shot, too. The glass with but, glass. Um, but no, just because I'm not at my physical location of my I'm job. I'm not judging you, bro. Doesn't mean like, I'm not working. You know, like, let's calm down here. But no, I'll, I'll game. We're going to Minecraft I'll, all day. I'm tomorrow. not Minecrafting yet. I'm still holding out. All right. Apex for <laughs> tomorrow for sure. But who knows? I got a lot of games on the docket. Make sure you stay tuned for that. But tomorrow, hangover stream for sure because I got the day off. Nice. We're going to hang out. All of us are going to hang out. Tony's going to hang out. I'm going to hang out. Dude, you know what's a lot of fun, dude? Uh, The watch parties are a lot of fun, actually. I I might do a watch party. I did. I started watching the original Star Trek because Baki said, dude, you got to check it out. (sighs) So I started it. Not my cup of tea so far. Episode one, season one. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, but I want to watch the William Shatner ones first and then move into that. I'm that way. I got to start from the beginning. Maybe we watch Fire in the Sky. Maybe. It's on Amazon tomorrow. Prime. Oh, fuck. I've got nightmares already. <laughs> All right, everybody. We love Cheers. you guys. Put your shot emotes in the chat. Fuck yeah, guys. Thanks again for another awesome show. And thank you guys for all your support and tuning in and being friends of ours. We need friends in, more than ever in this time and age in, in fucking human history. Love your friends. Hold yeah. them close. Hold Tell them your close. family you we love them. love you guys. Uh... And stay safe out there. Don't be stupid. Stupid. Just do do the right thing. Wash your hands. Love your fellow man. Don't touch your face. All right, guys. Until next time, we love you. Peace. Aloha. <laughs>